Hello everyone. We're back. How are we? We're back. We're I don't know what you're feeling, but we're feeling a little bit uh a little bit drowsy actually. I had my jab this morning. Jane Jane's had a jab yeah. uh, this morning, so she may well fall to pieces halfway through because <laughs> I felt I started feeling bad about this time. So we don't know, but uh, just feeling a little bit worried. We've seen this the team news. I don't know if you've seen the team. We're not quite sure. No, we're excited about the team news because there's there's lots of change and we needed change, didn't we? We needed change. We so. do, but this is a this is a tough match. We all know it is. But Sunderland are not on the greatest of form, and we certainly aren't on the greatest of form. So it could be anything tonight, couldn't it? We're not gonna we, I really don't even want to do a prediction. Uh, Eugene McGeever, though, he's very confident. He's going for four one to Blackpool. I don't know what you've been drinking, Eugene, but I can't I, <laughs> Can we have some? I can't see that to be honest. Uh, Reese Jefferson's a bit more like it thinks it'll be another scrappy game. He's going for 2-1 to the pool. Um, Tom Jackson is saying, why is Big Marv not getting a game? I don't know. I don't Since get that. Since he returned from injury, no. I would think he was a shoe in wouldn't you? Especially, especially seeing as we've been letting goals in. So, and, and you know, you considering think we're getting rid of Thornley anyway. Um, yeah, I don't get it because because Marv can score goals as well. Yeah. So... I don't, know. I don't know. Kenneth Ward says, uh, evening guys, big game tonight. We need this win to say top six, two one to the mighty pool. It is important. We you know, we really do need to keep in this top six. If we lose this tonight, that's three losses on the bounce. Confidence going into the next game, which is another blooming bogey. But we're going to be positive us. for as long as we can. We're going to try and be positive. So at least the next half hour, we're going to be positive. I'm wearing the same kit as last time. So it's, you know, good luck, hopefully. Stephen Roberts reckons that we're uh, packing the team out in midfield and hitting on the break. So let's hope the final ball is up to scratch tonight mm. or it will be a disaster. Well, it's been a disaster for the last couple of games, hasn't it? So It has, but we need to go for the throat, don't we? we That's do. what we've not but, been but doing. we're not going to be doing by the looks of this team. Well, you never know. Shazza Harvey says, know. not feeling it tonight, I must admit. I'm... No, we're not either, but we're pretending. We're going to pretend <laughs> we are. We're going to pretend we are. Um... Uh, Mick's going to take a point. Yeah, well, would we take a point? I don't know. They, they're not going to be going for a point, are they? They've drawn so many matches. In fact, we've drawn quite a lot of matches. What's the matter? 
I'm getting something saying, hello, this is Stacey from Virgin Media, but is that, co- I think that seems to be coming over the, the stream, um. <laughs> so I'm a little bit confused. Is it the voice is in your head again, darling? It can't is be that... coming through the, I don't know, it's very odd. Um, somebody going, hello, hello, this is Stacey from Virgin Media, but that seems to be on the, on the, on the feed. Oh. <laughs> Oh, very strange. Because I've not got anything connected to my phone. Uh, Mick Eves is here, not being negative, but would take a point all night long. Well, a point would be better than nothing, wouldn't it? Shazza Harvey, though, says it looks like a heavy de- defeat. Stephen Hutchin Maybe is she's agreeing. she's calling from the other side. S- yeah, hello Virgin from Media. the other side. <laughs> is there anybody there? Rick Cross Stacey. is just UTMP. Joe Crowley is here. Oh, Crowley is here. Evening Jane. The uh, one all is his production. His yeah, prediction. that's a good prediction. Uh, Shazza Harvey would take a point. You'd though. have it on your coupon, wouldn't you? Uh, John Haslam reckons that Critch has just put all the squad names in the hat and then drawn why, them out. Why not? <laughs> well, it's as good a way as any, no, I suppose. We haven't got it. we yeah. haven't got that many. Uh, <laughs> Pull on, fuck it. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Why not? Um, what all has failed? <laughs> John Cobb says, good evening, Lee and Jane. Fancy a two-all draw tonight. Uh, if anybody hasn't SA, heard the team, by the way, I'll just run it Sunderland. through it quickly. Yeah, I'll do it properly later. But we've got Maxwell in goal. We've got Ollie Turton's back in, which we're happy with because we like him. Um, Dan Ballard, Jordan Thornley, Jane's husband's back in. Luke Garberts, Kenny Dougal, Grant Ward, Ethan Robson gets a start, um, Sully Kai Kai and Jerry Yates. There's no Embo, there is no yeah. Ellis Sims, and there is no Embo. Jordan Gabriel, just as we've got a song for him as well. Mm. Uh, and on the bench, we've got Stuart Moore, Jordan Gabriel, uh, Marvin Epiteta, Dimitri Mitchell, Kevin Stewart is back That's on the bench. That's good to see. Uh, Ellis Sims and Brad Holmes. So we do have some uh, quite a few attacking we've options We've got attacking there. options on there. Yeah, we have. We've got obviously so the bench is uh, looking better. Brad Holmes, we've got Ellis Sims and Mitchell all to bring mm. on if we need a goal. So big that's, Marv. So that's Long big Marv on up front. Fuck big it. Marv. Put him on. Uh, Ryan Dunbar, our moderator extraordinaire is here. Hello, Lee and Jane and the Blackpool Ultras members. Mm-hmm. Wow. We've got some Blackpool Ultras no, members. No, it's me. He's, got, he's referring to me. Ah. Oh, you're the Blackpool Ultra member, right? Okay. Yeah, and don't mess with me tonight. I'll tell you what, if you touch this arm, you threw that glass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've got to be careful. Yeah, it's a bit sore. She's had a she's had the the, the jab today. Yeah, probably. it's it was a bit. My arm was a bit heavy this morning, um, and then that was fine. I've just been sort of lounging, really, sat on the sofa, not doing a right lot, watching a bit of Corey. Um, and I've uh, it's just started to feel a little bit sore now. So I've had a couple of paracetamols before the show, which uh, I'm not quite sure whether that means I'm going to be singing or not. I may be asleep. Um, if we play anything like we played on Saturday, mm. I probably will be asleep. So you just bear with. I've it. got to admit that uh, the stadium looks uh, superb, doesn't it? It looks really nice. Sunderland, it, yes. It, it does look really nice. It's, it's, it's nice for not having to climb all those steps to get up there as well. Although I'm missing the pies. They're very nice pies at Sunderland. Do, mm. do very good chicken balty. Uh, but, but speaking of stadiums, I actually had my jab done at AFC Files Stadium this morning mm. in, in Bradley's Bar, Bradley's Sports Bar. Uh, so that was pretty cool. Queuing outside a bar at uh, 9 o'clock this morning, which is the uh, first time I've done that in a while. But it was good, really, really efficient, really well organised. It's, it's a good place to go if you're in Blackpool and uh, just went for the novelty value of having it at a football stadium, really. But it, it went very well. It really is a, a Premier League ground when you look at it. Uh, Giles Morgan says, hi, well, what, Lee. What is Sunderland? Sunderland, yeah, you can see it, isn't it? It's just it's quality. It's massive. It's, you know, huge compared to anything, you know, anywhere else we've played this season. And it, no, no, no stadium's been Don't like you this. go calling in Premier League. The League One like us. No, they are, but I'm just saying no this, the stadium is, I'm not talking about them. They're, they're, they're League One with us and they're not playing well, but no. the stadium is amazing um giles morgan uh, says highly and jane blackpool to win three nil we need to play uh, the last saturday for tea sausage egg beans dirty fries new chocolate bar 10 10- New that? chocolate bar, 10th of May, Yorkie uh, Orange. Oh, Yorkie Orange, 10th of May. Ooh, that oh, sounds that, good. That does sound interesting. Top tip there, Jasmine. Yeah, we'll chocolate, look out for that. Egg, sausage, chips and beans. <laughs> Floor filler is here. Hello, Phil. Uh, evening, Lee and Jane from a mild tea sign. It's going to be an interesting night. Yes. Uh, uh, even we, a cool fan of wife being a Sunderland oh, fan. Oh, yeah, no. Forgot to ask, actually, guys, mm. what have you had for tea? I know Giles has already weighed in with his. Um, I've had... Uh, a uh, Thai, I can't, I've, my brain's going after these paracetamol. I've had a Thai green curry, uh, the one that I made after the match the other week with some rice. Um, and it was very nice. You had hot pot, didn't you? 
Keegan Parker's here. Hello, Hello Keegan. Keegan again. Uh, if you haven't watched it already, you really need to tune in. But not uh, now, after the game. Not now, after the game. Watch <laughs> it, yeah. Keegan Parker uh, live. Uh, an evening with Keegan. It was great last night. He's going for a 3-2 Blackpool win. So thank Yay. you very much, Keegan, for that. Oh, hopefully you bring us some luck. Yeah, uh, he was great, a... actually, last night, Keegan. You do, do watch that after you've watched the show tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You really will uh, enjoy some of the stories and, of yeah. course, you know, some of the things that were going on behind the scenes as well, which we didn't know about. So it's all, it's, it's all really good. Mm. Uh, Reese Jefferson uh, is here tonight. It's a must-win game if we stand any chance of getting playoffs. We can't lose this game and we can't lose the third game in a row. Come on, you pool. I'm feeling well, that same Well, someone way, did Reece. some stats earlier. Said we, we, we need to win three out of four, basically, to guarantee the playoffs. So if we don't win so, this, we've got to win So we don't have three. to win this one, but we've got to win the next three if we, yeah, if we which don't. Is, so. Which is... <laughs> tough uh, and, and we're not guaranteed to get there even if we win the last three because somebody could if you could go past us tonight if they win i don't know if they're playing tonight are they i'm not sure but uh john hasn't says even to you both i think critch has put all squad name yeah okay we've got that yeah squad names and that yeah uh agree epiteti is on the naughty step with medine and lavar it does seem oh. that way doesn't it <laughs> Uh, Hayley and Jane, Posh will get promotion tonight. I can't see anything else but that uh, for you. I think you've done really well this season and you've kept it going, haven't you? Which is unusual, so well done. Uh, Steve Hutchins says, I'm sure on the shake tonight, we're glad to see Critch has changed it. Come on, you pull. let's yeah, do it. Yeah, we definitely needed well, to change it. Well, if you're listening to us, because we said we needed oh, a husband in. Terrible, didn't we? we said we needed a husband in. So yeah, to give it a bit of bite. So, and we missed Ollie. He's been playing so well, Ollie. Um, so it's lovely to have him back in as well. So, yeah, let's let's see. Aid Whitaker says, uh, as with others, we'll take a point tonight. We've already been world beaters of late. The titles are boring games. I'm thinking maybe nil nil. Oh, give us something to look forward to. Come on. <laughs> I don't want a dour nil nil. <laughs> Heinz is 69. Have 3 3 if it's going to be a draw. <laughs> Heinz says, lump on the pool tonight as I'm playing in goal for Sunderland tonight and I only have one arm and one leg. Oh, okay, well, so that's everybody, all right. everybody lump on then if Heinz is in goal for Sunderland. <laughs> uh, Oh, Gareth, uh, Genesis win tonight and we make the playoffs. Who's we? Who is we? Is that Sunderland or is that us? I don't know who who, who you are, but let us know. Gareth. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Steve Huntley says, uh, good evening, Lee and Jane. We really need to be clinical tonight, but not feeling it. No, I think, well, none of us are feeling it, to be honest. That's the feeling in the stream. It has been a bit shit, but you never know. You never know because we've been a bit shit at the start of the season. We've been a bit shit after Christmas and we've come out of it both times, haven't we? So we need to come let's out of sit it. And we do raise our game against the, you know, the, the bigger sides. So. I think are they going to be well? They are going to be up for this tonight. Yeah, because it's kind of last chance saloon now. How it much do really. you want it? It's do you not, want to be in the championship next season? Yeah. Do you want your promotion bonus or not? Go out and just show us. Just do it, uh, Eugene McGee. So it was a good show last night with Keegan Parker. Thank you very much. Thanks, Glad you enjoyed Eugene. it, Eugene. Eugene. Uh, <laughs> Joshua Billingsley. I hope Sunderland win tonight against Blackpool. Oh, I'm well. sure you do. Of course you do. You'll be rooted. We hope, uh, obviously, we beat you. So there we are. That's what that's one each on the hope. Uh, Stephen Rice, two to one on the hope. Uh, Stephen Roberts says, give a shout out to Magic Blackpool of Sierra Leone. They started their season on Saturday with a draw. They're the most successful team in their country. I've, I've sent link for them to watch you. Oh, All right. Wow. Okay. Well, cool. good evening. That's Anybody nice. from uh, the mighty Blackpool of Sierra Leone? Sierra Leone. We'd love to have you in. Do they play in Tangerine as well? I think they do. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Leah Riley says, "Hate you both. We won't. We want big more. Yes, we do. Take a taking a positive mindset. Still close, but a two-one yeah. win. Come on, Paul. Uh, Shazza Harvey's agreeing that last night with Keegan was fab. Yeah. Uh, Mo Backhouse is he nervous. Great, he? he came across so well. We're nervous. David Skull says, if we get anything from tonight, I'd be happy. Oh, Four Sean's points. here. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're gonna just we have our Sunday. Right, you have to put your headphones on then, in that oh. case. Let's take those out." Oh no, he's, he's coming, so I'll just get him in in a minute. Uh, he's, he's just sorting his camera out. Uh, if, 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 if you may remember from the Sunderland game, we had Sean in, and of course, he's the man that sent Jane for this, this, this wonderful top. So he's just sorting his camera out, so I can just see he's, he's not quite ready. We'll bring him in soon. Um, Stephen Woolley says, Lee, could you commentate a lot more tonight? Because I will be nervous. What is going going on in the match is very important. Match for Blackpool. So it should have priority over anything else tonight. Thanks. Oh, I will that's do, us told. I will do my best to... to, to, to Depends how it's going, to, though, really. <laughs> it's it's hard sometimes. It it's might really not, so hard. Yeah, if we're getting beat 5-0, we might stop the commentary and just yeah. talk about sweets. Uh, shall we see if we can get him in? Let's, let's, let's have him in. Uh, there we go. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Hello. Can you I'm hear right. us? How are you? 
Yeah, we're fine. Yeah. Thanks. We're, uh, we're we're a bit scared actually. We, we can just about hear you. It's not very loud, but it, but I know you're on your phone. You've been struggling with broadband and stuff, haven't you? So. Oh, I'm having a mare. I'm having a shocker. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah no so, wifi, um, so, what's the feeling in Sunderland, uh, Sean? Because here we're you know we're all not we, we you know looking through the comments on our stream. We're all not you know we're all feeling pretty nervous about tonight because you know you were a hard team to play against at Bloomfield Road in fact you, you know you're a bit strong for us if I'm being honest and uh, and you um, bruises yeah you are bruises a little bit so it's a bit intimidating so we're a bit worried about that uh, we, we've made a few changes and we're not playing very well and you're not playing very well either are you really I would say it's two teams that have gone a little bit off the boil would you say or are you all feeling confident there? yeah absolutely I mean, we uh, we actually I thought we played okay at Blackpool. Um, you did, obviously. Yeah, you did. All goals concede, um, but I, I thought we probably deserved some up from the game. Uh, we we've right. we've been poor since, but then and you have as well, haven't you? Yeah, oh, yeah, terrible. we've been absolutely dreadful, really, really bad. Losing to two very poor, losing to two very poor teams. It's like if we'd been there, we'd be leaving early, but we've got to stay because we're doing the show. <laughs> it's been that bad. Yeah, it's I mean, not been I'm, very good. I mean, I'm just dreading the playoffs, if I'm honest. Um, just, just, yeah, dreading it. I, I, I don't fancy anyone. I wish we could play ourselves, actually. That's the <laughs> thing I fancy playing is Sunderland. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, you'll uh, you'll get some of it tonight, I would think. Well, oh, I hope so. But we're, we're at the point now where it's like, are we even going to make the playoffs? Having been so confident, you know, just yeah. after we played you last time, it's just now, well, have we got enough? Are we are we ready? We're not even sure anymore. We, had, You know, we had that, that good run of 16 games, but we went, we didn't look that good. But from, you know, maybe the first half against Lincoln and, and maybe one or two other games, it's just... It's been a struggle this season. You know, we, we, we do these live, live streams and, you know, a lot of people have been... Wanting I mean, me to have a defibrillator and stuff and, and heart attack pills because it's been very stressful. And uh, but it's even got to the point the last couple of games where it's not even been stressful, it's just been terrible. Boring. It's been really bad. Yeah. Oh, sorry, you're having a bit of trouble there, aren't you? Um, I think we've lost your sound. Have I've lost your sound. Yeah, yeah I mean, lost your... the worry is that I mean, the, the two teams below you, Charlton and Portsmouth probably look stronger than the teams you know in places three four five and six um, yeah so yeah i'm, I'm not fancying the playoffs but hey ho at least we'll be able to i'm gonna let you game. go sean because 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 we're getting a, there's, there's quite a lot of interference on the call so we'll let you go but, but great uh, to see you great again to see you and, and uh, best of luck yeah hope it's not a terrible game anyway at least <laughs> yeah <laughs> thanks a lot yeah connect Sorry. With uh one one yeah one one, you're going for. Yeah. One one, okay. Yeah. I think a lot on, on our stream would take a draw. And uh, Kevin Phillips. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you later. <laughs> see you later. Bye, <laughs> bye, bye, bye. Oh well, the wonders of the internet. Uh, he has been having trouble with his broadband, so he did say oh, he tried to do it on his as, phone. As but we it's, have but as well. it's, uh, Yeah, it's been a bit. Uh, it's, a, it's a thing at the moment, isn't it? It is a thing. Um, we're getting warm now in this. I, I forgot to tell you uh, to promote. By the way, this uh, if you, if you like this. Uh, this um, cagoule, which is very tangerine. If you want to avoid getting run over this summer, uh, go on to Fritted Sklada, um online and you will find, if you go onto my Twitter, you got a picture of me in a hat, there's a link. A picture of me in this or my Facebook, you'll be able to see the link. Yeah, it's yeah. really good. It's, it's, it's a really great colour, actually. It, it looks even... It's know, fantastic. And it's actually, it really is warm. You wouldn't think that a cagoule would be warm, but it, it really is warm. Yeah, it's got either, like a fleecy line either that or I'm starting to get a bit of a fever. It could be either could be way. a bit of both, to be honest. It'll be coming off shortly, anyway. Harry, Harry Wake is here. Hello, Harry. Good evening, Lee and Jane. Hello, Harry. Uh, Darren Hoy is here as well. Let's uh, get to him. Uh, Darren Hoy, you know all. I've missed the last few due to work commitments. Oh, you haven't missed anything, tonight, Darren. So you haven't missed anything. It's been ways. terrible. Well, maybe you're maybe you're the lucky charm. Yeah. Maybe, so. maybe, maybe you you're what we've been missing. Uh, Tangerine Army said, uh, "How well did Keegan come across last night? He's a lovable yeah, role. He, came he across really well, is, didn't isn't he? he? How could anybody not not like him? He's, a, you know, he's he, a legend. He, he was a legend for Blackpool. And uh, I, I, I was discussing not. this today, actually, on the forums. And you think, you know, to how many players you would actually call like a legend? There's been lots of Blackpool players, and there've been some great players, but ones that have like scored at Wembley, or you know, scored a magnificent goal, or done something, you know, that's taken us up. There's, there's not many." 
like you know of, of those kind of players to even interview, is there? You know, but 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 there's loads of good players. But like Keegan Parker must rate as you know that 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 goal at Wembley has got a rate. There's as not that the, many the greatest... special goals that you really no, remember. There's, there's, there's like not that. those special moments of a few. You know, from the 1953 Cup final to you know the actual finals that we've been in, the LDVs, and of course getting promotion to the Premier League, the Premier League, and the uh, Anglo-Italian Cup. We've not done much else. It's all been pretty much of a muchness, hasn't it? We never really got anywhere. So he he was in the team that did the perfect 10. He scored in the second semi-final against Oldham. And of course, he scored the wonder goal at Wembley that, that you know, secured us going up. And he got the free kick for Robbie Williams, his free kick as well. He got, you know, he went down a bit easy, like he said. But, but so, yeah, he's a, you know, he's a major contribution. Shall we have a look at the league table uh, before yeah. the match yeah. um, while we're still in the playoffs? Mm. Uh, so we've got Hull at the top who promoted already on 86. Points. Yeah, we've got Peterborough um, in second on 82. We'll then we've got Sunderland in third on 73. Then we've got in fourth Lincoln 72. Fifth Oxford 68. Sixth Blackpool also 68. We've got the same um, goal difference as them. They must have scored more, uh, but we've got two games in hand on them. So, and then we've got Portsmouth. A, a, a position behind us and they were on 68 as well mm. and then below them is charlton on 66 so it's getting so it's getting we're pretty on, tight we're in on a plus three goal difference that's it isn't it that's that's all we're in on yeah we're in on a plus three goal difference and but we the, ain't we ain't been scoring for fun the good so. thing is we've got two games in hand on uh, so, oxford so what could happen tonight um Assuming there's a full program tonight, is there? I'll have to have a look uh, at that one. yeah pretty Don't much move. pretty much oh, <laughs> the charlton playing um, Charlton are uh, well. I'll go through the t today's matches. We've got Aki Portsmouth, so Wimbledon, Rochdale. So Rochdale go down today, I think. Burton Fleetwood, um, Charlton Crew, Peterborough, Donny, Shrewsbury, Lincoln, Sunderland, Blackpool. So, 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 so does that go, mean nobody can go above us? So tonight, that means though. Oxford aren't playing tonight. No, Oxford are not playing. Uh, the, the, Pete, um, Portsmouth could go above us. If they beat Accrington, that's the only ones that, that, that can jump over. Oh, no, a, Ch a Charlton not playing. Charlton are not Char playing, no. Oh, okay. Oxford and Charlton are not playing. Did, so. Charlton, didn't I just tell you Charlton were playing? Charlton are playing. They're oh, they're playing crew. crew, yeah. So, yeah, so Charlton could go past us as well. So, so, so if we don't win tonight, we could well drop out of the top six. Which so, be we a could shame protect. The worst case scenario is we're eighth um, after today. And the best case scenario, we could go up to fifth. Yeah, yeah. Um, Eugene McGee says, "Well, there we are. The, the Blackpool formation uh, t tonight today is a five-four-one, which I, I kind of mm. thought it was five across the back. Looking at it, it does look very much like five across the back. So he's playing with three centre halves then. So um, he's obviously a, a little bit worried about Sunderland. You know, the, the the way they came at us for half an hour in that second half was 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 pretty scary." We just couldn't deal with it, could we? Uh, Peter Donnie says, I feel good about tonight. Hopefully a draw. Also, I see that Sierra... Yeah. Yeah. Sierra Leone. Uh, but the Mighty Blackpool, I see. Are we following that, yeah. uh, the Sierra Leone League now? Following Mighty Blackpool? Uh, Tangerine Army is nervous our, for tonight. Is our season draws to a close? Shazza Harvey had roast beef. Oh, nice. Reese Jefferson uh, has had a, a mince, meat and, uh, mince meat and rice and four pud... Kiwi, Kiwi orange, orange and a, and a penguin, penguin cake, cake bar. bar. Oh, a penguin cake that bar. Nice. A pudding, eh? And a pudding. Joseph Billingsley said it could be 3 3, the same score against Accrington. Oh, that was a quite an amazing yeah. game. Wasn't 3 3 would be good. I'd like I'd settle for 3 3. It's been an entertaining just, game. Just, wasn't yeah, it? that's it. I just need to stay awake tonight. That's all, really. Steve I'm Hunt. Not loose. Steve Hunt is a sea bass and salad for his tea tonight, James. Oh, very oh, yeah. healthy, Steve. It's all coming yeah, in now. Very nice. Oh, I've lost the connection. I've today. got some. Um, some sea bass on order, actually. Uh, Adam's also saying five at the back is a bit concerning for him. It is a little bit, isn't it? Don't Harry worry. Wakes is what price of Sunderland tonight? Are they worth lumping on? All Blackpool fans lump on Sunderland to yeah, win. Yeah, just do Cur it anyway. Curse them. Do it anyway because it's, it's bad luck if you. Uh, if you... <laughs> Uh, Mark Porter says evening Lee and Jane let's hope Aki can do us a favour against Portsmouth tonight too would be good and also Crew doing us a favour against uh, Charlton would be good uh, Scott World of Adventures is here hi Jane Lee not long till I'm back in Blackpool fantastic news Stephen Wood says our ground uh, is based on the Stadium of Light yes it is but just kind of a mini version of it but, but I like the way they, that they fill their roof sort of in underneath you can't see any of the Stanchions underneath, which we, we could probably do to cover all that rust. I wish we based our pies on their pies. Yeah, Stephen Cram is here. <laughs> our pies on their pies. Mm. Hello, Lee and Jane up the pool. Blackpool need to get back on a winning run. Uh, a 2 1 win for the away side. Send my regards to Anne 
uh, from me and Janet. Uh, regards so, to regards Anne. to Anne. Uh, Janice Poulton. Hi, Janice. I ended up in hospital tonight after school. Uh, might not be in a. a Okay. It's, oh, it's Haley. Okay. Oh, well, Why? I hope you're okay. I've been in hospital tonight. That's just, uh, Harry Waite will take a nil nil now. Leah Riley uh, just finished my food. Singapore. Well, movies. actually, I'd take a nil nil now if it meant we didn't have to watch this. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just, <laughs> just, just bank the nil now. And, off, and just, I can put my feet on the walk off American and say we don't, we don't want to play it. <laughs> Leah Riley just said, just finished my food. Singapore noodle soup with prawns thrown in nice. and needing something sweet now, I think. Oh, you yes. just had a smoothie though, haven't you? Wasn't that sweet? Charlie Nutt is here hello charlie we're actually fine how are you peter bigger is here he says hope um hope blackpool get uh, to the uh, the top end of sunderland tonight it will help the imps no end oh yeah help the yes, imps. of course okay so it would help the imps um Leon John Butterworth. Hello, Leon. We always play better against the bigger sides near the top. So come on the pool. We never yeah, know. We, we never know. We haven't, we haven't Pitch lost is yet. Pitch tasty, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Aid Whitaker has just reviewed his scoreline. Uh, he's rolled a dice to get it, and it's 6-5 <laughs> to the pool. Yay! Oh, that would be magnificent. <laughs> On the dice roll, we we trust. Uh, Steve Holt says, Hi, guys, from Julie and I. Squeaky bum time. I'm nervously confident if that makes sense. Yeah, oh, good. Well, I'm glad you're confident. We're, yeah. we're, 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 we're nervously not I'm confident. not even nervous. I'm just... Uh, Stephen Roberts says yeah. yes, and they do play in Tangerine. They changed their name in 1954 in honor of Sir Stanley Matthews. Oh, wow. So cool. interesting news there. Michael A. Miles, Miles is here. Hallie and Jane, hope you're okay. Hopefully, a win tonight. Easy squeaky bum time. Reason for Miles Miles is a mistake that I don't know how to take it off. So, oh. it off. so it's actually Michael A. Miles, right? That I'm, I'm glad we saw that out because I wonder why somebody would call their son like a. a you know, and miles and, miles, and miles. miles. Honestly, miles. honestly, like going miles. Honestly, honestly went miles and miles in a plane or something, and you were part part of that trip. Charles uh, <laughs> Morgan said, "Good news in Euro football. June England, we can have twenty six instead of twenty three players because COVID means Jack Grealish, Jude Bellingham, etc. can come in for England. Oh, good. We like oh, Jack that's, Grealish. That's really yeah. good, then, isn't it? That we've got a few more to choose from. Uh, Brian Harmon is here. Reckons uh, uh, Blackpool will do it three uh, one to the pool. Oh yeah, we cut David Skulls off right in his prime, didn't Did we? we? Yeah. Can I go back and find out what he was saying? Because was that when Sean came? Yeah, on? he did. I was just saying. Oh no, what, what, oh, sorry, David. Let, let's go back to David. If if I can find him, he's, he's way, 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 way back. Uh, I don't know if I can find you now. I don't think I can. No, I can't. I can't find it. We've so. got Newcastle cheering us on tonight. Sorry about that, uh, David. To be cut off in your prime, I'm, uh, I'm sure it was really something good. Uh, John Haslam says, uh, egg, sausage, chips and beans. Sunderland hey, 2, Blackpool 3 I is going for. It. It's alive and stuck the scenes. Egg, sausage, chips and beans. <sighs> uh... You saw Akar is here. Hello, hello. hello. Hopefully, regular, you won't be you? posting ten million things in in the in the post tonight that I don't understand. So, just uh, obviously, not too many posts. Uh, you saw it's hard to get through the comments if you're posting lots and lots of comments. Uh, Toby Royals up the mighty pool. We seem to up our game against the bigger size. I'll be happy with at least a point. Anything more will be a It'll bonus. Be a bloody miracle. <laughs> um, Adam says Sunderland can guarantee the playoffs tonight. Oh. Okay, so it's a so it is a big pressure game for them, isn't it? That that, that, that could work in our favour. You know, that's, it's still a big pressure game for us as well. Mm. Sean P is here. Hi, and Jane. Hope you're both well. My prediction for tonight: a two 0 win for the pool. Great podcast with Keegan Parker last night. Brilliant as always. Thank you yes, very much. Thank it was you, really Sean. Good. He was great, wasn't he? Yeah, Marv's on the bench. So uh, Tom Maybe Powell we'll says see. it's strange he that the Epteter isn't on. Uh, but I suppose for a uh, uh, you know for a while we've had issues at the back and we don't seem to have had them for a while. So I guess he's just he's just biding his time, isn't he? Maybe saving him. Uh, Mark King says I miss Saturday's matches at work, so I make up for it today with a win. Oh, you didn't miss anything, Mark. So, really, it was it was. If terrible. you're back in, you bring in the look. That's yeah, awesome. hopefully. Uh, Michael Stewart Hayes here. Evening, Lee and Jane. How's your day been? How are you feeling? Uh, I've been for my jab this morning. Um, at AFC filed. Uh, got got a bit of a sore arm, but all right. Yeah. All right. How's your day been? Uh, Ryan Ryan Dunbar says four five one three five two. How's my day been? Yeah. It's it's been it's been it's, it's been okay. It's been pretty good. Yep, not bad today. Good. Uh, or a three two five. Look, three two five. 
Probably not going to go three two. I don't think we're going to five up front. Sorry, on that. No. Can't see that. Can't see that, Ryan. To be honest, that would, that would, that, that would be exciting. though, wouldn't it? Five five strike. It would, yes. <laughs> uh, Michael Stewart Hague says, "Been a problem, Jane. As a unit, we have not scored enough goals. Tower power is here. Power, says Sunderland, power, power. Sunderland one, Pill two, Charlton four, Crew two, Aki three, Pompey Ooh. two. Ooh, also. Sunderland are in the red and white striped shirts, black shorts, red socks, looking very good." Yeah, Michael uh, Hague says it's a good job he went on that good run or we wouldn't even be in the playoffs. So I suppose, you know, well, we, we have got ourselves in there. It would be just a shame to fall out of them. Lee Blakebury is here, uh, hoping for a positive result tonight as a top team. I'll just run through the teams with you. Um, so the Sunderland team is uh, Lee Burge, Bailey Wright, Max Power, who still has the most amazing name. Um, it could be an energy drink, couldn't he? Max Power. Max Charlie Power. Charlie Wyke, Aidan O'Brien, Lyndon Gooch, Luke O'Nine, Josh Scoen, Grant Ledbitter, Ada McGeady, Denver Hume. And on the bench, Remy Matthews, Chris McGuire, Jack Diamond, Callum McFadgen, Carl Winchester, Jordan Jones, and Ross Stewart. Sorry, I jab uh mcfadgen's the one who should have got sent off last time isn't he? yes he is yeah so he's not putting him on, on the bench and right come on blackpool the mighty tangerine wizards today we have number one chris maxwell Yay! number 20 ollie turton Yay! 26 dan ballard yes number four jordan thornley yes number three james husband Good. we need him in we said so he's listening to us 29 luke garbert yes number 12 who, who can he doogle? Who can he doogle? Who can he doogle? Who can he doogle? Number 18, Grant Wall. Yes. Number 6, Ethan Robson. Let's hope he does one against Sunderland. Number 10, Sully Kai Kai. Yes. And number 9 is Yatesy, 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 Jerry, Jerry, Jerry Yatesy. Yatesy. He's Jerry Yatesy. He's Jerry Yatesy. And on the bench, we have Stuart Moore, Jordan, Gabriel, Marvin Ekpateta, a Dimitri Mitchell, Kevin Stewart, Ellis Sims, and Brad Holmes, the property developer. This is interesting. Blackpool from, are in their um, third um, sort of dark blue kit. From Michael so, Harrison, says, all respect to Keegan. He did us proud many times. He allegedly tried chatting up one of my daughters a few times when he and the other players used to be uh, out in the syndicate uh, regularly. She was a stunner, a blonde bombshell back then, but thought she thought he was a good laugh. Oh. I, I imagine he was a good laugh. He, you know, he seemed a, he seemed a lot of good fun. I think he was a, he was just a young daft lad, wasn't he? You know, at times, and you don't realise, you know, that when they're here, you know, you know, the young and they do daft stuff, don't they? We all did daft stuff when we were young. I it's looking did. like a five four one according to I follow, but we don't always believe what I follow tells no. us. It does look five one. Uh, Turn the tangerine, scraped from the valley of the piddle, the sticky end of the season. Let's hope that we rise to the occasion. Oh yes, hope. We can still hope. Can't Steve we? Reed says, if, if we win 6 0, I will pay to decorate Boris's flat. Well, right. Stevie Nye, change of ritual tonight. Right. After being okay. unavailable for the last two games, the Blackpool fan t shirt is back, making its debut. Brewdog IPA Hazy Jane and uh, Brewdog J IPA Hazy and Fiercely Independent with a hey, full no, tilt Jane. fruity. Oh, it's called Hazy Jane. Right, right we're kicked off. Right, we're off. Right, and somebody wants yeah, a commentary, so we'll do off. our best. Uh, Sunderland uh, do concede lots of goals to somebody right let's get to the commentary and let's do this let's go right so, right, so Blackpool clear their lines Sunderland head it forward at the rattle straight away at the halfway Sunderland. yeah they are rattle we straight away we haven't got away. into uh, their half oh yet. a nice ball knocked forward here for Sunderland yeah this he's through but we've got three men between him and the goalkeeper he's still so we're, he's back to in goal. the box he's had to go back out to the to the wing but cross coming in headed away by Blackpool to nobody, we don't even again. need to say it, do we? Whoa, we know well. it's to nobody. Oh, that was a nice challenge, wasn't it? Is that Turton? I like him. This is the like commentary, he's just, just taken up, just, right. just kicked off. So. Here we come. I don't think I can listen to that, it's miles behind. Oh, well, that's okay. Don't, 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 don't. Maybe he's just woke up. It's, yeah, they just kicked off now, right on the commentary. The commentary is behind the uh, the pictures, which is weird. Right, okay, Blackpool clear the lines, and it's gone out for a throw in to Sunderland close to the halfway line on the far side. Uh, Steve Holiday is Mickey Walsh playing. We could do with him. 
Yeah, we could do it with Keegan Parker and Andy Morrell as well. Sunderland passing it about at the back. Oh, they're coming forward. Kieran Baines hasn't been Looks on like they bit. really are going for this tonight. Sunderland. They are. They're, they're coming attack, at attack, us. attack, attack. They are going for our throats. Oh, uh, that's a great nice ball, ball through. through. But it looks but like we're going to... Allard sweeping up. Well played. Most is... I'm going to keep possession. Oh, no, we don't. No, we don't. We don't. We, we never it. do, do we? We don't when keep... When we clear, we just put it straight to them every time. It is like a curse, isn't it? They the need to work on the passing. They really do. Right, Sunderland have it on the halfway. Oh, they tried to put a thread of ball through and it's not. Right, Blackpool have got the ball and they've made three passes in their own half. Right. Are you getting rid of that? Uh, yeah, there's really no point. Okay, in, we'll try again at half time. There's really no point listening to that because they're going to be out. It's just throwing me off completely. Oh. Oh, he's listening to St Stanley, is it? That's weird. What, what, you, you oh, right. Now. No, they've changed. Right, great. Good. Come on to Blackpool now. Right. Right, Blackpool, ooh, Blackpool nearly picked the pocket there, but Sunderland have got it back and it's going all the way back to the keeper for Sunderland. Kieran's apologising, saying he hasn't been on for ages. He's been feeling badly ill, but loads yeah. better now. Oh, I'm glad you're better, Kieran. Glad about that. Oh, Sunderland here it. again on the edge of the box. Yeah, they really are going for this. Here they come again, into the box, chipped in. Cleared. Clipped away by Blackpool, though. Picked up Sunderland. again by Sunderland. 35 yards out. Sunderland have picked it up again. Out to the left wing. Blackpool have got men closing down. Keeping it tight. Oh, he's, he's, oh, oh, he's pulled down Pull there. the shirt as well. That's a I stupid free kick. What a daft free kick yeah. that is. Uh, but we've got to get physical back Cheddar with him, though. treated so. himself to a new Blackpool shirt a week ago. We lost every game since then. May have to return the... the oh, burn <laughs> it. Burn it. <laughs> just, just burn it. <laughs> Right, this is a dangerous free kick, giving away needlessly, pulling shirts back. It's not very good. Right. Yes, it was the wrong commentary, and I thought that wasn't it. Was it was Aki Stanley for some reason? Oh, that's uh, strange. Max Power is a car modifier machine. Back in the nineties, it's called oh, Dawson. Wow. Right. Right, this is a dangerous. Free this is a dangerous free kick in. coming in now. Holes strong. Oh, it's great. Found the first man for Sunderland, but he. He made a mess of it, but this, they've got it back again. Not wide. Uh, there's something been pulled back here. Off, offside. Oh, good. Uh, Jacob Rogan says, you reckon Stuart will get a, a run today? Well, probably if we don't need him, they won't. They'll save him, won't they? But it's good to see him back on the bench. Chris Maxwell's got his sleeves rolled up, so he means business today, which is good to see. <laughs> He's going to have a busy day today if this is anything to go by so far. Tangerine uh, Army says, every time we sing the U Kenny Dougal chant, the viewers go down. Oh. So. <laughs> It's the best. Right, yeah, go is loving our away street. Yeah, it was always going to be the blue one because the white one would clash. The tangerine one would clash a bit, wouldn't it? Well, so, it wouldn't really. Right, we're coming now. This is the third kit, by the way. Oh, scoreboard. Back. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, How do we always forget the scoreboard? I don't know. It's because uh, we're, we're, we're busy with other things. Aren't we? Let's get it up there. Oh, God, this is dangerous passing about at the back. They're, uh, they're pressing us here. Right, scoreboard is up. Thanks, folks. Oh, God, no. Blackpool, come on. Blackpool. They're pressing us. We can't. Oh, no. It's... Honestly. Right, Blackpool it's get passing. it again, though, in their half. Oh, Are we going to keep it in? Already. No, it's gone out for the throw into Sunderland on the far side and middle, midway through their own half. Can I pull a sickie? So I don't have to watch. Oh, I've had me jabbed this yeah, morning, it's, it's really, really sore. <laughs> I just, if I just go and have a Can lie I get down, off? I think, yeah. Why am I getting up to Mr. Portsmouth? Yeah, I'm burning I follow. Up. We don't know, Mike, but they've sorted Have you that still now. Got it? No, it's, it's, it's right now. Oh, good. Mr. Moley is here. The mold is in the house. Go, Moley. Paul Chris says, Come on, you pool. The imps are watching. They want us to beat Sunderland tonight. Uh, Jow is here. Sorry, holy Paul Heater says, does Maxwell look any taller with his sleeves rolled up? Well, he's got his hair sort of like slicked down a little bit, so it looks a bit shorter, actually. Right. Sunderland have got the ball on the halfway. Back into their own half. Back to the centre half. We're not pressing them. Building slowly. Because we're all at the other end. We're all back. I mean, we're playing we're ready for this because, onslaught. Right, long ball forward from Sunderland. It. And it's cut out by Blackpool, but under pressure. Oh, boy, we had to kick it out for a throw-in to Sunderland near the corner flag. Uh, who fouled? It was uh, Grant Ward. Pulled his shirt. Right, it's a throw-in for Sunderland. Oh, Kieran Bates says he noticed the times he's not been on stream. We've lost. 
So he's back. Oh, oh Bro, you're Maybe he's all lucky. Oh, this is a chance for Sunderland. Still got it. Back out to the edge of the area. But oh, we've got oh, a, won the throw well there. played. We've got a Golden throw. Grant. Our own throw in there. On... He bounced it off their player and out for a throw. Yeah, he did. Grant Ward, good player. He's made, he's made up for his earlier grabbing of the shirt, which wasn't very good. No, but we got away with it, didn't we, sir? Well, like, yeah, they are, they are saying on the radio that, that Sunderland have started the better, and I, I tend to agree with that. Definitely. They've they finished sprightly. the better, didn't they? They finished the better team at Bluffer Road. Right, launch four. We are getting doing longer throws, aren't we now? Come on. Right. The bit of head tennis on midway, but... possession all the fucking time? So frustrating. It is. I just can't. It's, I, I, you know, I, I believe it's a confidence thing. It's it's frustrating. Yes, we it? need the guy from Suffolk for luck. Yes, we do. He's, yeah, he's obviously watched us through every win, so he's, he's not been here for the last two losses. So because he's been ill, so we'll take that. And he's we're his second team anyway, aren't we? Is Medine on the bench? No, he isn't. No, no sign of Medine. Right. I don't think we'll be Blackpool seeing him again. Blackpool are pushing them. Oh, we're going to get a corner here. Oh. Sunderland have given us a corner by a very sloppy back pass. We're nowhere bit, near the goalkeeper. They're a bit obsessed with asbestos. Lots of asbestos adverts around the stadium. Well, no, they've got those ones that move. Well, it's not now. Oh, you know, it's it's, move, it's the electronic advert. So the no, whole but stadium they had it down here before as well. Yeah, well, the whole stadium will change to something else soon, won't it? Right. Who's this trotting up to take this corner? Is it Luke? Luke Garbutt, corner on the near side, looking like he's about to play an in-swinger. Uh, Yusal is, is, is informing us of the Turkey Football Super League. Hete one and Glenka Burling nil. Corner coming corner in. Corner coming nice in. one, actually, headed away. It was away. a good one, but uh, Sunderland get rid of it. Um, uh, Blackpool Back managed to... Back halfway line, but we still got it. Yeah, we've we've got still it picks here, it up. The pressure, not back the in. Hoofed, at, hoofed back, in. back in. Can Blackpool uh, do... No, they can't. Sunderland have got the ball and they're away. Just this, this losing possession oh, is just driving me mental. We're knocking out for a throw in to Sunderland near Critch, actually, on this side. Critch is actually going to kick the ball. Oh, Tekkers from Critch. Uh, Mike Peake says that uh, Sunderland have dropped 25 points from winning positions, worse than the pool. Wow, okay. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, Joe, he's, he's got another match. We're, we're his warm-up game with a support act. He's watching Flamengo later. Mr. Moley says that asbestosis is a big issue in the northeast. So well, evidently. Yeah, that's, that's why. Oh, they moved on to Carling now. Joe says he's watching the game of Blackpool to warm up because uh, there is more... I've just said that. Oh. He's watching Flamengo later. Oh, Flamengo. Oh. It's his Brazilian team. Ah, okay, okay. Right, throw oh, in. It's a warm up. Oh, yeah. we've got Bun Man. Welcome back, Bun Man. Oh, yes, of course. Oh, yeah, we've in. missed him, haven't we? Right, the Blackpool have got a free kick in their own half. As the Bun Man, Bun Man. As the Bun Man, Bun Man. Well, at least you know he's got, he's got a bit of fight in him, husband. Yeah, he? you know he's I mean? growl he's, like him. He's not going to give up so easily. He'd have been up there for player of the year, I think, if he hadn't been out. For Shazza him. Harvest now says, believe, come on, Blackpool. Mm. We take a long free kick and it's just absolutely to nobody. Sunderland pick it up in their own penalty area and start to, no, Blackpool press a little bit at the front. So they're still in their own penalty area, Sunderland, passing it across. Do you believe, right. Shazza? Long ball from Sunderland, but they've got some big players, but Blackpool managed to get a foot in and we pick it up on the heart. What did we do there? Right, anyway. They're not, nice. like, they're not allowing us a second on the ball no, there. They're not. They're, not, they're, they're, really they're going to tie themselves out, though, surely. Going, they can't keep this pace up, Sunderland. It's well, frenetic. Maybe we're hoping that they will tie right. themselves uh, out. Ballard's got a bit of space on the ball here. Closed down, though. And he puts oh, a yeah, ball out. Nice. So that, very nice. Out to the left wing. It's, no, um, no, we just we, we no Garbutt. battle to go forward with it, have we? We just go back again. Mm. Puts him a lovely ball over, acres of space. Yeah, little triangles on the wing. He over it. And then oh, we, we're, we're back we, in we've ended going back and we've got a... No, no, we've, we've lost it, haven't we? It's just we're, a bit scrappy no, now. No, it's all right. We've we've won it. Had to go back into our own half, though. Back to the halfway line. Stephen's asking, is Sully even on the pitch? Well, he is. He, he hasn't had a touch of the ball, really, yet. Charlton are beating the crew 1-0. Charlton are winning. 
That's bad news. Here we are. We're playing it forward here to Ollie Turton. He gets in some good positions. He's running into oh, the middle. Oh, what's he done with it, though? Lost it the last oh, second. Oh, that was a handball from the Blackpool player there. No, it's a free but kick Somehow to we've won a free kick because I think he was clattered and touched it on his way. There. Brian Watson thinks there would have been about 30,000 there tonight. It would have been absolutely amazing, wouldn't it? Shrewsbury Ooh, yeah. are losing to Lincoln 1-0. So Lincoln are winning. Charlton are winning. It's all not good, is it? It's getting tougher and tougher at this time. Well, we just got to concentrate on what we're doing. I can't believe Charlton were dead and buried a few weeks ago, and because we've uh, because we've cocked up, they've come back into the picture. Business end, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Right, Blackpool got a free kick. Uh, it's about Jim's taking ten this yards one. inside their half. Jim's taking it, chipped in. To nobody. Headed away, usual. headed back in. Get headed back in again, Ollie. Oh, he's been, uh, someone's been bundled down in the box there, Jerry Yates, but, but um, legally, apparently. Right, well, oh, God, that was a dangerous was sort a, of clearance across the goal there from Sunderland, but uh, they've got away with it and now that they're. Is, uh, right, Blackpool pick it. Have a, have a I've throw got to throw in the, halfway, on the line. halfway line. Kale and spinach smoothie. No, that doesn't sound very sweet. <laughs> mm. wait to, no. Oh, Stephen Roberts says uh, he dropped some youth team players off to training today. Uh, they love talking to a fan. They're playing dingles tomorrow. I told them to smash them. Aww. Good. Right, long ball four from Blackpool, but it's going to go out harmlessly for a throw into Sunderland level with their penalty spot That's on the few, far side. Uh, a few Sunderland flags in that corner there. there a is, Scotland flag as there well. There's quite a lot there, just across the seats, isn't there? Just trying to get the ball... Yeah, Some other the flags that I'm unable of, to identify. Out of the seats. A Welsh one, possibly. As well. oh, the Scottish one, isn't there? Yeah, there's mm. quite a few. Yeah, it is a Welsh one. Yeah, there's a Welsh dragon on it. Right, Sunderland took a long throw and it's headed back by Blackpool, but to nobody, of course. Jerry's looking a bit lively today. Right, Blackpool pick it up, though, in, in the Sunderland half. This is a little bit better from Blackpool. But we're taking so long. Oh. oh. I right, still got it. Grant Ward has got it now. I, I, I have to go back to the halfway. I have to go back to centre half. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, Paul. I'm not singing today, am right. I? Long ball hit forward. Are we going to get to that? No, it's gone too far and it's gone out for a throw into Sunderland. Very near the corner flag on this near side. I'm not sure if I dare sing. I think it might be a bit much for me. I'm trying to just stay sort of chilled and relaxed and not overexert myself. I think we all feel the same, Manchester United fan. Maybe Blackpool can get a win today. His prediction is mm. uh, two nil, but uh, it'd be good if we did maybe that. But we're not. We're, we're not. Fly. Maybe. Who knows? Uh, um, Stephen Roberts says we've not won since I bought my thumbs up Jerry T-shirt. No, yeah, we haven't we do. scored since, has he? There was someone was saying on on uh, social media that Gary Medine hasn't played since the Gary Medine T-shirt came out, and Jerry hasn't scored since the the, the thumbs up for yeah, Jerry T-shirt. So, so, so the team are cursing. So, yeah. I don't know why they do these things, thinking it's clever. Uh, it just ruins everything, doesn't it? Don't change things. Don't. Don't just, just don't go changing. Just don't go changing, right? Blackpool the ball on the halfway. Us. Sunderland are really pressing, but Blackpool uh, pass it back into our own half. Cross the centre backs. Oh, how rude, Derek! <laughs> I just sang as well. So that was for you, Derek. <laughs> this one's for you, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> so she's not singing, so thank God for that. There we go. <laughs> Isn't it nice, friendly people Some in the sympathy chat Sympathy there. Right, my, Sunderland picking up on halfway. Friends. Here they come. Come on the pool. Come uh, Blackpool on get the back, pool. though. Sunderland have been pushed back a little bit. Uh, Blackpool almost giving away, but no. Still got it. Oh, man on there. Oh, Ooh, oh nice play. To, oh, to one of nice passing by Blackpool. This is better. Ward, running Grant through Ward. the middle. Plays it out to uh, Turton. Turton, who, oh, under pressure though, that ball, Turton. Turton's that good... not rampaging forward today. No, he's not. Right, we've gone back again into our own half, folks. It's going to be it's going to be a lot of this, I feel. One of those nights, as Book's Fizz sang. <sighs> Stephen, uh, oh, Aki are beating Pompey. That's good news. Uh, right. Stephen Roberts okay. says there's more curses in the team than Coach Lasso. Maybe we should sacrifice <laughs> a chicken voodoo <laughs> style. Maybe <laughs> sure. Maybe, maybe we need to watch Ted Lasso again. What a great show. Right, right, oh, it's yeah. super right. Long ball hoof from Blackpool. Oh, 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 it's no. going to go all the way through to the Sunderland keeper who 
rolls it out to his centre half. Jez was very much up on his own there. Should have got more attacking, says Shazza. Well, we don't, though, do we? We just sort of had a bit of a swagger against Lincoln and then we've been frightened to attack ever since, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, we have, yeah. It's as if that's really affected us mentally. All right, Blackpool launch from forward. Oh, that's man on there, but Blackpool are away again. Kai Kai Come on, is sorry. on the ball. Go on, Kai Kai. Oh, lovely man. ball out to the left wing by Kai Kai. Jerry. Jerry Yates. Come on, Jerry. He's Yexy, Yexy. Jerry, Jerry, Yexy. People oh, in there, though, no, oh. no. He's trying to get to past too many, and no, no. no. No, no, no. He didn't turn there. He's trying to run through them. It's unusual for Jerry. All uh, right. Sunderland are up. Oh, oh no. yeah. We got it back. Good but tackle, but Sunderland it pick again. it up again in their own half and they're back to the goalkeeper. Lee says, don't stop singing. It'll keep you going, Jane. Well, I don't, I'm just trying not to overexert myself and I think singing may. Yeah, she also sung Don't Go Changing. So you have been singing. Yeah, I know. It'll keep you going, Jane, says Leah. Oh. Yes, Aki one, Portsmouth nil. We're getting that score in. Right, Blackpool pick it up in the Sunderland half Come again. On the on the halfway, better spell Not this. War, but to soon Come close down, we've got to go back to halfway. Come but, on, uh, the yeah, we, 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 we've kind pool. of withstood the early the pressure, pool. haven't we? Go on, the back pool. into our own half Come again, and it's going to go across. Jordan Thornley's got the ball, and he puts a nice ball out to the wing, just inside the Sunderland half. But mm. and yeah, we're back. we've got to grips with the game a bit. I agree. We're, we're, we're not struggling quite as much. Sunderland have, have, are not looking quite the threat they were in the first 10 minutes. No, I think we, they might have tied right. themselves out. Blackpool well. down the right wing. Well, Close down already. A, We've had to go back breather. again. We're, we're just going back, forward a little bit, back a little bit. It's like two sets forward, two sets back at the moment. Right, long ball launch for from Blackpool. It looks like it's going to go mm, no. out for a goal kick. I think, you know, Ethan Robson might, he might score today because he, he has a few shots, doesn't he? And he has scored for us before. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, Stephen Roberts is ordering a KFC bucket and offering it to the gods. Let's hope. Or uh, Uber, hurry up. I can't even speak. <laughs> is can this I? a sacrificial? Yeah. So, a sacrifice. Oh, I can't, can't speak anymore. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. It's the jab and the paracetamol. She starts mm. slurring. That's what it is. It's Yeah, I'm not even a beer, despite being at the queuing up for the bar at 9 o'clock right. this morning. Someone have got the ball in their own half. A uh, bit ahead tennis in midfield, but Sunderland have it now. They're coming forward down the right wing. Oh, there's a ball, ball across, coming in, but, but it's too... Oh, it's no, kept in, kept it's kept it. in. But Blackpool do it's manage to cleared. clear it, but it's going to be picked up by Sunderland. We're getting back towards the halfway, and I'm back into their own half now. Oh, Aki beating Portsmouth, that's good. Just going to send Phil the link for later, because he's coming on for after, after the uh, our review show. Yes, I'm just sending him a, a link to Phil, because he will be coming in, and he needs that, so... We will be doing a review, win or lose tonight, folks, although I don't really enjoy doing them when we lose, as everybody knows I don't. Uh, Kieran's asking if we like the Chronicles of Narnia. I always loved The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe, me. I always had a thing about witches. Yeah, I like that book as well. Was... Stephen said when he had his jab, he had two paracetamol, a large scotch, and felt fantastic. No, yeah, I'm... That's the solution. I've, I've heard that alcohol's not, not good, so I'm, I'm, I'm avoiding that. Right, ball back to Maxwell, who, who clears long under pressure, actually, from Sunderland. But it's headed for by Sunderland, not for by Blackford to the halfway. You pick it up, out to the left wing. This is nicer. But uh, Garbage. straight away, we're at, we have to go back every but time where's we go he going? He's, I think we're trying to cut through the middle of it here. I don't know what we? we're trying to do at the moment, no. but we're just, we're, we're just trying to keep possession football and just slow it down a bit for Sunderland. Yeah, they, they don't were, seem to be finding they any They are way trying forward. to kill the game off a little bit, though, because it was a bit pressury for the first 10 minutes. Right, so, uh, Blackpool still got the ball. Uh, but pass back into our own half. John Walters loves the railway children. Yeah, that was a good movie as I don't well. Don't remember it. Back to Maxi. Blackpool uh, to on. fifth, Pompey down to eighth. Charlton now in sixth. Oh, good. Oh. Right, that's launched forward down the uh, right wing to Ollie. Right, nice ball inside, inside to Sully. Sully. Oh, he's just showed too much of it and uh, giving it away. Mm. Sunderland pick it up in uh, on their own penalty area, and they've still got it, and out to their right fullback. No, Molly, I meant I didn't mean alcohol is not good. Obviously, alcohol is good. I mean, you'll see when you re read my Sunderland blog. Honestly, that's just got lots of pubs and lots of alcohol, and I found the most. I've got a cupboard full of alcohol because I'm not drinking it. 
and I've just ordered six cans of this amazing beer that I found uh, on my, my virtual pub call of Sunderland. So oh. it's not actually going to, I'm going to need another shelf. Actually. Sun- oh, oh, that was a tasty Black challenge. Pickle. There he was that. Yeah, we're giving a bit of what that we got. That was Ballard. Nice. It right, Kai Kai's Kai Kai has got now. nowhere to pass to though, so he's had to go a little bit back. He's Ollie. Ollie's always there. Go on, Ollie. Go on. It's you a, can go it's further forward than that, It's a game of chess that, at Ollie. the Come moment, on. this, folks. It uh, really is. Blackpool have got the ball in the Sunderland half, which is good to see. We're keeping possession a bit better than we were, which is also good to see. Uh, Stephen Cross to take this team out of Sunderland, then Blackpool can get more in the game. Uh, long ball, not four, oh. but it's just too far. And it's gone through for a goal kick to Sunderland. 22 minutes gone, and uh, we're not losing, guys. All right, isn't it? Tom Jackson's looking forward to getting back into Bloomfield Road next season, aren't we? All are. Let's hope oh, we do. Fingers crossed. Let's just fingers crossed. We don't know how this is going to pan out, do we? No, we don't. Rebuilding Sunderland together. Mm. Be part of the project. What is that? Oh, uh, they just, just want your money, basically. Oh, they just wanting yeah. you to, to buy tickets for next Surprise, season. We haven't done that yet. Yeah. Well, that's, that's obviously going to put the prices up if we get promoted, wow. aren't they? Stephen the Roberts is not... Right, what... here's Grant Ward. Well, Ward. Yes. Oh, oh. They just, Yates went the wrong way mm. for that. Oh, oh here he is. Yeah, oh, no, Jer- no, Jerry Yates. Pick the pocket. Jerry Yates oh. is, is, is crowded out. Oh, they're looking a bit um, dodgy at the back here now. No, Sunderland, looking, they're looking a bit panicky. They're looking a bit panicky, yeah. Uh, Steam Ross is now watching while colouring Rach's hair. But oh. not many men can say that's one of their many hidden talents. <laughs> I, don't, I think you're right there. There won't be any men oh. that can say that. That's, that's, that's amazing. What, what colour is it? Uh, Mr. Molly said, will we take a draw if it was offered now? I, I really would love a win, to be honest, but I, I, I would take the draw. I've got to admit. Oh, Stephen, I understand it was Papa's birthday recently. What what did he get with his birthday money? He went he went to pets at home, didn't he, and spent it. What did what did he get for his birthday? Jake, make out from the first. Jacob Rogan said, "Would you recommend the South Stand for atmosphere? Uh, it's okay, but it's not as good as the North. If you want atmosphere, you got to go on the North. But if you stand. want to be able to see, go in. But if you want to be able to see, yeah. If you want to, if you don't mind standing up through the whole game, then the North stands for you, and it's it's really really noisy, but." Oh, here's Sunderland coming through now. He's tried to chip the wow, keeper. Wow, Andy got a touch on that, that didn't was a volley he? Yeah. As well, wasn't it? Um, it's all right. He could have he could have scored there. To be honest, he was, he, he it, was, it was a long ball through from Sunderland, and he just beat everybody. And he just managed to get a toe on the he ball, was quick. but it just kind of went up in the air and straight Cyber into, uh, here. Hello. into Maxwell's hands. Oh, Simon Lee is here. Hello, uh, Tom Jackson to Sky reporting. Both teams are devoid of confidence on their match yeah, report. Yeah, that sounds about right. You, well, confidence in yeah, you you would you would say that, wouldn't you? So we oh, certainly are under pressure here, Blackpool. Oh, we're winning the battle in midfield. Oh, there. that's a free kick, though. A free kick to yeah. Blackpool on the halfway line. Right, Blackpool take the free kick quickly, which is amazing to see. Right, nice through ball. Picked up by Jess. Jerry Yates. He's got men on him Come all on, the Jess. time. He's got two He's men gone, on him. Yeah, that's overlapping. Gets a good ball, the ball in there from Wally, but it's clear. But it's clear. It was a decent it ball It was a lovely well. ball just it, right across the floor. It's a dangerous floor, ball, drilled. I can't say L's. What's the matter with me? Uh, Mr. Morris says the North Stand is fun, but not ideal for vertically challenged moles. No, no, no that's why I don't like it as well. Because like, Did you see that? The puppet got a cake, some extra treats, oh. and, a, and a new pig to destroy, and a, a crackle stick that he chases. Across a crackle stick? Sounds great. That's fantastic. Uh, Alex Sunter says he went to a match on the moon. It was not going again. There was no atmosphere. Oh, <laughs> boom, boom. Right, Blackpool have the ball in their own half again. So the game has gone... A lot quieter than the first 15 minutes. Have Sunderland run out of juice already? Or are they saving themselves for a last half an hour? Oh, that was a bit Ooh. tasty, surely. That was late. It's a bit winded there. Wow, lad on the floor. Only need to and just head him on forward, and the Sunderland guy just clad into him and to almost scream. He's getting up, though, because he's Blackpool and he's hard. He just continued into him, but nothing is given as, as usual. Nothing at all for that. Ooh, Kenny Dougal is looking uh, a little less blonde. So I really just, it's a good thing we haven't got VAR. Yes, it's a very good thing we, we haven't got VAR. We're not likely to get it. We don't Anytime want to see the back of him. I don't know what that, what that view was they were showing. They were showing the back of the Sunderland manager. Which we don't want to which, see. No idea. It was just his coat, really, wasn't it? He was pointing. He likes his zoom. We saw him pointing. Going. Right. Sunderland head away. Can Blackpool pick this up? Yes, they can. Yeah, we're looking. Uh, no, they lose Blackpool. it again, Blackpool. There, a silly Come on, Paul, make it count. 26 minutes gone. 
Right, and the ball's up, the in the air, up in the air, up in the air, up in the air. But Blackpool are really pressing Come on Sunderland. The ball. But, uh, Come on Sunderland the ball. have got a throw in midway in their own half. What's the live table? Uh, is it, is it? At the moment, yeah, we are. Live lead uh, table. Okay, so uh, well, Hull and Peterborough aren't, aren't playing. Um, so you've got Hull, uh, Hull on 86, Peterborough 82. We've got Lincoln, who are winning on 75. So they've gone up to third. Sunderland down to fourth on 74. Blackpool up to fifth on 69. Charlton winning uh, also on 69. Oxford not playing. Portsmouth losing 68. So it's looking okay at the moment. Uh, oh, possession 52% Blackpool. Right, so Sunderland get a, a free kick on the halfway line, and that was a very soft, bloody free kick that you know come compared to what we just saw in Ali Turton. No shots for either side. I don't know there was a shot, wasn't there, that that kind of looped up in the air. Uh, we, we are set up to not lose it, but that's a dangerous game, right? Sunderland come down the left wing here. Uh, and Ward it's all right. did very did well, well there. Well, he got yeah. a block in as well. And Blackpool, Excellent work from Ward. That ball's just gone, bounced wrong. He's a good little player, isn't he, Grant? Someone pick it up on the halfway. Yeah, he is a good player, Ward, yeah. And speaking of Ward, here's Stuart Ward. He's been watching in the car, but he's home now. Welcome home. Oh. Welcome home. <laughs> Welcome. Come on in and tell us what you've had for tea. Brentford won Rotherham nil. You won't have had your tea. You're just coming from work. What are you having? Are you going to wait till full time? Do you want something sending at half time? Yes. Um, Simon Belida says, yes, we know Hull are already champions. They are. They're, well, they're, well, they're already promoted. Whether they'll end up as champions, that's it's, it's not. They may not end up as champions, but but they are promoted, and, and Peterborough are not Make promoted. Make sure yet. you're aware Loose of from Christoph. Sunderland there. Loose from Sunderland. And uh, Blackpool have a throw in close to the halfway line, just inside our own half. On the far side. Oh gosh. Well, it's it's not dull, is it? No, it's been all right so far. To be honest, it's been it's been okay. Br Brentford are looking really good, aren't they? And, um, they were unlucky last season. I, I, I wouldn't were. mind them getting promotion this season, really. Because they, right, Blackpool get a free kick just inside the Sunderland half. So I believe they're asking, do you think we'll reach the Prem? Yes, we will. Yes, in 2000, we'll reach the Prem. <laughs> don't know where, don't know when, the but I don't keeping... know we'll reach the Prem some sunny day. <laughs> <laughs> the drugs are kicking in for Jane, Yay. you can tell. She's going slightly loopy. I'm going slightly, slightly mad. mad. <laughs> right, it Black finally Paul, happened. Put it out. No, a very loose ball from Blackpool. It's gone out for a throw into Sunderland on the far side. That was a terrible ball. Yes, we already know you're there. You're West Ham. We, we know that side, I believe it. Lols. <laughs> Who have Pill got Saturday? We've got uh, Northampton Town on Saturday. Another bogey team, haven't we? Away. Oh, away again. Yeah, and then we've got Donny and Bristol Rovers. Oh, are you having a laugh, Sunderland player? What, what? That's our last um, Saturday not game. Anywhere near your pal. How can you be trying for a free kick there? He went down like it. there's nobody within yards of him. Saturday, do you know that? Like, this Saturday coming is our last Saturday game. Because our last game of the season is on a Sunday. Oh, right. Okay. Right. Sunderland knock it forward on the halfway line and pick it up. Blackpool get a foot in and it's, they're going to clear it. I hope that's a bank holiday weekend. That's going to screw Find up my weekend. Somebody on the halfway, but he's knocked it out for a throw is in. It? I'm going to check. Come on, the Burnley, says uh, <laughs> Giles Chaloner. Oh. oh no. We're at Turf Moor, uh, West Ham. When, when's May Day? Is it Bank Holiday Monday? Mm. Oh, yeah. No, 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 it's not. It's... it's... Oh, so oh. knock a long ball forward. And um, we've had to knock it it's out. It's May Day this weekend, folks. We had a long weekend. I didn't know this. Oh. Oh, that's a treat, isn't it? It is a treat. Wow, well, I didn't know that was coming. Oh, that's put me right. Right, up. Sunderland here on the attack, coming down the left wing. Blackpool have got plenty of players round the ball. Still got it, Sunderland. Ball coming in. There's a chance. A header, but it's got the header in, but he's just put it high, and wide, and handsome header way over. Uh, no, I haven't had both vaccines yet. I'm still waiting for my second one. That should be coming soon. Uh, how many more games have Blackpool got after tonight? They've got three, Stephen. Three games. They're away at, at um, 
who I just said. Northampton. Northampton Town. And we've got Doncaster Rovers and Bristol Rovers. Donny, you've got a spot of COVID as well. They've they got have. um they've got four players. One one has it and three are self isolating. Well, so. Stephen Farrell says, come on, pull 30th of May final and promotion. Well, we're a long way away from that yeah. yet, Stephen. I, I can't even begin to even talk about that, to be honest. It's, we, 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 we're nowhere. Right. Well, I looked, it was with Chris Maxwell. I looked up and it's, it's with, with Airkeeper now. I can't speak, guys. I can't speak. Yes, I agree with you, Giles. The West Ham fans were horrible at Wembley. Not good news for Derek. They really were horrid at Wembley. Yeah. Right. Here comes Sunderland now down the right wing on the far side. Keeping it tight. To Not the all line. West Ham fans, of course. Ball right. Ball in, headed Ball back. Ball in from Sunderland and Looping. Blackpool headed clear. Found somebody he could do with going down there, but he no, didn't. Listen. Blackpool lose it. Sunderland have picked it up on about a 35 yard line. Here they come looking sprightly Here they again. They come, they are. The... Back to the right wing. Right, back to the right wing. Right, Ball's coming across right. now. Headed Take away by Blackpool. Yeah, we have flooded the box. My there. husband actually launched long and forward into the Sunderland half, but there's no nobody there, so Sunderland pick it up in their own half. All the time in the world. Oh, well, Steve says the last Saturday game and he won't be here. Hospitality industry back this weekend in yes. Scotland. Oh, well, that's good news. Not good news that you won't be here, but good news that the uh, hospitality is back. They were pretty bad on that day, uh, West Ham. On, is that outdoors? Indoors, nice. indoors as well as outdoors? And it had always been nice at Wembley, hadn't it? We'd always had lovely days out at, at Wembley and friendly and fun and you know even even cardiff you were a bit worried about really they they were lovely at wembley and blackpool went in like fancy dress and everything and just west Ham were not there yeah in you won't of. be able to, to to change our opinion on that side later you're, you're on to a loser there i think he's saying that that, that oh, the, west Ham were the hooligans oh. and if he is yes yes they were shazza harvey says we need to change the formation well, well it's, we're doing all right. At the moment, we're holding our own, but aren't we're not we? looking like scoring, really. But, but no, right. Someone we have got an, nothing up front. Someone put a nice ball down on the wing. Blackpool. Oh, Blackpool got away. Yes, we have. Right, well played. On. Make me eat my words, Ollie. Come on. Go on, Ollie. Rampaging. Right out to the right wing. Blackpool. Inside, left wing, yeah. but it's uh, oh, well, on, but... only halfway, and they've they've already got back. We're very we're very slow on the attack, aren't we? Oh, it's gone all the way back to the heart. We, we just go back all the time, don't we? Here we go. Oh, we're going back here. We're going to go back to Maxwell here at this rate. Mm -hmm. No, we'll bring it forward a little bit. Ah, oh, there we are. Back to Maxwell, as I said. There we go. Brilliant. Right, here we go. What's this, Mr. Moss? We all know that Fred Astaire used to dance down the stairs, but did you know that his brother Stan carried little old ladies up them? Didn't know that. Stan Astaire. See oh, what he did Stan there. Stan See what he did. Oh, very good, Molly. Very good. Nice. Right. Blackpool on the attack oh, I didn't now. Even get that, did Certain I? So to. I'm surprised I did in my condition. We've got, we got a corner. Blackpool have got a corner. Kai Kai did well. Played that off the uh, Sunderland um, defender there out for a corner. How did I not see that? Side. Honestly, I was a bit slow. Stan Astaire. Yes. Yeah. Stan Astaire lift. Well done, Mr. Molly. Bravo. Yes, Mick Harrison says what didn't help with West Ham is that, 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 that they were in, well, somebody gave a lot of tickets to thousands of them, didn't they? There's a lot of controversy over it and they ended up in our end and that was the problem. Wasn't right, Garbutt corner near side, in swinger, right, corner incoming. coming in. It's a good one. It's a good one. They've been practicing oh, these. Oh, that's oh, and Oof, then we balloon in, it over uh, the bar. Uh, in in book chats, uh, Mr. Murley, I know you like your, your football books. We'll just while while their players down um, hurt himself. Um, there was a book advertised in When Saturday Comes about um, a guy who went around all the Welsh grounds. Have you seen that? Um, I've ordered it today. Sounds like a bit a good one because I've not. Um, I don't know a lot about Welsh football or their That's grounds. I've been to Colwyn Bay very nice. Or but... it could have anything could have happened there, couldn't it? But, but the ball comes out from the to the edge of the box and it was a volley and he just volleyed it way, Indoor, way over. Indoor, no alcohol outside, alcohol in Scotland. Alan yeah. Carrasco, greetings from Mexico. Hola. Hello, hola, Mexico. Speedy Gonzalez, is, was he from Mexico? I don't think he was, was he? Oh, yeah, and Slowpoke Rodriguez. He's yeah. our favourite. David Sharman says he took his 10-year-old daughter to West Ham play a final and they were disgusting to us. Yeah, well, let's not dwell on that. Let's think happy thoughts. He's hurt himself. He looks like he might have uh, hurt his elbow or dislocated his shoulder, this Sunderland player here. He's, he's not happy. He's trudging off. He's a bit some, sorry for himself. He, he doesn't look so good, does he? No. Oh, no. oh no, he's no. about to cry. Well, he looks like he's in pain. That's why he's he crying. Does. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're very mean, aren't you? He's Sunderland, Poor isn't guy. He, yeah. He's holding his right arm. 36 oh, minutes gone. Is he coming up? Is he coming back on? I don't know. He'll be fine. Oh, look, he's, he's getting better. He's suddenly getting better. He's not holding his arm anymore. He's miraculously in those 10 oh, yards. Oh, Burn beating the Cods. Yay. There we are. That's a bit of good news. Stop, stop zooming in, bloody cameraman. Right. We're back with the Sunderland goalkeeper who's taking the goal kick. Long. Long. I, I think he's back on. He's, Sunderland head, but he, they're offside. He looked like he like, had his shoulder dislocated, but he, he looks okay. Casey Link is here. Stevie Nice says the Cardiff fans were great. Wembley. Yeah, yeah it, it was a great, were. it was great, wasn't it? And hello to Casey Link. Hello, Yo, Casey. Um, Argyle 83 is here. Hello. Uh, greetings from Devon. Come on the pool. He's cheering for us. Thank you very oh, much. Good. Hello, Devon. Back right. to Maxi. Maxwell's got the ball. He's looking what he's going to do with it. Right. He's, 37 uh, he's minutes going long. have gone, folks, and it's still seen nil, something. Nil. Yes, we've, he we've, reaches Yates, who knocks it back game. to we'll, Kai Kai. We'll be pressurised there. We've got to go back to halfway. Back, 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 but forward back again. Kai Kai. Kai Kai, found oh, space. He's, yes, he's found space. Yes, he's the box. Yates. But oh. He was. He's carrying on. Oh, he's, he's managed to foul. Oh, oh shame. Oh, he did well there. Sunderland, uh, free He's looking lively, Yates. Uh, well, he's seen the book, but hasn't got it yet. He's got to do the four. He's got, got to do the 42 by Martin McNeil, which is about doing the Scottish League grounds. Yeah, I mean, Tom Jass has said if Jimmy Floyd Asselbank had been in charge all season, Burton could be playoff contenders on the phone. Yeah, they're doing I mean, great, they, they, aren't they? I said they'd upset quite a lot of teams. His teams run because they are a good, good team. Have you ever been to Roots Hill before? Roots Hall, yes, Root, Roots I Hall. have. South End went first game of last season. It was ace. Alan Carrasco says in Mexico, in Mexico, this type of equipment is not very uh, common, but I love it. Oh, okay. Yay. Oh, yeah, you're, you're, you're like very it. welcome. You're welcome. For, everybody's welcome here. Yeah. I'm not surprised you can't get stream yard there. But... Uh, right. Head tennis at the halfway. Sunderland pick it up and they're in their own half. We've got Jow in from Brazil, which is over your way, isn't it? Charlie Nutt is here. How's our day? Fine. Thank you, Charlie. All right. I had my jab this morning. Feeling a bit, um, a bit hot now, actually. But um, I'm, I'm battling, you know, I'm braving it out for you guys. Yes, Mick Harrison says we gave as good as we got to West Ham, but that was our younger crowd, the, the people who had families and that. It, it was, it was, it was not very nice, and it was done to families and stuff. So there was nastiness. Anyway, oh, Charlie says Cods we're very two, nice people. Two You're two very nil, nice. Too. Two nil down now, the Cots. Oh, what a shame. Right. They've got nothing to play uh, for now, have they, Cods? We're 38, they're coming up to 39 minutes, folks. Someone have got it back in their own half. And it's a kind of a game of chess, this, isn't it? Tom Jackson's all jabbed up. Yeah, me too. Ready to rock and roll. I'm not sure I'm ready to rock and roll. I'm feeling a bit... Uh... Going off a little bit, are you? Yeah. I must admit, I, I, I got a little bit of a temperature for a couple of hours on, on the night, but, oh, but wow. after that, I was all right. So we're hoping she's going to be okay for the stream. I'll be right. I've got my, got my, I had my jab at half 12 and you had your jab at um, 10 past nine. It was nine in the morning. Yeah. So it was like a three hour and I, I was about eight o'clock was when I was. So that would be. Uh, I felt one going in, you know. I didn't feel a thing. No, didn't have as good a nurse as me, but I, I did tell her I was. No, I don't fine. mind. I quite like it, actually. Right, right here we go. Oh, 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 yes, 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 yes. Oh, oh shot. Robson got a shot in there. Robson, but straight at the keeper. Flipping out. That was a chance. Yeah, he does have he shots, had a bit which of is time we need. on him there as well. To, he had time. It just fell lovely. To, look at that. I oh, know it was Yates. Yates had the shot. No, it's number six, Ethan Robson. Mm -mm. That's six. One or the other. Yeah, Ethan Robson, yeah. Ethan Robson. Right. Uh, Aidan McGee, is it on the... Oh, this is dangerous from Sunderland. What, Blackpool, for Sunderland. It's a corner to Sunderland. First one of the game, is it? It's the first corner. Uh, cyber leader, what did Jane have her jab? But I, I don't understand. So they have one early question. on. Yeah, we get this second. Right, taken quickly and short by Sunderland. Step overs here. Ball coming oh, across, but straight to Maxwell Maxie, hands. Maxie, he's in the same colour as the referee, Maxi. 
Minty Green. David Scholes. Well, well, we will we will manage to say it all this time. Uh, David Scholes says, I was worried about Poole's chances before kickoff. Now he's liking our shape. Strong in midfield, where we lost our last two. We are a lot stronger, yeah, I must are. admit. We've, we've settled into the game a bit, haven't we? But again, I haven't scored, which is our problem, isn't AJP it? AJP is apparently too young right. and too healthy at the moment to get jabbed. Here we come. They Here comes Garbutt. So it won't be long. Right, Blackpool got the ball in the Sunderland half. Come on, let's get one before. Um, we've had to go guys. back a little bit, but we've picked it up again. Dan Bollard is is, is thirty five yards out, but he's had to go. He, he's gone back. Sunderland go uh, Blackpool go back oh. into their own. Oh, what oh God! Is under pressure here. Right no, now, we've right. got out of it. Oh, and, come on, uh, Paul. Nearly put a lovely ball down the wing, but Blackpool have got a throw in uh, on the near side, about halfway in the Sunderland half. Brian's had both jabs. Uh, according to experts, he's now what is he? One what? I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know what I don't really know what that means. No. <laughs> so lots of s. Is it a lot of fives? One thousand of five. Can't make that out. Yeah, we're not quite sure really when it's going right. to go down. But I think Blackpool they're up, they're up got to, the ball again in the Sunderland half. It's to forty-two been, it's been, now. It's been much better from Blackpool since down to forty-two. Oh, nice ball from Blackpool out to the right wing. Ollie Turton. Ollie Turton's got it, but Put he doesn't know inside. what to do with it. It's all right. Let's give it Kai Kai. Give it Kai Kai's Plays put it, it out, out to Ward, Ward on the right wing. He's on the right wing, but he One can't do anything into either. Back to Turton again. Turton. Back to Ward. He comes inside. He's coming inside. Going across the well, what box. What are you doing with it, Grant? He's gone out to the left wing now. Here's Garbutt. Oh, back to Ward. Ward into We're moving across to the left. Now, trying to so Kai, Kai Kai. Nice ball out to the left wing. Ball coming across, but it's rubbish. Nice. Well, oh, it was a chance. It that would folks. have been good if it Just hadn't decked along the floor. It was very, it was very attractive way. football, that though, folks. That's probably the best little bit of football we've yeah, played we in a long time. Yeah, we are picking up. We're getting stronger as the half progresses. Unlike me. Uh, right, but Blackpool have got a throw in. It's forty-three minutes gone. Uh, not to be in the air though. Have, have we come away with that? Yes, we have. Yes. Oh, oh Turton, have a shot, Ollie. Ollie has a shot. Oh God! Why did he have a shot? <laughs> Why did he bother? He can't. He was in just a lot of spare time like and space. Before, just up and he'll get one one day. day. We love you, Ollie. Just... Keep trying, Ollie. One will go in one day. Oh, that was like really high and wide. Um, <laughs> Bless Joe him. Bottomley's just in for a meeting at uh, in Fleetwood, and what's happening in Sunderland? Well, it's just it's just been a. We've uh, grown into the half. We have grown into the half, and we've looked stronger as the game's gone on, and we, we seem to have shored up the defence and midfield a bit, so we're not getting battered quite as much as we were. Uh, somebody's saying, do I use an electric toothbrush? Yes, I do use an electric toothbrush, of course. Sunderland yeah. now, J Jake, a bit forward. Aki now two up. That's good for us. Right, long ball from Sunderland. We're heading it away. Oh, we lose it there. Yeah, oh, headed long forward, header. Long header, but it's picked up by Sunderland on the halfway. Headed for by Sunderland, who, who pick it up again. Just a little bit of danger. 44 minutes gone, folks. Oh, nice little turn for the Sunderland yeah. player. He's still got hold of it. Ball coming in. This is a chance. Oh, it's And he kind of misses Maxwell. a header, and Maxwell collects it. That was a great chance. Yeah, it's getting a bit long there, Max. Yeah, there's uh, a nice, nice Rochdale ball into beating the box Wimbledon. there, and it was Rochdale fighting. For... I'm not sure that whether that was was, was that it. our man heading that, that or was theirs. A chance, I man, that was a real that chance. Angle. Maxwell launches it forward. Can we do it before half time now? We really have got the momentum. It would be lovely to make it count here. Uh, yeah. Husband gets the ball. Right, we're on 44 minutes, 39 seconds. Blackpool get a throw in. Midway in their own half, that half, on the far oh, side. Oh, Kerry says, thank you. I uh, hope, hope you're better tomorrow and thank you for coming on when you feel ill. Uh, thank you. Thomas Kutney's here, says, uh, oh, do you I think we'll get that. playoffs still? Um, I don't know. We you've don't had a dip know. recently. Lincoln have come out of nowhere That's since they came back against you. Yes. Uh, yeah, well, we've... We don't know. We don't know. It's, it's you know, yeah, we're, we, we're, we're making it increasingly hard. I think we lost ourselves. our confidence when you came back against us. So. We've never really looked this quite the same from that game, have we? Oh, uh, we give away a silly free kick right on half time. 18 seconds in. They've now given someone a chance to just throw one in and launch one in as a last kick of the game. So this is dangerous, folks. It, it, it's it's way out. It, 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 it's near the touchline, the far side, but it's but it's going to be knocked in. 
Uh, Tom Jackson says Northampton on, on Saturday, another team fighting for their lives. Hate playing these type of teams mm. this time of the season. Yeah, it's not been good for us, has it? Right, right. free this kick for it. Sunderland on the right. 43 seconds gone of the minute, so this is it. Last chance of the half. Right, here it comes. It's launched in. It's long. Nice it's goal. it's headed, away. headed away by Blackpool, but picked up by Sunderland on the edge of the box. We're closing we him to, down. They've still got it, though. Oh, he's found space. And it's but... not through yeah. to... It's just gone out for a harmless goal kick. That's Ooh. it. A minute of gone now, so it's going to be half-time. Nil, nil. Uh, Tangerine Army says it's two teams that are lacking confidence, lacking creativity, and scared and of it. losing. And that's it. It's half-time. Um, it's nil, nil. Tony's so here from Nantwich. Hi, Tony. That. Right, post your thoughts in the comments uh, of what you thought of that half. It, it, easy orders for half time today, please. I can't do anything easy too art. complicated. Yeah, we can't. Do, it's just Bovril's and Chris, is it, today? Is that what we're on? Diet Coke? Yeah, and, and pies. <laughs> Preheated pies. She can't do any uh, cock of van or anything like that today. Uh, Paul, Paul, Chris says, I enjoyed the Keegan Parker interview the other night. You two did a great job. Thank you very much. Uh, Harry is actually so satisfied with that first half performance. Yeah, we did. We did. We did well, didn't we? We, we, we did well. And, and we, you know, for the first five or 10 minutes, it was looking a bit hairy, scary, but we, we seem to get on, on top of the game in the end. Uh, Alex Chu says, uh, we seem to beat the good teams and lose the bottom table team. So fingers crossed we could pull it off today. Well, you never know. Shazza Harvey saying so good so, so far. A lot of people have gone for the draw. So it could well be a draw. Uh, yes, Aki, a 2 up against Pompey, which is good for us. Uh, Cyber Leader just wants an iced tea. Sure, she can do that for you. Uh, Jacob Rogan, though, worries they will come out and, and score in the first 10 minutes of the second half. Uh, Shata Harvey, you can't have it. Beef Wellington, it's not going to happen. <laughs> not after a COVID jab, you've no chance. Uh, Tony Hazelwood is here. How was the first half? Have we played well? We have actually, yeah. After the first 10 minutes, it was a little bit scary, but we got on top of the game and we've really kind of kept them to very little, really. But both teams have had, you know, have not had a lot, if I'm being honest. Blackpool have had a couple of shots, high, wide and handsome. Um, but apart from that, really, we haven't done a lot, you know, attacking-wise, but we have been in control of the game in the midfield. Uh, Edna Mans Mansfield, hi, uh, both. Good evening. Sorry, I'm late. How's the match going tonight? I'd like a Bovril, Jane. So a, a Bovril, you, we can do that for you, Edna. Yes, under nil, Blackpool nil. It does uh, say up there. Yes, Aki is 2 nil, which is a good score for us at the moment. Stephen Huntley says, let someone else do the food. Jane, you're not well. <laughs> Uh, Jacob Rogan says, if you had to bet, do you think we will be in the championship in the 22-23 season? Yes, if I had to bet, I do think we'll, we'll, we will be up by then. I, I do think it's only a matter of time. Not sure if it'll be this season, though, at the moment. We need to. Uh, Leah Riley says, just one Malteser and you can push it with a straw. <laughs> Oh, Stephen Roberts, his KFC is here and he's going to be sacrificing that chicken in five minutes. So uh, it'll, <laughs> it'll be murder. Uh, Joshua Bingley is hoping Sunderland can score. and We're hoping Blackpool can score. Uh, Michael Stewart Haig says it has to be uh, one of the most pedestrian-like game of football I've seen all season. What are your thoughts, Lee? I just think we are playing... I, I think both teams are scared to lose. They, 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 they're both playing like, like, a, like they both settle for a draw, if I'm being honest. Uh, yes, Accrington 2, Portsmouth 0. Uh, Mark Chamberlain is pleased so far, expecting someone to come out firing in the second half, though. Uh, Alan Carrasco says, you love the decoration of the house. Thank you very much. It's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, we spent quite a bit of time on getting that looking like that. I like it too. Thank you. Uh, Mick Beardall says, uh, we look solid the first half. I think we can nick it the second half. So people looking at it in different ways. Uh, Harry Way wants a pint of John Smith's. If you've got them, uh, Jane, there, please. I think she can do that for you. Just pop your pint. There, there is pints on the bar ready for people who want them. Uh, uh, Northern Pointing said he would actually be happy with four points off Sunderland, to be honest. Uh, Charlie Nutt says, where's, where's Jane? She, she's gone to get your uh, halftime orders in, so you can order refreshments. We've got pies, we've got Bovril, we've got uh, soft drinks like Cokes, and uh, we've got pints of John Smith's as well. 
Uh, Kieran Baines wants a jam donut, please. Jane. Uh, it's all about League One. Says, have we got commentary on I Follow? It's boring without it. Yes, we have. We've got commentary on ours. So I don't know what's happening there, Freddie. Uh, are we winning? No, we're not. It's there. Look, you see there in the middle, we've got the score there. It's nil, nil. Uh, Eugene says, I think Blackpool need to change things in the second half and they need Ellis Sims on and Blackpool will win three or nil. I don't know. I don't know about that one, Eugene. I, I, I'd love a three nil, but I can't see it. Not the way we're playing at the moment. Looks like we're settling for a draw. Uh, Stephen, Stephen Roberts says Jane's not well. And to be fair, she's never been the full shilling as she knows. She's a bit of a nutcase on the quiet. We all, we all know. Did you push it with a straw? Oh, 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 you shouldn't say that to Rob, a bright state of mind, hypnotherapy, a channel that I make videos for. And Rob does the hypnotherapy. He's really good if you need to relax and calm down after these games. Just, just put on bright state of mind, hypnotherapy on YouTube and you will chill out to some lovely uh, videos done by me on the seafront as well which I'm, I'm, I'm sure you'll all really appreciate it's a great channel make sure you give him a sub as well because it, it helps me with the work i'm doing with him uh, but you've got lines i'm afraid there rob coming in late you will have lines uh, colin callwood coach critch giving out his magical instructions currently squeaky bum times it, it, it is a little bit uh, charlie not wants a pie jane if you've got one what flavor pie charlie is uh, meat and potato Steak and kidney, just let us know. <laughs> uh, Tangerine Army says, I'll have one of Oyston's out of date cheese and onion pies. <laughs> he quite misses those. <laughs> yes. Uh, Andrew Sharp says, good luck from the Barnsley Massive. Yo, Barnsley Massive. And uh, and if, uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel while you're here, just give us a little subscribe. And I do think if you've been here more than three times and you haven't subscribed yet, something is telling you you must subscribe. Something's telling you. Uh, uh, Charlie Nutt wants a steak. Uh, how is the COVID situation? It's it's oh okay. it's not so bad here at the moment. Uh, we're all, we're all waiting for our second jabs. Floor filler. Phil says there are no goals. There's no facts in his house. Still hoping the pool tempt my wife to divorce me and kick me out. <laughs> okay, right. Okay, come on, pool. Uh, Colin Calder was back in. Uh, bloody COVID up here in the northeast. Two hot chocolates with cream, please. Got any flakes? So oh, I've got any flakes, Jane. Yeah, we've got flakes. Send that to you. Uh, Casey Link says his favourite is a steak and kidney pie. Okay. Any more thoughts on that half, folks? What do you think? It was a. Uh, it wasn't. If I'm being honest, if we'd have played like that in the second half against Sunderland at home after we scored, I would have been. I'd have been pretty chilled because I think we've kept them to more or less nothing. We they weren't really putting us under pressure. They were at Bloomfield Road. Whether they're going to get a roast in at half time and come out a different team, I don't know. But uh, I, I expect I, I expect they will attack us from the, the kickoff like they did in the first half, which is whether we can hold strong for that 10 minutes and just uh, let them wear themselves out a bit. Lee Blakeborough thinks it's going to be a defensive mistake to give it away. Hopefully not us making that mistake. Ollie Sanders says, what's the game looking like? It's looking like two teams that are doing their best not to lose this game. I think, you know, two teams are probably settling for a draw and maybe just trying to nick it on the break or something with a bit of mistake. That's what it looks like to me anyway. Ollie, um, we had the live, Jane had the live table. Oh, Seb Holt is here and he's saying 2-0. Uh, He's going for Yates and Ballard. Very confident. Okay. It could happen. It could happen. Uh, it's it's all about League One. Says if anyone hasn't watched the evening with Keegan Parker, it was brilliant and, and well worth a watch. Lee now owes Keegan a chippy from the cottage chippy. Yes, we do. And we are looking forward to taking him out. Just hope to God he can cope with Jane having gravy on her fish. As we all know, so I don't know what I don't know what they have on their fish in Scotland, or what they have at fish and chippies, but uh, in Scotland, I know they do a few, a few strange things like fried haggis and all that sort of stuff. So be interesting to see. But yeah, we are looking forward to uh, to an evening out with uh, with Keegan Parker, and also we've got to thank it's all about League One for arranging it because that's Freddie, and Freddie arranged that for us. So thank you very much, Freddie. Uh, Stephen Roberts says he just checked, he just cracked out the single malt scotch. I'm all set. So bring on the second half. 
It's going to be coming pretty soon. It's going to be coming really soon. Um, for me, I think we've looked, you know, really good defensively, pretty solid. We've not given, but they have had a couple of chances where they've they have actually managed to get a shot, a shot in or a header, a free header. But fortunately, they've not been on target. Oh, Jane is back. <clears throat> I've almost finished that big box of Maltesers. Wow. Okay. Really? Have you? Yeah. I've not been watching you, Alex. No. Well, you said earlier, you said I need to treat myself to something nice. Yeah, you probably do, actually. No, she didn't and and me didn't any. Leah mention Maltesers? Yeah. And that sort of put it in my head and I thought, yeah, Maltesers, that might perk me up. <laughs> Got a sugar up. I still can't speak. But... Peter Donis is a deep fried Mars bar and is a Scots favourite uh, dish from the chippy. Mm. Yes, it is. I, I always like to try one of those, actually. I bet they're bloody nice. Uh, Stephen Woolley says, Lee, they say that men have men flu. I think women do their fair share of moaning when they are ill. Mm. So people know, but it's, it's so if I die, people know what was wrong with me. <laughs> or if I'm taking, if I'm hospitalized, that's, that's, this is my theory. Um, this is why I do it. So people will know, oh yeah, she was saying that she, I mean, I know men don't listen anyway, but oh yeah, she was saying that she had a sore arm and she was all oh, like, my back's hurting a little bit now. So just, just so you know what my symptoms so, are. So what she wants on a headstone basically is something like there, I told you I was ill hmm. on the, on the headstone. Hmm. Uh, Mr. Moley says, uh, Mr. Moley spent all afternoon, Mrs. Mrs. Moley spent all afternoon uh, rearranging a collection of spice jars. I said to her that I don't know how you find the time. She said, that's easy. It's just next to the sage. <laughs> Mine's in the freezer. I like that one. Have we got it? I don't know what that one is, but anyway, we put that one on there. That might, might be laughter. Um, it's all about Tanger. It's all about League One. It's, it's actually wanting one of your songs. Okay, we, we, so, um, go on. Gosh, what, what song do we want? Um, we've got to have the uh, the egg potato. Egg potato, egg potato. Oh, well, still, I still don't. I got my head around that one. Egg potato, egg potato, egg potato, 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 potato. Yeah, I haven't got that one down yet. <laughs> Uh, Christopher Shaw says you've mentioned it again. Gravy on the battered fish. It's wrong. It's illegal. Oh, I know. I triggered, we triggered him it. there. He doesn't like <laughs> it, but it's it's just really good. It is oh, really good. Okay, Steve. But what about, what about, I'll put this to you, Christopher. What about, because this is how I first discovered, really, gravy on fish. How about when it's a fillet that isn't battered? Is that okay then to have gravy on it? Is it just the gravy on the batter that offends mm. you? Yes. Or is it actually the gravy? Is gravy gravy directly on the fish. Is that okay? Mushy peas is what it should should be. It should only be on on on. Uh, or or uh, you know some you know do like um, the the white sauce that um, parsley. No. Tartar. Tartar sauce. Tartar. Yeah, that's all right. Oh, Stephen had a deep fried Roberts Mars had, Yeah, deep fried Mars in Aviemore. It was bloody disgusting. Sorry, Scotland. I went to Aviemore when we toured. Um, does the Mars bar Scotland? Like a Mars bar, or does it go all melty? Imagine it goes all melty. That'd be no good, is it? You want like a nice frozen battered haggis is very good. They do that in the saddle chip. It's excellent, really, really very good. Shazza Harvey says the league table is so. Oh, tight. we were going to yes, have an update, weren't we? Um, Mark Porter says he enjoyed the Keegan Parker evening last night. Well done. He came across really well. Love these player evenings you put on. Well done, Freddie. Also, yeah, absolutely. Uh, David Ashurst said we should bring on Stuart. Well, we don't know how kind of fit he is yet, do we? And uh, right, today's um, matches latest scores: Aki two, Pompey nil. Wimbledon nil, Rochdale one. Can Rochdale save themselves? Again. Burton two, Fleetwood nil. Charlton one, Crew nil. Crew are happy with how they played so far. Um, so maybe there's a bit of hope there. Uh, Peterborough one, Donny nil. Shrewsbury nil, Lincoln one, and Sunderland nil, Blackpool nil. The league table looks like it's tight. this. It's tight, folks. Uh, Harrogate the Dolphin said he had gravy on his fish and chips yesterday, but, <laughs> but I don't mind the gravy on the chips. You can put gravy on the chips, but not on the fish. So did you have it on the fish as well, Harrogate? That's what we need to know. Did did you have gravy uh, on the Peter fish? Peterborough like, just kicked the off. Fish. Yeah, they're one nil up already against Donny. So um, so as things stand, Hull are promoted on eighty six. Peterborough are promoted on eighty five. Lincoln are in third on seventy five. Sunderland are in fourth on seventy four. Blackpool fifth sixty nine. Charlton six in sixty nine. They're winning. Oxford 68 not playing. Portsmouth are down to eighth now. Um, they are losing 2 0. Yeah, it's, it's close though, isn't it? Uh, Kieran Smith says he had gravy on his salmon fillet with mashed potatoes. Mm, so, so that yeah, could be nice. Choice. 
uh, Tangerine Army says, nothing better than scraps and gravy. Yeah, that's lovely, isn't it? We do like a bit of that. They call them scrumps down in Lincoln. Northern Pointing says, if you don't have gravy on everything, you're not Northern. So there we are, mm. another vote for gravy on fish. The future, right. Uh, it's illegal in Lincoln, though, according to Peter Bigger. Yeah, I know it is. <laughs> <laughs> and in Cleethorpes as well. <laughs> Uh, no, she doesn't. Steve Willie says, I suppose Jane has custard on her fish oh, as well. I do like custard, though. I do like custard, but not on I fish. I like posh custard. You can stretch it. it too far. I, 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 well, I have it cold as well, cold custard. Stephen, are, are they cheap or posh? Stephen Roberts says, I had With fish, vanilla. chips and gravy at Cheltenham Magistrates Court while I was on court duty. The rest of the staff were disgusted. I lapped it up. <laughs> she yeah. literally lapped Hello it up to like Joseph Coyle. Hello. Uh, David Skull says, I like uh, gravy with my fish, but it is surpassed by chippy curry on the fish. Curry sauce is good as well. It's always a good substitute if the gravy is yeah. bad or if there is no gravy. Because you, you can't go wrong with curry sauce, can you? It's always the same. Yes, he had it all over the fish as well, did he? Oh, got the dolphin, yes. so which then dribbles down yeah, onto the chips. Yeah, that's it, that's it. <laughs> I had that. Where was I? I was in um, Bed Bedworth. Hang on, Heiser with some news coming in that oh. uh, Dave Whelan's jab was so painful he fell off the chair and broke oh, his leg. Well, Sunderland are out, but I don't think we're out yet. They're not out yet. Lost Line says, how are the game going? It's not going anywhere. Right. We're just waiting we're for it to awake. kick off for the second half. So that's where we are at the moment. Nil, nil. Uh, Blackpool just coming out now. Uh, no subs no substitutions at half time and Blackpool are playing three centre halves with husband coming in. So we've got three centre halves at the back. So Critch has gone very defensive for this game. He's obviously looking just to get a point. Oh, Giles is asking, have you tried new strawberry ambrosia custard at Sainsbury's? No, I haven't tried that. Strawberry custard, pink custard. Hmm. In a way, a point wouldn't you know, wouldn't be too bad because we've actually gone up, we've actually moved up Blackpool with a point, haven't off. we? You know, we have moved up with a point. Oh, but give it away, straight away to Sunderland half, halfway. But oh, no, we wrestle it back. Well done, Blackpool. That was good. Come on, the we gave it away. Come Blackpool on the halfway, pool. back into their own Come half. Come on, the pool. Where's the Buccaneer, Stephen? Come on, the pool. Bring on Mitchell and Gabriel, says so Shazza Harvey. I don't think Come he's going to go attacking in this game. Oh, but no, Blackpool knock a long ball attack, forward attack, and attack, Ethan attack. Robson traps it like a... I don't know, it just bounces off him, traps it like Ellis Sims, I would say, and it gives it away. Sunderland have the ball, but the Blackpool get ahead to it and knock it forward, and it's gone out for a throw-in to Sunderland on the far side, about 10 yards inside their own half. Uh, Stephen Fowler says nothing is better than pie chips, uh, peas and gravy and the Buccaneer. Yeah, where is the Buccaneer? Is that in Cleveland, I think? Can, yeah, I think, think it is. Uh, Lost Light said, who's been the better team? It's pretty much even Stevens, yeah, really. Yeah, started I, off I Sunderland and then Sunderland we, we looked got good better. for the first 10 minutes. We, we, we kind of controlled it for much of the of the first half, but Sunderland have had some chances and they have got through a few times and they've put headers over the bar. Blackpool have had a few shots high, wide and handsome, but nothing's really, no, neither team has really looked like scoring. Neither keeper has had a, a save, save to make. I think I've eaten too many... Um... Cheese <laughs> sauce on chips. David Skull answers okay. your question. Where is the buccaneer? He says it's on your bucking head. Oh, <laughs> I feel a bit sick. I've eaten too many Maltesers. Cheese sauce on chips with your fish. That is interesting. Is I can't have cheese sauce though. My grain trigger. But it's an interesting one. Yeah. I remember Cheesy I went to fish. Holland and they used to have uh, mayonnaise on chips all the time. Oh, yeah, mayonnaise yeah. was a thing. I, I, I didn't really do it for me. I've got to be honest. Uh, Paul Heaton says that Yates is due a goal. Uh, it's, it's coming in the second half. You can feel it in his water. I hope you're right, Paul. I really do. Right, Sunderland have the ball in their own half. Two minutes gone so far. Just a nice ball across the pitch in their own half. If you're ever in Bruges, by the way, I can recommend the Freets Museum. You learn all about the, uh, the history of the, uh, the, right. uh, the French fry. We'll push them back to the goalkeeper. Which is actually Belgian. Sunderland goalie's got the ball. Put it out to the uh, left Fullback, who's gone back across the box. A bit of pressure, but it's okay. Passing a few of these balls across the box there. Yates nearly stole that, actually. Long ball forward oh, by Sunderland. Oh, it's a long ball from Sunderland. Been it, closed down by Jim there. Oh, but he's given away a corner. It's a corner to Sunderland. Paul Eaton can feel a Yates goal coming in his water. It's a corner of Sunderland there right now. Uh... Stephen Roberts said, I remember being in Asda at Cribs Causeway, Bristol, when meat and potato pies finally came south in 2005. I was in tears with him. Oh, that's a lovely story. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It, it, it taken that long oh. to meat and potato pies to go down south. Wow. Wow. How long will it take for gravy to right, get down Right, corner there, coming in, question. folks. It's going to be an outswinger. 
It's a decent one. It's the far post, but Black will get ahead of two, but straight to a Sunderland. Oh, good save oh, by Maxi. Oh, it was a great shot in, and Maxi Out pushes it corner. round. It's a corner to Sunderland again. That that was brilliant. But really, it was just a, a typical cleared header to nobody, was it? Oh, it was a decent save, but it was kind of right at him, Maxi's to be honest. Ace. But it, he was in the right place. Isn't the Buccaneer at Skipple? Oh, maybe he is, yeah. Right, they're here again, Sunderland, from the corner. But Blackpool have managed to get them under pressure, force them back a bit. Whoa, and they do wrestle it back. Surely that's a foul. Yes, it is. Blackpool get a foul. Uh, Kerry's asking, Jane, what's on your top? I really like it. Well, thank you for asking. It's Fritis it's, um... Sklada. Fritis Sklada, which is, uh, they're actually from Sunderland, and they um, they produce T-shirts and, and your club colours. Yeah, stuff. me. Uh... Cagoule, well, which I'll put on for you again as well. My hat. <laughs> Get a full fashion show here, folks. Blimey. So yeah, so they also I'm sent, along I'm hot, but... sent sent this 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 cagoule yes. through, which is ace, isn't which it? Which is, is 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 lovely. Right, Blackpool on the attack. But no, it's a free kick to Sunderland. That was a bit harsh. It's like a Jerry terrace terrace happy. wear. Um, but yeah, fritted sclader. If you if you uh, if you go on my Twitter, Facebook, um, or or type in fritted sclader. Stephen Roberts says when you left Bristol in 2015, you still couldn't get gravy in a chippy. So no. there you go. Uh, Ch Chazza wants to change it and go for it. Oh, right. oh that was um, right. Blackpool pick it up. Oh, go for oh, good work we, we did a sloppy there. ball through, though, don't we? Which right, Sunderland have it back on the halfway and they put a ball forward. But Blackpool are going to pick that up, they're going to knock it back to Maxi. He's under pressure, having to kick it. Uh, he's got made it to the halfway line, but Sunderland pick it up it's down the left wing. Sunderland are looking a little, a little bit more dangerous again, a little bit like the first half where they came out a little bit more threatening. It, they kind of lost it as the game went on, didn't they, in the first half? So we knew they'd come out a bit out of the traps, didn't we, because they're at home. Right, Sunderland have been pushed back to halfway, back into the centre circle, still in their own half. Blackpool pressing from the front. Sunderland have managed to get into the Blackpool half, but they're back in their own. About to go back to the centre half. Reese is asking how Blackpool are looking. It just kind of, you know, not shit, not great, really. Would you disagree with that? Sorry, we're not shit. We're not great. No, we're we're in the game. Neither neither team is playing fantastic football, but it's, shot target, both yeah. teams look a bit frightened to lose. If I'm being honest, and are being quite defensive, really, and. You know, Sunderland get all men back when we go forward and we get all men back when they go forward. And it's just it, it's just a game of, well, that's a long ball forward from Sunderland, just to nobody, and it's just gone out for a goal kick. To, so Sunderland aren't, aren't looking any great shakes, and, and we aren't looking... No, it's, it is, uh, it is a, a game Peter are beating Donny 2-0 no now, Donny. I mean, Donny, uh, but they've got COVID, haven't they? They've got a few players out with COVID. And yeah, four missing. It could be good for us, that. Yeah, they've had an up-and-down season, haven't they, Donny? We like Donny though. Uh, Stephen Roberts said it's got nil nil written all over it, but you know, and our goal, goals can be scored in a second. Stephen, yes, Blackpool FC will take your money wherever you are in the world. I'm sure of that. Oh, this is a chance. Oh, nice. Oh, this is a great chance. There, but well, well cleared nice by to put it out Ballard. For a throw into uh, Sunderland, just level with our penalty spot there. There was, it, it was just a mistake by Blackpool there. It's now Aki 2, Portsmouth 1, so Portsmouth have got to go back. It can still go all wrong. We have these scores that look great at half-time, and it all goes wrong, doesn't it? Oh, the Sunderland are in the box here, and oh, bad clear. Oh, oh they had a chance there, but they believed it over the bar. I don't there. know. We just let them get a second back. It's come off a Blackpool man, and it's, uh, it's a corner. Yeah, Steve, I'm not sure whether it's the jab or the Maltesers or a bit of both, but I did have a lot of Maltesers at half-time, thinking it might... Boost me, you know, but I'd feel no, a bit sick. You want to be now. taking the um, the liquid in, really? More uh, well, 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 I've got me, um, I've got me pineapple and grapefruit, my dinosaur. Right, glass. corner coming in again from another joy. out swinger from Sunderland here. Last one causes all sorts of trouble, so let's see what we do with this one. Right, it's coming in. It's a decent one. It is, and it's oh, palmed oh away God, by Maxwell. Maxi, save, very a wonder well there. save there. Honestly, Black that's Blues. the halfway line now. Right, Jerry, here they come, Blackpool. But no. oh no, They're, they've got to play a line. He's pulled it back for a foul. Jerry, Jerry, H can't believe this is a foul. 
Yeah. The ref's doing all right tonight, though. Let's have a look at this foul they've given on Jerry H. Because he was away there. Oh, that was a great save from Maxi. Right. Yeah, good reflex is this a save. foul? Let's have a look. Jerry H chasing it. Oh, no. We, no we, we, They're not going to show it, are they, obviously? No. Good old eye follow. Would, would, would I give him a last roll, though? Yes, I absolutely would, Mr. Mr. Moley. Yes, I would. Uh, Tom Jackson, Probably it's, short, sick now, it's short term pain for hopefully long term gain, Jane. With yeah, your, yeah, your, it's your fine. Just got a bit of a bit of an ache sort of creeping up my spine now, but I'm all right. COVID is not good for you at all, uh, but the jab is. I think that we're talking about the jab. The COVID I'll is definitely not good for you. We don't want that, do we? Oh, no, we don't want that. No, hence the jab. Steve Willis says it's too much gravy that's making you bad, Jane. <laughs> I'm all right, really. Right, ball down the wing. You're doing very well because I, I, I wasn't very well at this, at this moment in. Right, so how's that? Here comes Sunderland now. It's a quick throw. Yeah, quick throw, which I thought was it was ours, but that's another throw to Sunderland inside our half now. Taken very quickly, cut out by Blackpool. It's another throw in. Well played, Sunderland. Stephen, it might be lack of gravy. I haven't had any gravy today. Lincoln City are winning one nil. Yeah, that's what it is. Injected with gravy. Yeah, I'll be laughing Lincoln, then, Lincoln are in form, aren't they? Really are. Since we gave them two goals, they, they turned the season around. They were looking very poor in that first 80 minutes against come Blackpool. On the pool, right, Blackpool come pressing on the from the front, but Sunderland have got it in their come own on half. The pool, come on Not the long, and it's all going to go all the way through to Maxi. That's nothing. It's another bad ball. He fell over, says Giles. Well, he's thrown he it out there. Too bad. Two good saves from Maxi. Yeah, that's kept us in the game. He's and they great, have been really on. Two great saves. Right, Blackpool have got the oh. ball. Oh, they're under pressure. Yeah, they do, straight, not right? getting it's any room in that battle. midfield at all. Um, Shazavi says we've got backs against the wall. We're playing to their strength. Come on, Paul. How does Ada McGeady look for Sunderland? Well, they, they, they don't. They don't look brilliant, Sunderland. Let's put it that way. There's nothing that really stands. Oh, here we around. are. Here we are. We're raking now. Right, Here's Kai Kai. Kai Kai on the ball here into the box. Nice chance. Certain. Oh, oh. And it's. He, he was on target that one, Ollie. Well done, but it hit their player and it's out for a corner. He's so. for a goal Good work, too. Ollie. Yeah, he gets that, into such great positions, though. He this, really does. Just got a block in there, and it's yeah, a lucky, but it was he had a, a lot chance. of space. See, they don't mark him. You see, but so he crossed, so he gets into but the space. Across to Jerry Yates, really was he? He could have just seen Jerry. No, he's won us the corner. Well done, Ollie. Right, we've got a corner, Blackpool, and it's an in swinger. Fifty-five minutes gone. Garbert, far side. Come on, he's right. better at these tonight. Okay, corner coming in now. Uh, here he comes. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, it's headed anyway. away. Shot it back in. It's, it's a goal! In. It's a wonder shot from outside the Sully box. Kai Kai. From Sully Kai Kai. Oh, oh my wow. God, folks. What a wonder the strike. The power on that, on the speed on that. Oh, my goodness. Where did that come <laughs> from? First corner, 1-0 oh. to Blackpool. I love Sully. Oh, what a... That's a foul in the box there. So the, the, it was headed out. out the box it just, like, it just oh, did it as soon as it God. came to him and bang. It nearly actually took the goal. You, you know, the back of the goal launched up <laughs> with the oh. ball. The, you know, the metal thing that's wow. resting on... He hit it that hard. That oh. is that is unbelievable. All right, Blackpool are winning 1-0. Bloody hell. Yes. Madrid, Chelsea are beating Madrid and Blackpool are beating Sunderland by the same score. Right. They've got to come out. Now, the trouble is... They're going to have to come at us now. They're going to come at us now and we know they are. And that's so, so we can hold uh, strong. Paul Mott says, yes, get in. Absolutely. Right. Sunderland, knock it long. The game will now completely change, won't it? Right. Blackpool, silly clearance that. Silly clearance. Giving it straight back to Sunderland. Trying to do an over sort of a, I don't know, dangerous, but Blackpool... Go on, that's yeah. it. Yeah, oh, that's beautiful better. turns. Oh, he's, 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 he, he was on the magic roundabout there, he uh, was, Kenny right. Dougal. He was Croft turn, Croft turn, Croft turn. Croft for a free kick, but they're not going to get wow, it. Wow, good work. Will pick it up in their own half. It's um, 57 minutes gone, so we've still got How long to go? 57 to go. minutes gone, so there's still a long way to go. Blow your whistle, it, ref. Time, it, time. Oh. oh, it's Portsmouth 2, Aki 2 now. Oh gosh! They've come back, Portsmouth. Unbelievable. Should we have a look at the, the live bloody league Atkinson. table. They were bloody wonder wonder team against us. Right, Blackpool back into their own area. What are you doing there? That was ball. Was back to. Why don't you just give the ball to Maxi there? Lively, li blah, 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 can't speak. Lively table looks as follows: um, Hull uh, eighty six, Peterborough eighty five, Lincoln seventy five, Sunderland seventy three, Blackpool seventy one, Portsmouth sixty nine, Charlton sixty nine. Bit of a cushion oh. there now. It's looking better in it. 
Looking better. Uh, Blackpool got a play. Yates is down here with a bit of a knock. Is he all right? He'll be right. Yeah, 2-2. Two, two, Aki, we've got that, Harry. Sherry Yates has had a kick here, and he's not looking so good. Oh, Jess, come on. We need you, Jess. You're looking lively tonight. Ne Neptiva Ferrama says yes. Uh, David Asher says pull the 1-0 up. Yes, we are. Reese Jefferson says guess in. Get in. It's Cheltenham 1, Carlisle 1, according to Eugene. Oh. Right, he's not looking so good, is he? Well, shall we have a look at the he's bottom? Shall we have a look at the bottom of the table while we've got a break? Because we've not been looking down there, have we? This would be like the worst so, thing in the world, wouldn't it? Jerry? So as things stand, uh, Bristol Rovers relegated, Swindon relegated. Um, so Bristol Rovers 38, Swindon 40, Northampton 44, Rochdale, who are winning now on 46, Wigan 48, Wimbledon are losing on 49. So it's very much not over down there. We've still got six teams in it. And we're going to be playing that bloody Northampton. They're battling for their lives, uh, aren't they? Yeah. Battling for their lives. Fleet, we're losing 2 0, and it's Aki 2, Portsmouth 2. Yeah, we do know Aki 2, Portsmouth 2. Portsmouth have come back. Can't believe Aki. They were so good against Blackpool on that. Yeah, night. he's having a drink. He's all right. He's having a, yeah, he's all right. He's walking about. He's, he's not so bad. We're he's having right. a Jaeger. We're all right. Right. Uh, Blackpool, uh, the ball is with Chris Maxwell. He's uh, looking, always looking, always looking. What is he going to do with it? He's having a little chat. Steam Cross is getting Blackpool. Keep it up. Doing a dance here. Out of, uh, out oh. of, out, he's out of steam. He's out of steam. Right. 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 Long launch from Maxi. It's gone long, long, long down the pitch. Really Someone long, are going to get ahead to it, but not very good. Blackpool. Oh, the head is so known, buddy. Blackpool, you, you do annoy me at times. With these oh, there's a great ball through to Sunderland here. No, he's not letting that get in there. Yeah, good work there from Jordan right, Thornley. A, corner. a bloody another corner to Sunderland. These are dangerous. Uh, sub here for Sunderland. Uh, Sunderland are making a sub here on, on, uh, on the corner. Stuart uh, coming on for Sunderland. David Skull says intravenous beer direct to blood supply cures all ills, no, Jane. I'm a bit frightened to drink on Shazza Harvey says bring on Mitchell and Gabriel, do you think? Uh, Peter Donnelly says, oh dear, did we relegate Sunderland when we bought all their good players last summer? Maybe we did. Maybe. O'Brien's gone off for Sunderland and Winston. Cameron oh, Stewart's right, Here we on. are, yeah. Cameron Stewart coming on. Right, this is another corner. It might it's, be a short corner here. There's two players. It's uh, like, we don't know if it's in swing or out swing because there's two shorty. looking to... Sh I think it's going to be out swinging. Here it comes. It's another good one. It's to the back post, but it's way, way too far. Actually, it wasn't that good, but Sunderland pick it up on the far side. Jerry Yates is chasing. Oh, they've put a lovely ball through here. This is a chance. Another corner. Blackpool are hanging on here. Max, what, is, appealing. Max is appealing for offside or something, I think. Right, here we come again. Sunderland. It's Shaz all is saying, Yeah, go for the second. Max is not happy that it wasn't offside. But anyway, it, it's, it's another corner now on the far side. This is going to be an in-swinging corner, folks. Mm. Here we go. Here we come. It's coming in. It's 61 minutes gone. And it's a decent one. Get an edit to it, Blackpool. And they do. Oh, oh Blackpool scuffed it there. Blackpool come away Blackpool with it. Break. Oh, but Kai Kai's Kai Kai fell over, but we still over, got we it. We still got it, yeah. We managed Jim. to dink one down the wing. But it's to nobody. It's to bloody nobody. It's going to go all the way through to the keeper. Right. Here comes Sunderland again in their own half, though, at the moment. Interesting observation. Sunderland have stripy corner flags. Just thought I'd mention that there. Right, right Sunderland. Lovely long ball forward for Sunderland. Pick it up at near our corner flag here. What are we doing? Ball comes across, headed away yeah, by headed Blackpool, away. but only as far as a Sunderland shirt. Pick it up on about the 30 yard line. But Blackpool get oh, a fucking. Kai Kai, break no, it there's now. a chance of a break. Come on, Kai Jazz Kai. Jazz alongside him. Down, that's oh, a no, good ball. But down also the right says wing. Grant Ward. They've gone to Ward instead of. No, in, no, pull ball across Blackpool. Story of our crossing in it when you get a chance. That was a bloody good chance. He should have put that through to Jerry mm. Yates, though. The ball was through to Jerry Yates, not out to Ward. It, it, Yates was goal, goal to go. Oh, I don't, right, I, I don't believe that. That, that, that. that was a two on two break, folks. Well, three on two break from Blackpool there. We blew it. That was a great chance. Kai Kai picks, off, picks, him, picks it off him again. I don't know, but you did get possession, but 
Right, Blackpool knock it forward long again. It's just going to go all the way out for a throw It's a very into... different game, isn't it? Because they were very physical when they came to Bloomfield Road. I can't say I've noticed that tonight from Sunderland. They're not as like brutal on us, are they, as they were at Bloomfield Road? No. Were... Right, uh, Sunderland Maybe have got Colin's it back in their own them. half. Yeah, it was nasty stuff, wasn't it? It's, it's not been that kind of nasty game so far, has no. it really? But, but, the, but the guy, time, the McFadgen's yeah. on the bench, isn't he? So that there is time. Right, Blackpool nearly pick it up there. Unlucky. The game is passing Ethan Robson by a little bit. Is Right, Sunderland have got the ball on the... Uh... Oh, Blackpool intercept, though. Grant Will gets a foot in. Go on. He's not got the pace, though, to He's... take him up. Oh, oh that's it's... a foul referee. Come on. Any yellow card. First yellow card of the night. That's terrible. When he was on a break as well. Took one for the team there, I'm afraid to say he did. That was, look at this. But he wasn't going anywhere, though, was he? He was. He, running, was. he just put the uh, it just put the burners on there to go past him, and he just, just took him straight out. Nowhere near the ball. McGeady, that was, did that. Uh, what score is it, Neil Simpson says? It's up there, look, 1-0 one, one to Blackpool, Neil. How big is our telly? We're watching this on a, on a, on a Mac. On a on an iMac, so they are what are they twenty eight inch? I don't know. Twenty eight inch. Kai Kai's and uh, Garbutt standing well, over big this TV. ball. It's actually a big screen. We have a projector and everything, so we watch everything on. Yeah, the Yeah, Kieran uh, says he brought in the look. The guy from Suffolk. Yes, come on, Kieran. Right, Blackpool have a free kick here. Knocked into the box. It's it's a good one. Oh, we get ahead of to it, but. We had it nowhere and it's gone. Eugene wide. is asking the important question What's your favourite Wham song? Mine is Club Tropicana. Mine is Edge of Heaven. I'm very, very firm about that. Mm. What's yours? Mm. Mm. I like loads back in the day. Young, young guns woo, go for woo. it. <laughs> I think that kind of. They're all good, aren't they? Yeah, they, they were all good, yeah. Certainly not wake me up before you go go because I've played that a million Jitterbug. times as a DJ. As a DJ. It does me head in. Jitterbug. <laughs> Blackpool hit a ball out, but it's picked up by Sunderland in their own half. Uh, it's now Wimbledon one, Rochdale two, Peterborough two. Donny, Donny, have got yeah, a goal Rochdale back against five. Peterborough. Right, just a bit of head tennis here in, in midfield. Sunderland. Sunderland have got it. the ball in our half. Actually, we're not quite in midfield, but, but we've gone back into the centre circle. Blackpool hold strong. Sunderland have got the ball again. It's looking a little bit like it was at Bloomfield Row where Sunderland pick it right. Ball knocked in for yeah, Sunderland. Blackpool. It's all right. Jazz has got it. Jazz has got his man on him. Kai Kai. Nice ball. Kai Kai's got the ball. We're breaking here, guys. Go on, Kai Kai. Here's Ethan Robson. Robson who's Jazz is in the middle. Been great, really, tonight. He's he? had a shot. He has had a shot, yeah. He's had to go back. It's all right. We've Blackpool still got the ball. Yeah, right. got in space the centre here, circle, Ward. out to the right wing. Over to, is that Dougal there on the right? I don't know who that is on the right. Certain wing. it was on the right oh, okay. wing. Right, Blackpool uh, get it back on the half away in the centre circle. Husband Jim. who has to go back again across. Oh, a little bit of pressure, but Blackpool hold out. Uh, nice, nice bit of play from Blackpool here, actually. A bit of holding the ball, which is mm. what we should have been doing. Yeah. In a few games like this. Right. Husband launches oh, long. It's a ball great there, ball for but he's not picked it up, has he? Yeah, yes. He managed to keep yes. it in. Oh, no, no he out. didn't. He let it go and he ran around it. And uh, Steam Roberts' uh, one sort of favourite song is Freedom. Mm, it's another good one. I love Wham. Wham and Abba are guaranteed to get the other If we get three floor. points, well, if, yes. If we get we'll, we'll three more points, keep us in the playoffs. Uh, no, it still wouldn't. We'd, we'd still need another one, wouldn't we? We need, we need nine points to guarantee the playoffs. So it, it, we'd still need two two wins. Sunderland out of the now. We need two out of the ball, last three. But in their own half. Sunderland have the ball here. I mean, it could be enough, but uh, six points could be enough. You don't know, but it, it's so tight. I can't see it being... Right, Blackpool is shepherding the ball out here, and it's, it has it's, its goal kick. It's gone out for a goal kick. Well done. Good work, Blackpool. Defending well again, always. Have we got a favourite Shed Seven song? And I couldn't name one Shed Seven song, I'm afraid. Hmm. Kai Kai's sitting down. Kai Kai He's now treatment. down. Who are Shed Seven? I, I don't, I'm sure I we do know some Shed we Seven will, songs. We will, but I can't think what, what I've their songs I've heard of them, but I couldn't name any of their songs. Shed Seven. Shed 
do, do, do. Oh, my internet's just not working. Wait a minute before you go, go, says Stephen, because he's always sleeping. Yeah, Kai Kai's um, having treatment here on his um, yeah, Just leg, down with the physio possibly. Kai Kai at the moment. Like all groin, can't really see the... Uh, Scored a great goal. Physio's in the way. No, it's like he's going off, so like... Change given. He's walking off, of course. Let it ride, truth be told. Truth be told. Yeah, truth be told, I, I kind of know know that one. So there you are, should say, truth be told. Uh, another sub here it for like Sunderland. Kai Kai might be going off. Yeah, he is. Kai Kai's off, folks. Double sub here. Oh, is this McFadgen coming on now? Another, with another player name. injured by... It's because they've got striped shirts. You can't read uh, the names. Um, but, um, no. Looks like it says Winchester. There were some great hits in the 80s. We always play the 80s quiz, don't we? When, when we play on oh, Alexa, yeah. we're always going for 80s. There was some great music in the 80s. Oh, there it. was. It's the best. Mitchell's coming on. It was very diverse, wasn't it, the 80s, with, you know, mm. with the different new kinds. Romantics. Of, the new romantics. The new the, dis the disco. The electronic. The, you know, the jam, the punk. There was, there was a lot of it, wasn't there? A lot of very diverse era. era. Oh. AFC Wimbledon 2, Rochdale 2 now. Come on, Demi. Yeah, Paul Watts is taxi. You've got me singing Young Guns. To me, to yeah, me, your so eyes are brown, not blue. To me, to me, there's just no stopping you. To me, to me, we're so in love with you. <laughs> hey, that was an 80s song, wasn't it? Yeah. Me, do me. Right, so we've lost Kai Kai, which is, uh, you know, typical, isn't but it? He's done, just, job, he's done his job. He's done his job. How many injuries are Blackpool going to pick up? It's just quite frightening. It didn't look. Massively, he did walk off. Yeah, he walked off, but you don't know what it is, and you know we need these. But how many more injuries can, can, can we can we have? Wow. It's quite unbelievable, and it, it's always like good players that we're losing, isn't it? It's not yeah. even rubbish. Plastic Bertrand used to work for ICI. Did he really? Ça plan pour moi was that Plastic Bertrand? I think. I think, yeah, I'm not sure. I think there is a mark here at the saddle. Right. There's a lot Blackpool of outdoor got the seating. They're half under pressure. They knock it long to nobody. Jerry Yates is chasing it, but he's nowhere near. Sunderland have, got, have put it back to the goalkeeper. Yeah. HG Music, we missed Acid House. Start, start of the rave culture. Mm. Yeah. Acid. Well, oh, well, God, that's terrible, house. wasn't it? Was Tell house. what's going on with my voice. Farley, Jack, Master Funk, and all that, right? You know. Oh, Wham rap is Rob's favourite. He's giving a free kick to Sunderland here. What for? I don't know. We were too busy. Town Cool Malice. Yeah. Should I stay or should I go? Wham rap is uh, Bright State of Minds. Let's have a look. Well, that was never a free kick referee. You're having a, you're having a giraffe. Mm. You got the ball. Charlton one, crew one. How now. long left? We've got um, oh, just well, under 20 minutes We left. have, but we've got a dangerous free kick here for Sunderland. Ish. It's dangerous-ish. Yeah, it's about 35 yards It's not out. in direct scoring zone. It's not, but it's going to get knocked in, in it. And uh, at the moment, we're struggling. Charlton one, crew one now. Yeah, right. Uh, that was start, 70, 71 minutes gone. 72 minutes nearly. Right, Rafi's just about to blow his whistle. It was a very harsh free kick. Right, it's going to be a free kick now. It's dinked in. Oh, it's not. Oh, nice. it's a free header. It's a goal. No, it's not. No, Stop oh my God. That. What a save. It's not from a goal. Maxwell. You say that all the time How and it's could not a that goal. It not be a goal. How did he miss that? I you don't know. You can't say it's a goal when it's not a goal. You've said that so many times. Oh, I could have swore it was a goal. But it wasn't a goal. So it's fine, guys. Uh, it's an, fine. Another don't free worry. kick to. Uh, Sunderland. How did Maxwell say it's that? Back in Seriously, half, that, was, though, it's fine. that was Gordon Banks' quality, right? Um, Sunderland have the ball with a goalie. Oh, you too as well. Yeah. Oh no, they're here again. They are here oh, again. But, um, that's got to be bundled over there. Was uh, Jim? Good work, Jim. Paul Phillips Robert says you too for him. That was another. Um, nice. So you're going to hit me in a minute. That was pinball in the goal there. That, that was, was another 80s song, of course. How did they... It's life, Jim, but not as we know it. Not Maybe as we know it. Not it. as we know it. It's life, Jim, but not as we know it. Not as we know it, Captain. 
what's this? PO, POV, you're too broke for the game stream. What does that, I don't know what that means, Lewis. Uh, Northern Point says, stop jumping the gurneys with Jane. Yes, honestly, I don't know how Maxi saved that. It was incredible. It was a great save. Right. Blackpool are on the attack here. Right. It's Demi, Demi. Uh, Demi's trying to get past, but no, it's to throw into Blackpool on. on this near side. A about long level throw in, the penalty please, area. here. Never doubt Maxwell the save machine. No, stop saying it's a goal, Sir Stephen. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Stephen Farrell says he's Quite got to finish on the score extra it. time, like everyone else does. Mitchell's well, moving. 73 minutes gone, but there's going to be some injury time. Right, Blackpool still got the ball, though, here. Still got the ball, back, but back, we're, back. we're kind of going backwards. But, uh, we Robson's are keeping involved in quite a lot. Nice ball down the left wing, though. Ball coming across. Oh, got a wicked deflection, and uh, Sunderland managed to. Oh, no, Blackpool pick it up again. Now we're on the Out right, to the right now. wing now. Come on, Blackpool. Nice Board ball inside. In for Turton. Gets another great position. Back. Oh. 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 He, he was back what? to somebody totally who just put a, a lame ball Blackpool in. Blackpool pick it up again. We've got it again here. We've got a few forward here now. Come on, Brad Blackpool. Ward. Do something with this pressure now. Come on. To Garbutt. Come on. We need another. Out to the left wing here. Ball coming across, but it's rubbish. Nice ball it's in from rubbish. Jim. But it's no, just rubbish. It's just a bit too Absolute far. rubbish. It's not absolute rubbish. It was just slightly too... Oh, rubbish out. it was just we have players in the box there he just put it over everybody and out for a goal kick and lewis hughes is from barsley but living cleavers for a bit would be amazing to see barsley promoted on the saturday and blackpool on sunday yeah, mm. unbelievable yeah stop saying yes yeah stop saying that word have we mentioned that word oh we got another free kick to sunderland they're getting everything at the moment all the free kicks are going sunderland's way Back in their own half, though, and right, they're in our half now. Down the left wing. Oh, but we'll just get a heel in, but it's picked up again by Sunderland. Header away, but it's not very far. But I think it's an offside. It, it's an offside. I'll right. tell you what, guys, those paracetamol I had before the show, my arm doesn't hurt anymore, so they do work. Top tip. Hurty arm, paracetamol fixes it. Uh, Cisana fifty nine says musically challenged wham my fans. <laughs> just uh, how, how, is that our singing? You know, just the fact we actually liked wham. How can you not like wham? They were ace wham, weren't they? Wham, bam, I am a man. Job on a job, you can't tell me that I'm not. Do you enjoy what you do? If not, just stop. stop. Don't stay there and, and rot. rot. Oh. <laughs> right, Blackpool on the attack. Oh, picked up by Blackpool. To me, well to me. played, well played. Go on. Grant Wall, but why, where, where? I don't know who he was trying to find there because there was nobody there where you were trying to put that ball there. Pointless ball in to nobody. And of course, right, so Sunderland have a free kick, which their goal is going to take. 14 Rochdale minutes to go. Rochdale are winning at Wimbledon 3-2. Rochdale are now winning 3-2. Wow. Really take on me, on yes. Me. I'm not trying. I'm not tempting that one. Right, folks, this is, uh, we're getting to hell zone, aren't we? Right, uh, it's going to go, no, Black Black will just knock it forward. Uh, it's, it's, no, it's picked up by Sunderland on the halfway line. Hey, if I'm singing again, that means I'm feeling a bit better. So it's good news, guys. Good right. news. Sunderland have the ball in the centre circle, <laughs> just inside their own half. Into Blackpool territory now. They're going to put the ball out to the left wing. Nobody on him. Lots of space. But he's had to go back. Close down very quickly. Sunderland again. Into the centre circle again. Oh, they're pushed Jez back is, to is, halfway. He's waiting to pounce there. He is waiting to pounce. He's Jez. Uh, they win another free kick. Blackpool stop giving free kicks away for Christ's sake. Oh, God, we're all singing 80 songs now. Stephen wants a hand. Come on, Lee, talk, 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 Save your love by Renee talk. and Renata if we win. Talk about the things oh, you like to do. You've got to right, have a dream. From Sunderland, and they've just taken a short one a dream, into the centre circle. Oh, you're going to have a dream. Right, ball, true. long ball knocked in. But it's straight into the. Oh, into we've my, got a player down we've here. We've got another holding player down, holding his face now. Looking for blood. That is uh, Dan Ballard. In the wars, get big Marv on. Come on, that's what the fans want. 70 nearly coming up to 78 minutes. Baggy trousers, yes, my madness, though. They were they're still going, aren't they? 
Uh, 79, Give It Up by Katie in the Sunshine Band is a banger. Yeah. Na, 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 na. Wesley Hulahan, Hulahan, Wesley Hulahan. <laughs> right, Maxi Maxwell launches it for long, but it's headed away by Sunderland, who just seems to have a lot. Oh, and they pick it up on halfway, and they're on a break here. Sunderland on a break. But no, we picked the pockets. All right. Well Good done. work, Grant Ward. Well played, Ward He's having there. a stormer tonight, Wardy. It really is. But Blackpool have to knock it long again. Ooh, and it's all just, they're just playing it straight back into Sunderland's hand. But Jess, he's, got two he's, men, he's, three he's men on in there. Three men round in there. It's Sunderland pick control. it up in their own half. It's just continually coming back. Burton 3 1 up against Cods now. Good out. Long eh? ball hit forward by Sunderland. Don't mess it there. It's all right. We're going for Paved it. away by Turton. And it's just going, it's going to go out for a throw into Sunderland midway in their own half. One step beyond. Oh, come on, right, Sunderland keeper's got it. He's going to launch it long. Everything is now long from Sunderland. Long balls forward, and it's going to go all the way through to Maxi. Yes, it does. Right, Maxwell picks it up on just on the edge of his. Finley Barella says we are awful at the moment. We aren't going up. Well, Sunderland have had three shots to Blackpool's two I on would target. Say neither team at the moment are, 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 are fantastic. You know what I mean? Eleven minutes to go. Maxwell kicks it on long. The starboard bow, starboard bow, starboard bow. Is it going to be Yes, it is. Bow, on the halfway line, we've got you. the ball. My God, celebrate everyone! Come on. Right, Blackpool still got the ball. Nice play, Robson. Lovely, lovely ball from Blackpool. Still got the it's ball, Jim. Blackpool. But we're on the halfway line. Come on, Bull Man. Nice ball four from Blackpool, Luke. going back again, back into her own back half, to Jim. and it's gone back, back, back. We're going back all the way to Maxwell. We're going back. But we still got the ball. It's not necessary because Maxwell's going to have to launch it long, and of course, then it's they'll right, pick it up. Where he's putting it, uh, and they do. It's all right, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. It's okay. Ward's got it on halfway, but he's. Oh, Grant plays it forward. Can he reach it? Yes, he's beat his man, but he's been oh, clattered, and he's, he's won. Given it, he's, he's won a free kick. Yeah, good work. He's he's doing really well tonight, Grant he got Ward. Shoved, didn't he? Uh, Finley Barra said we haven't won in six, but before that we haven't lost in fourteen. I know it's weird how you've kind of just gone a little bit off the boil, but we also went off the boil last week. Yeah, he got tripped there, didn't he? Uh, he did, yeah. He, did. he right. fell into the Sunderland player, but only because he got tripped. Right on the uh, the touchline on the far side, on the right. Yeah, well, is it, this game's not over yet. Uh, Go but to take Finley. it. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. It's, it, oh, it, Peter's watched uh, Lower Decks. It's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. We've loved that. It, yeah. it, it's really good. Yeah, it's very, very good. Star Trek Lower Decks. If you haven't seen that, it, it's fabulous. Very, very funny. It is good. Right, right Garbutt in. We don't know where it is. We don't know where it is in the box. And still, still in the box, but they just walked it out. Uh, yeah, Blackpool get a tackle in. Blackpool get it back. Blackpool pressing Garbutt. them in. Nice ball forward here. Can I get a ball? Oh, that was What's a poor the point ball. of that ball? Yeah, that was just poor so ball poor. You can see it's absolutely but nobody I think there. We've got a corner. We've got a corner. I don't know how we've got a corner. 81 minutes gone. Yeah. All right, come on. Make it a good right, one. Blackpool have got Luke. a corner here, folks. Can we do something? Can we score from a corner this season? And we don't score many from corners. He do got we? one straight in, didn't he, against uh, Harrogate? Right, good corner, though. Oh, head oh, away, away firmly by. Swift's, and no. they've managed to pick it up on the edge it's of the box. All right, we're pegging them back, though. We're pegging them back. Yeah, but they were quicker to they us. They sprayed loose ball. it, but only as far as Robson. And now uh, we're back in. Jerry Yates is coming down really the left. Oh, yes, he has he caught can. it. Yes, he has caught it in, into the corner. Nice ball back from Jerry Yates. Robson. To Robson in, inside. Oh. But no, no, no. It's, it's all just, right. It's all right. It's a silly ball. And Blackpool have a throw in just inside their own half. Oh, the table's looking so much better now. They, at the moment it is, but we're not there yet. Oh, stop. We're not there. There's Pissing on our bonfire. Eight we're winning. To go. I can't. I and can't you're making settle. everything terrible. Every ball we do is terrible. And it they is scored terrible. and they haven't scored. And, you know, <sighs> we're winning. Enjoy it. Uh, what's up with our crossing? It's just not very good. Right. It's um, throwing here. It's going to be. It was uh, garbage. Deep into their half, headed for by Blackpool. Yes, Yates uh, is through. J Yates, Yates is, is through. on the ball here. Oh, oh just wide. My God. So he did very just well wide. to get the shot off there. He had two men on him, but he hit it quick. He's been to the barbers as well. That was a chance there. From that was Jerry a lovely Yates. header put through from uh, Mitchell oh, there. You put him down to hit the target from he there. He did very well. But, the other side. but he, he had to put it in between the two men and it just went just oh, wide. Jazzy, Jazzy Yates, that was a chance. Good, good, good right, job. Sunderland picked the ball up on the halfway line. Uh, it feels like the Big Dipper, Stephen. Yes, it does. 83 minutes gone. 
Get oh, we now, slip guys. over there. Right, long ball fall from Sunderland, and they're going to find it. Can he? Nah. He's kept it in. They've still got the ball here, Sunderland. On the edge of the box. Blackpool hole strong. Still on the edge of the box. Everyone Shot works. coming in. Oh, it's... And it's wide. wide. It's wide. Thank God it's uh, it's wide. Yes, Lawrence. believe Lee, says Lawrence. Yes. I've got to believe, but that was a that was a great oh I thought it was in. It looked like it was going right in the top corner, but it was wide. It did to you. It did to me, but I didn't say goal. Because you're watching. I didn't say goal. These. I didn't say goal. You didn't say goal, yeah. Well done. <laughs> right. Max is at the ball. It's a it's a goal kick. Uh, Blackpool need to keep possession of the ball. That is the key to this Exeter game now. Exeter 2, Grinsby 2. Oh, from Eugene. Grinsby gone. Right. Goal kick taken Max, by Maxi Long. Oh, well, looks like it's raining it's, there. Of course. You know, Sunderland get the head of Blackpool, pick it up on halfway. Blackpool try and cushion the ball yeah, down. Yates. Yates kind of loses it. It looks like a smell of goal, Jerry Yates. We didn't want over. Mitchell. Mitchell into the box. But what? Oh. You, what is that, Mitchell? What is that ball? Why are we doing these? Oh, Stop it. It's frustrating. Stop it. Is. If that had come off, that would have been very good. If it had come They're off, but it was to them. nobody. It was to they no one. just happened to not get there. They can't all come I'm off. Which are. They're right. 84 minutes gone. Goal kick to Sunderland. We have to keep possession of this ball, even if we keep it in our own half. Right. Long kick from Sunderland. It's going to be headed. Is it? You no, know, it's found a Sunderland player again. Here they come again. We're flooding the edge our of the defense, box. though. They've got, there's nowhere for them to go. Right, down the wing, Sunderland. We've Try got eight get men back in. here. Ball's coming in. This is a great chance. This is a f oh, they've got space on the edge. No, of, there's a chance here, the folks. There's a here. chance. There's a chance. Get your foot in, Blackpool. That's it. Come on. Well come done. on, Demi. Now, come on, We're Demi. Don't give the ball now. away again, Demi. Keep hold of the ball. Stop slagging him off. No, he gives the ball away. He didn't give the ball away. He passed it to it fucking a... Garbert. Stop it. He didn't. It was short. Honestly. Sunderland are back We're on winning, it. guys. This is a joyful experience. I'm not, I'm not finding it joyful Sunderland at all. Sunderland have gone up to 54% possession. That way was over very the ball. high. That Keep was a Turton-esque shot there. Cheddar says I'm going to give him a heart attack there, for Christ's sake, yeah. Right, so come on, Blackpool. We've got this. Right, and it, just need to hold on for a few more Blackpool. minutes. We need to keep hold of this ball, Blackpool. Keep hold of the ball. Tension, Lee, chill. I am Maxwell I'm, has I'm, the ball, it's, he's it's, taking his time. There's going to be about five minutes of injury time, you know that. Lawrence has slapped me quickly, just slapped me. <laughs> I can't because my arm's not working. <laughs> there we go, slap myself. Come on. <laughs> Right, state of my side, get a good feeling. I know it's dangerous. I obviously don't want to jinx it. No, don't jinx it. Blackpool head it forward on the halfway line. <laughs> uh, Blackpool do pick it up. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Jerry come on. Come on. Come on, Jez. He's Jesse looking Yates hungry. Wins it. Nice ball inside. There's a, there's a lovely, nice, easy ball inside. And we slip. Here comes Sunderland down. Sunderland pick it up from our slip. The left. Uh, it's all right. We've clattered him uh, down. We're going to get a yellow card we've here. stopped it. Dan Bollard's taken one for the team there. Paul Upton says it's, 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 what, it's joyful if we it win. We just need to play out time. Both sides will have more chances. We need to keep hold of the ball, Blackpool. And I, I can't believe we just can't do it. Uh, Tony Draper says, uh, calm down. Calm down. It's been a while since we've seen rain, but it doesn't like it's really tipping it down at Sunderland. It does. It is tipping down. Right, free kick to Sunderland just inside our half. It is raining there. Ballard gets a yellow card. 87 it's minutes right. coming up. It is. He's managed uh, this game very well, the referee. Stephen Roberts says, domestic kickoff. Glad <laughs> not your neighbour. <laughs> yes, I'm fighting myself. Uh, no wonder you sit apart at Bloomer. Yes. <laughs> well, we don't always fight. She sometimes often does leave me alone. <laughs> right, how long to go? Uh, we're 87 minutes gone. Right. Uh, free kick coming in. Blackpool head it away nicely. It's going to be picked up by Sunderland in the centre circle. Blackpool need to get hold of this ball. Sunderland are back to the keeper. It's the last few minutes here now. Right, come on, Blackpool, pick this right, ball up. Pick Robson. the ball up. Pick the ball up. We've lost it again at Blackpool. It is criminal. It's all right. Pick They've it lost it again. Well done, hey, honestly, Ward. Sunderland fans are absolutely livid at their performance here tonight. They're not happy. Right, long ball, not not. We're winning, remember, it's guys. through here. It's Robson through. Robson through. He's got come a on, chance. Oh. oh, what does he do with it? He just puts it too light, but we still. 
I can't believe what I see, folks. A simple ball across to Jerry. He just tried to toe poke it across to Jerry. Just and he, didn't, and he didn't two quite, feet. Just didn't quite connect with it. Bloody hell, folks. Oh, we've had chances here. 88 minutes gone. We've had chances, folks, to put this game to bed. It's Oh, Charlton winning against Crew. Right, head of four from Come Blackpool. Picked up by Sunderland on the, the railway, halfway. Man. A spitting in FY4. Right, Sunderland are coming down the left wing here again. Blackpool backing off, backing off, backing off. Down the left wing, great go overlapping Ollie, here. Ollie. Ball across, and it's a corner, is it? No, nope, it's a corner to Sunderland. Come on, Paul. I can't believe this. I can't believe. Got to be into the last minute now. I can't believe we keep giving this ball away like we are. So here it's we are, 18 minute. minutes gone. It's a corner, and they've been really dangerous from corners. Come on, Blackpool, hold strong. It's a, it's a bad oh, one. There's a puddle Near in post, that corner. Blackpool, don't clear. We don't clear. We just don't. Yes, we do. Here we are. We're breaking now. Come now we've got a chance. Oh, no, we, we lose didn't... it again. Jerry, stop shouting, darling. He didn't quite get it under control there, and Sunderland come again. Sunderland are coming again. We we honestly, how Blackpool can lose the ball as easy as they do, I have no Cross idea. The ball, hey. Chance goal! It's oh not my a fucking God. goal! Stop saying it! We've cleared it. It wasn't how? a goal. It's another corner to Sunderland. How? 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 How are we? What are we doing, Blackpool? What are we doing? Can you wait until it's a goal? Until you say it's a goal. That was a cracking block there from, I don't know who that was. 89, 89 minutes for 30 seconds. Ballard, it's, 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 it, we're on the ropes, folks. Here we go. Corner coming in. It's a good one. It's headed away, though, by Blackpool. Hoof it, Keep Demi. It. That's it. Demi hoofs it. Hoofs it. Absolutely. Back to their keeper. He's well out of his box. The rain's really coming down now here at Sunderland. Minutes, 45 seconds gone, folks. Hit long by the Sunderland keeper. Uh, it's headed on to, to Maxi. Maxi. Get hold of it. Hold on to it, Maxi. Come on. Keep hold this ball, Blackpool. Grim night for Sunderland here at the Stadium. Five minutes so of far. extra time, as I predicted. It has. There's been injuries. I'm going to get a red card if I get if I say it again. We're Come not on, on the pool. We need to hold Come this ball. On the pool. Right, Come ball's on going the right pool. down into Sunderland Come corner, the pool. and they get it. Come on the pool. Come on the pool. Sunderland have to go to back to the goalkeeper. 22 seconds of the five minutes gone. Yates is still looking very, very loud. Stephen Crammy's air is going bald in Yorkshire. That's never a free kick referee. No, it's, it's not. not. Giving it. Sunderland pick it up on halfway. Sunderland come again. They come again. They're desperate now. They know Why we need can Blackpool this. not get hold of this ball? Hoof. But we're away. hoofing. We're just hoofing. Getting it out of danger. That's what you want. We're hoofing. Michael Lazenby's give us five quid. Have a beer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Right, they're here again, Sunderland. They're here again. One minute into the five. They're here again. It's another corner. It's a goddamn another Blackpool. corner. What are we Honestly, doing? Honestly, Blackpool are defending really heroically here, just throwing themselves in the way of everything. Right, it's corner coming across. Get ahead to it, Blackpool. Pick the ball. Oh, no, Sunderland pick it up again. One minute gone, folks, of the five. Four minutes to go. Sunderland are on the ball again. Not giving him room to come in here. Good work for Dougal. Four, four one. Come on, Blackpool, get a tackle in. Just get the ball. Can't get the ball off Sunderland. They're here again. It's as if they've just got 20 men on the pitch. They're finding men with passes all the time, but we're holding. Here they come. They're on the edge of the box. Out to the left. Beautiful ball to the left. It's coming across. There's a chance. Maxwell, oh, fantastic save from the Maxwell. Line. How is it? What a how legend. How are we keeping these that out? Was a, that was a cat this like is save folks. from Maxwell. Get hold of the ball, Blackpool. We have got it. No, oh, he's limping there. Grant Ward's oh, limping. Oh, no. No. He couldn't get to the ball because oh, he couldn't Oh, my walk. God. This is We've got Grant Ward who's... He couldn't play. He couldn't get to the Blackpool ball. He was limping. He was throwing. trying valiantly to get to that ball, but he, you could see he was just limping. He's, it's not looking good for Grant. He's had such a brilliant game as well, Grant Ward. What a save. How does he save? What How a save Maxwell from save Maxwell there. Because that he's a fucking be legend, that's season. why. Oh, no. He's not looking good no, here, Grant another Ward. another player goes down for Blackpool. Two we've lost today. Grant Ward couldn't run that man, oh, Maxwell, again. He, he's honestly... Been, he's been there man is of the match for me, There Grant is Ward. only one man of the match today, folks, I'm afraid. There is only one man of the match. Maxi. Maxi or Grant Ward? 
which one? Because they're both in ace. Maxi the girl. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's, long he's official, to go I'm going to get t-shirts maybe. Get all the ball. Maybe the stretcher <laughs> for this one, guys. Maybe our first stretcher of the season, possibly, given that he can't walk. Maybe. This is is that okay? Good. This is not looking good. Accrington 2. Stewart's Port- coming on. Portsmouth have, have, have got a, a lead on uh, the winning at Accrington. Can you believe that? Uh, who got injured first? It was Kai Kai. Kai Kai's gone off. Kai Kai's gone off injured. But he could at least walk, whereas uh, Grant Ward Pompey is, now winning. He can't. Oh, it looks like... Um, That's unbelievable from Portsmouth, isn't it? Accrington can't do us a favour there, can they? I think we've got a couple coming on here. I think that's Sims getting ready to come on as well. Right, so Stuart's coming on. Says, listen, for raising my Grant blood Ward. pressure by the second. Yes, we know this, folks. If you come into our streams, it is absolutely. There's going to be a couple of minutes. Surely they've got the ball. They're going to have to throw it back to us. He's well. walking him off. He's walking him round. He's walking him halfway round the fucking pitch. And he can't, he could have walked to get to that ball. What, Wait, where's the stretchers? What's the problem, guys, with your stretchers? Right, they're here. Season? They're in the box here, Sunderland. Oh, my God. It comes off the edge of the post. Oh, my God. This is unbelievable, folks. Oh. I have never seen anything like this. <laughs> so what's Good it? Lord. We're going to get a T-shirt that says it's a goal. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is this is. Right, taking short and another corner to. Oh, the keepers it's... up. The keepers come up. The keepers for up the for corner. the corner. Oh, this is this is unbelievable, oh, God, folks. Guys, it's too much. This is pressure like I, I've never seen anything like this, guys. Oh. Another corner coming in from Sunderland. Here it comes oh. in now, but it's not a good no, one. It it's knocked away by Blackpool. That. There's no keeper. Have a break go, yes, go, come, go, on, go, come on, come on, come on! For God's sake, Blackpool, why are we second to every ball? Oh, God. It's, it's, it's a throw into Blackpool. It's, it's a throw into Blackpool, referee. It's too much. Guys. It came up a Sunderland much. player. This is unbelievable. Mitchell's been clattered into the advertising hoardings, but he gets up and carries on. It's a good That's job of winning. Blackpool He's throwing all day long. Five minutes have gone, but there's been there's a bit of injury time in it. Sunderland have got the ball again on the halfway line. They're taking it out. It's a throw into Blackpool. Come on. Five minutes, ten seconds gone. Come on. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, guys. Come on, Blackpool. Yeah, he's uh, Garbutt's taking the throw. Right, Garbutt's taking the throw in on the halfway line. Taking the ball long the down. We're over five minutes. Five minutes, 31, gone, folks. Come on, Blackpool, get this Come ball. On, We've uh, given away a free kick. Come on, referee. Five minutes, 40 seconds. How long are we playing? Five minutes, 44. <laughs> Jesus Christ, right. Suddenly, goalie takes a goal. It's 47, five minutes, 49 seconds of five minutes. They keep, keep launching Long it ball in. Blackpool, get ahead to it. Get to it, Blackpool. Knocked out for a throw into Bla- to someone on the far side. Go on, referee. Six minutes have now Whoa, gone. Blow your fucking Blow whistle. your bloody whistle, Whoa, ref. There's Ball's two coming. balls on the pitch. There's two balls on the pitch. Maxwell. You've got to stop. Two balls referee, referee, come on! You can't. If they score here now, the ball is still on the pitch, guys. Sunderland's still got the ball. Referee. There's a ball coming in. Referee, there's two balls. Come on, referee! It's a come corner on. to Sunderland. No way, you How can't. long do we play? You can't give them a corner. There were two balls on the pitch. There's Six still minutes, two balls 30 on the pitch. seconds of five minutes. Why has nobody noticed? There's two balls on the pitch. What are we doing? What is this referee doing? Corner coming in. Keep us up it's again. It's over the bar. Come on! Throw the bloody whistle, referee! It's throw the bloody whistle, Jesus Christ! That was stress beyond belief. I cannot oh, believe what I'm seeing on this. <laughs> oh my God, folks! I think I am oh. gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> Jesus Christ! We've won. E I E I E I O. Up the football league we go. When we win promotion, this is what we'll sing. We are Blackpool. We are Blackpool. We're the football kings. Critch has got a concerned look in his face, chatting to Grant Ward, who's finally hobbled all the way around the pitch. Jesus, without the aid of the cries, folks. Blackpool have won away at Sunderland one 0 It has been hell. We've lost Kai Kai. We've lost Grant Ward. Oh, yeah. Two players that are so. Have been so, well, well, so the goal well. scorer and the uh, would have been the man of the match if if Maxi hadn't been so. Did I enjoy it? No, I I didn't. I, I didn't enjoy <laughs> I did. it. I did. I enjoyed it more. 
<laughs> Sadie Jasper says this Emmy is worthy. Yes, uh, pool passion here, people. Oh my oh. God, I'm sorry, folks. How's the neighbors? We don't know. We live in a detached house, so they won't hear us. Shazza Harvey says, believe. Right. Uh, the balls have just dropped. Yeah, I'm going to lose my voice. League table, is guys. That three, three for Portsmouth. A uh, live league table, guys. Um, as it stands, Hull promoted 86, Peterborough promoted 85, Lincoln winning 1-0. Oh, no, Lincoln have won 1-0, 75. Sunderland have lost 1-0. Hooray, 73. 3-3, three, three. Portsmouth. Oh. Portsmouth uh, have gone, uh, have just, uh, have gone we, level. We are um, 71, Portsmouth 69, Charlton 69, Oxford 68. So... We're in the 70s, guys. We're, we're, we're two points behind Sunderland now with a game in hand. So, <laughs> again, we can catch them. <laughs> we, we've, got, we've, played a game, we've got a game in hand on Portsmouth who are behind us. Let's see, we, 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 we'll bring Phil in in a minute. He's, he's in the stream. We're, we're going to be doing, by the way, don't go anywhere, folks. We're going to be doing a review <laughs> of this. I my heart is, I don't, I don't know if I'm, I'm speaking about a 10 down. million. Uh, Rochdale Paul says, uh, increase we trust. Uh, Mo Backhouse says, God bless you too. Proper funny. Jane is a hero. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, what's Just, this? A lonely fish says, I'm adopting Blackpool as my second team because. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic. Oh Just have a little. Look, hell, just a it? little look, a token look at the bottom of the table. We've got Bristol Rovers relegated 38, Swindon relegated 40. We've got Northampton on 44. We've got Rochdale who are winning on 46. We've got Wigan on 48. And Wimbledon uh, who are losing on 49. So there's still six teams in it. Well, there's still four teams fighting for I those. Feel I, feel, I feel sick. <laughs> I feel sick. I've got, I've got Phil coming in for the after show review. So oh, the after show in. party. Are here. Oh my God! Let's bring him in. Let's bring Phil in. Oh my God! Here he comes. Hi, Phil. Oh. Did you watch that? Did you watch that game with us? <laughs> <laughs> Have you watched it with uh, us? Or what? I watched. I watched it with you and and the oh, uh, and the thing. God. Unbelievable! But my heart, unbelievable. Um, oh my God! Got the old Fitbit on. I got up to about 120 in that injury. I, I, I think I was on about 250. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Uh, yeah. My lucky sweatshirt. Mike Harper <laughs> says today's show has been brought to you today with the words win and coronary. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, tense nervous headache, says Gary uh, Stansfield. Uh, Pompey Drew, which is an amazing result there. Aki got one back three all. Uh, all smiles from the pool players. Uh, Ian McNally says, well done to Lee for staying calm. I did not stay calm. I was bloody <laughs> losing it. Tangerine Army had to turn it off with five minutes to go. Edna Mansfield says, that was a stressful second half, to say the least. Yes, it was. Uh, Andy Ormod says, uh, excellent. We are the knockers now up the mighty pool. Uh, Eugene McGeevis says, this is a double for Blackpool now over Sunderland. Yes, it is. Uh, Mr. Moley says, thank Christ for that. Uh, Ryan Dunbar <laughs> says, uh, <laughs> Ryan Dunbar says, I'm, I'm crying. Who needs more common wise when you've got you two? <laughs> Jane was giving me hell for all my screaming. Uh, Stephen Nice said, did you raise enough money for the defibrillator, Jane? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sean Diamond said, "Yay! Thank God for that! Bloody hell!" Uh, Burton Four, Fleetwood Two. Uh, Stephen Smith is dancing in the desert in Doha. Stephen Humley says, "Over the moon!" I said a few weeks ago. I said the best case was four from six. Right, Paul Chris says, uh, "Drinks for everybody on oh, me." What a finish! My heart was racing. You are the best, and he's a he's an imps fan. I wanted us to beat Sunderland. Stephen Farrell says, "Two, two us two have a drink." Uh, Colin Calderwood, clap for coach Critch from Colin Calderwood. Stephen Cram says, the main thing, Blackpool win. An important three points. Gritty performance by the lads. Tell Lee to get a drink. Be the boss, Jane. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, there's so many. We'll just go through these. Uh, uh, Darren Hoy says he's back and the winds are back. I'm boycotting the studio until this season is over. The pool, uh, the pool overworked. Good for you. Yeah. Oh, Charlton conceded as well. That's absolutely brilliant. Uh, it's a great Paul, night, even better. It's been a bloody brilliant night. Paul Lutzen, that is a remarkable score. Once so much, thanks so much for the commentary. We might have a game in hand. Uh, 
as well. So it, this is really good. Uh, uh, Brian, stay in mind, hit the first. I just wish Lee would be a bit more animated. He never really seems to get particularly yeah. excited. <laughs> Stephen Hacking says, you, you, you beauty. Uh, uh, Hollow TV says, what a player Maxwell is. He was bloody unbelievable. Uh, My, Michael Stewart Haig says, uh, great result from the My, mighty and a superb performance from Maxwell. It was unbelievable the saves he made tonight uh sean dice have lost my voice yes i have i was screaming for us just to hold on to the ball uh paul looks and says it's great but we only have a seven aside team left i think i think you could be right i can't believe the injuries uh, that we've had of these two games with sunderland uh cheddar says he's happy he doesn't have to return his new blackpool shirt now it's like we've actually won with it <laughs> uh Eugene McGee, this is what are your playing ratings tonight against Sunderland? We will be doing that, Eugene, in this show. We will be doing uh, player ratings when we get through these comments. Uh, Stephen Roberts says, Anton Deck have nothing on us too. Uh, wow. Wow. Um, uh, Mark Porter says, Crikey, I went through all that stress with you in the last five minutes. My blood pressure is through the roof too, mate. Jane was so funny being the car partner for you. Uh, yes, Wimbledon have equalised. That's a great for us, Charlton 2-2. Uh, Jacob Brown says, up the bloody pool. We are going up, say we are going up. Well, that's the kind of result we needed to get our season back on track. Um uh, Shazza Harvey is using the F bomb. Uh, uh, so be it. Well done, Charlton two two. Everybody's good telling us Charlton two. Burton five now on the cards. Uh, yeah, Charlton and Portsmouth have drawn. Uh, what a keeper Maxwell is. Says Hollow TV. Just try and get through all these. There's so many. Lots of lots of Charlton two two. Um, um, Aid Whitaker says, my roll of the dice, 5-6 to pull. The 56th minute was when Kai Kai scored. So maybe that's what it meant. It didn't mean a 5-6 win. It was just, it was the 56th minute. That could have been, oh, that, yeah. that, that, that could be what it was. Suddenly it, it never, all makes sense. Yes, <laughs> suddenly it does. Uh, great game, especially by Ward. And I hope he's not really injured, but he he, he looked pretty injured coming off. He, 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 he almost, you know, Jane was asking for a stretcher. Uh, Shazza Harvey is getting pissed. Cramp. Yeah. P pissed in Dorset. Yeah, I hope it's just something crampy. And yeah, uh, Mike yeah. Peake says one more win should just about do it. Afro Man Scarecrow production says, when well, you're not all there. I think he's probably right. Uh, Brave good luck from the good luck from Barnsley from Alejandro. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is quite <laughs> something from Afro, isn't it? Uh, yes, good luck from the Barnsley uh, massive. Thank you very much. Um, uh, crew equalized. Yes, Captain Maxwell was immense. Uh, that trip is going to be a lot happier for the players. Yes. Uh, Kunal Kumar was watching it from India. Great match. Oh, God, the last few minutes. <laughs> it was stressful. Yes, it was. Uh, Michael Stewart Haig says, uh, Max is the best keeper by far in League One. Getting there in Coach Critchley, we trust Mojo back and a great goal from Kai Kai. Yes. So, as you can see, we've got the Yorkshire Seasiders in the stream. Uh, we got Phil. Good evening, Phil. I am Hi. just, I think I just want to pass out at the moment. That was just too stressful for words. Uh, just give us your thoughts on it while I try and re regroup my thoughts, to be honest, because I just don't know where I am. Yeah, absolutely. Well, for me, first half, it wasn't a great spectacle, but we, after the first 10 minutes, we just started yes. controlling the game. We um, did. We uh, did. You know, we kept the possession. We we stopped, We nullified them completely. Uh, and, and we looked solid. Um hmm. When we scored, I thought that's going to be the story of the game here. Unbelievable goal, sensational yeah. strike, and then Max, uh, then Maxwell pulls off oh, three, three times. More. Three times, <laughs> I thought. I, I thought oh, oh no, they've equalised. Then all of a sudden, hand oh, no, from I, nowhere, I, unbelievable. I said, I said goal twice, and James yeah. was giving me da daggers for it. And people in the stream were saying, "Stop saying, it, forget saying it's which." Just stop saying bloody goal every time they go because it looked in, didn't it? You, you thought it was going yeah, in. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know how he saved him. And the little one the, the that hit the back one, of the heel. Yeah. Uh, who, who, oh, who, yeah. who did come off the back of the heel and just just yeah, hit the, the side of the post. post and went, "Oh my god!" Yeah. yeah. Um, I thought they cl they, oh, they've, they've got back. They're going to clear it, and then next thing you know. I had own goal written all over it, and but just wide, fantastic. It was fantastic. Stephen Hunt is Stephen Hunt is saying that uh, we're a proper Blackpool team now, putting us uh, through it. 
which is yeah, yeah, that's what Blackpool teams do. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, Rodney Bint is saying, "Lee, you were great tonight." Oh my god, I don't know if I was great. I was just honestly, I was screaming at them because I just, I just couldn't believe yeah. we had so many chances at times to just calmly pass a ball, and we had a couple of chances yep. to score and put the game to bed, and we just fluffed the lines twice, didn't we? If we just got one Absolutely. more goal, it would have been a simple so square much ball. More yeah, yeah, that, that uh, ball. Robson, but, uh, yeah, Robson, Robson in particular was played in, and all he had to do was knock it square. And Jerry had a tap yeah, in, it? yeah, just a tap in. Um, Paul Lupton says to all the critch criticizers, play Sunderland twice, beat them twice, and thanks to Maxi, another clean sheet. What a night, what a season. I mean, it's not just you know, not just taking six points off Sunderland, but also taking no. four points off Hull, taking who else have we played in, in six in points top, off Peter? Six points off Peter, no, four points off Peter. We drew away and beat them at oh, home, one, two, one away. Oh, we, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Six six points off Peterborough. Lincoln's yeah. the you know the one we haven't done yeah. done so well. And, yeah, you know, we, absolutely. We won away at Portsmouth. Yeah, you know it was just it, it's you know I I don't know uh, Phil before the game I I couldn't see it if I'm being honest I didn't think we could win I thought our heads had gone I thought we've lost against Rochdale and Shrewsbury mm. and why why we didn't play like that I mean he changed the system didn't he. And he went, you know, he brought husband yeah. on, which is, I'm sure he was listening to our stream because we were saying all, all the time, he needs to bring husband in and, you know, and husband, for the, you know, for it, the drive, yeah. for the drive and the fight and the fight was there, wasn't it? And, um, it, it, it really, it, if I'm being honest, it didn't really get that scary until about like five minutes to go. And then the five minutes no. of extra time, which actually became seven minutes of extra time. Yeah, exactly. um, yeah. But no, you're right. I thought, I thought we were comfortable up until, until, up until that last, and you know, the keepers coming up for corners and it, it was just, mm. it was frightening. I, I've got to be honest. Um, uh, Mark Chamberlain has worked out that we need four points to confirm our playoff place. Well, that's doable surely, isn't it, Phil? And I, I don't want to speak too, too soon, but surely, uh, Donny have gone, Bristol Rovers. We've got, you know, we've got New, um, Northampton, haven't we, on Saturday and they're in the bottom. I know they'll be fighting for the lives, but surely go to Northampton to win. That's well, the know, thing not is, like... uh, yeah, Northampton have to win, which means they have to come on to us, which, and that suits us like it did tonight. They, they, we, I always fancied us more tonight than I did against either of those two previous games because they were always going to set up and defend. Yeah. And we don't we don't deal with it tonight. No. Uh, you know we uh, we battled. We we got a great goal and could have scored one or two more, but but on the break because they were pushing at us. If it yeah. had been a team with five back, uh, we, that's the teams we struggle against. Getting the first goal was crucial as well because it was getting it, the first goal, and once difference. again it, it it came really Phil uh, kind of unexpected really because we hadn't really mm. threatened up until that point, and you know come from no, a corner we, yeah. it, it, it come from the second phase of a corner and it obviously yeah. came straight out to Kai Kai and he just hit a, I, I mean he hit it like a rocket didn't he and I love to be well, behind the, that the goal net to see that lifted going. up the net the lifted up the ball yeah, well, lifted yeah, up about a foot yeah, yeah the net <laughs> yeah. somebody's actually said uh, Tandrine always says things are looking up uh, pill win and uh, Phil has finally realised the microphone doesn't go up his nose yeah but we were yeah, having trouble yeah. with it on your mouth weren't we that's why you moved it there but, it's, yeah, but it seems to be uh, okay changed the headset Oh, you changed the headset. Oh, well, that's a lot better then. That, that's that's working yeah. fine. Yeah, that's brilliant. Um, Daniel Gilpin says, uh, get in. Uh, Maxwell, man of the match. Uh, well, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't think there's any arguing with that, is there, Phil? I know we normally no. do the man of the match at the end, but we might as well talk about it now. Maxwell yeah. tonight was just, that has yeah. got to be the greatest performances from a goalkeeper I, I've seen since Joe Hart, if I'm being honest. In, in a, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it was, they, were, oh, they were absolutely crucial saves, weren't they? You know, yeah. from when, when really you, we'd both given it up as goals. So, uh, uh, you know, I'd done, I'd said the same to myself. Um, hmm. Although when we scored, I was shouting a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I think I, you can't argue with that. Uh, as an outfield player, I thought Ward had his best game in a very long time. I thought he was magnificent tonight. He was. He was picking things up, wasn't he? He, he was yeah. getting all the ball, and and yeah. you know that's once he went off, we nobody seemed yeah. to, to get all the ball, did he? But yeah, he, he just kept nicking in, didn't he? He kept nicking just, in. And... Yeah, absolutely, great, great game. Uh, you know, you can't you can't fault any of them. They all raised the game to what they have been doing. You know, we've had we've had a two-game blip 
But tonight, uh, we we worked out. We kept working, and second half, I thought we were. I thought we were the better team and deserved to win by more than one. Give yeah, we did. we did. We did. We did. It was just those last 10 minutes where it got yeah, yeah. You know, really scary. And, and and we do, there was a couple of times where we had chances to break or we just had a nice yeah. simple ball and we give it away. And there was one yeah. where we, I think, I think Grant Ward hurt himself when he slipped over, didn't he? Because he slipped yeah. over, if I remember rightly. He slipped, yeah. didn't he, going for the ball and they letting them back in. And then the next time the ball came to him, he couldn't run at all for it, could he? Which let them in again. You know, he was like the wall. He was just hobbling to the ball. He couldn't get there, could he, quick enough? Yeah. And they got the ball. That was, yeah. so to me, that was a really scary part of the game where it, 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 yeah, it was. could have gone. I mean, if we get oh. in the playoffs, if we get in the playoffs, if it look, it's, yeah. like, it's looking like we could well get Sunderland. Uh, <laughs> they're not on. a bad they're not a bad outfit are they to be honest you know they no no uh and we've they're had, not as dangerous as some teams then they're, they're kind no, of a nearly no. team aren't they they're a nearly team they you know it, they keep all the ball well they pass it around well but they can't they've got a massive stadium they've, they've got a massive wage bill they've got massive expectation but they haven't won in seven that's that's when you go out that's that's who you're playing you're not playing all that history all that uh, stadium, you're playing an, a team who haven't won in in seven now. They can't no. be. They can't be that good. No, no, they've they've gone, haven't they? The confidence has gone. It shot to pieces. Yeah. Uh, Jay Gribben said that we're actually their bogey side. Well, you did say this, didn't you, Phil? That uh, it's mm -hmm. a lucky ground for us, stadium. Like we've never lost there, have we? So yeah, uh, it's just a lucky ground. <laughs> Andy Smith Swift <laughs> says uh, I was on the bus on my way home from work. No volume on my dodgy phone, and I could hear your voice screaming all over me. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> it was horrendous. I. I was screaming i will uh, honestly i was yeah. oh my god if it was it was it was oh it was unbelievable uh giles morgan said good win away to sunderland good news uh keshi anderson uh, greta medina all back on tuesday doncaster home and bristol rovers on sunday last games and playoff wembley because can it happen can we do it you think if they put that battle in performance now that's two amazing battling performances that we've put in against sunderland did mm. you um when you saw the formation and he'd, he'd gone five at the back what were you thinking, Phil, when you saw the team sheets announced? Because I was looking oh, at it. Yeah. I said to Jane, this looks like he's going five across the back because I can't see any other way where he can do it. He's, you know, he's not going to bring unless, Garb. Unless, yeah, unless her husband was going to go to left back and Garb, but go into midfield. But that didn't make a lot of sense. So, no, yeah. it didn't, did it? it didn't. It's, a, it's a brave move to change the shape uh, when, you know, we'd, you'd think we'd have a back three when you've got the likes of Gretterson, Ekpiteta, and. Uh, uh, and the like, all all fit, you know that with three proper centre halves. So to put put husband in there was a was a brave choice. It uh, was, but, but he is a, he is a man you'd want in a war, isn't he? Absolutely. Uh, Alex, yeah. Alex, Alexander Sunter is saying, loving it, loving it. Book me a seat for the next match. But you're book, you're booked in, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you've just joined. Yeah. Uh, just keep us going. You know, it, it is great. And if you have enjoyed it, make sure you give the you know the like, you know, a like, yeah. a sympathy like for. for for my defibrillator that Jane's going to have to buy, because honestly, I think I was close to it today. Uh, right. Yeah. Lee, Lee Blake was holding his hands up here. He said, I was wrong with my thinking that a defensive error would be the difference. What a cracking goal by Sully. My man of the match is Chris Maxwell with some world-class saves. I mean, they were. Weren't they? they were Gordon Banks like it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Atkin, I don't even know uh, how he saves some of them, Atkins do Atkins called him uh, Banks like at one point, didn't he, on the, on the I follow. Commentary. Oh, did he? Yeah, yeah, he was. I mean, I mean, some of those say the one where he kind of had to die, he had to kind of change his direction yeah. and dive and, and tip it. Tip it was, yeah. he, he was absolutely. Yeah. It was. It was unbelievable. I can't. I don't even know. I don't even know where to start with that game. To be honest, Phil, I don't really know. No, no. Uh, no uh, yeah, unbelievable. Right. Uh, Paul Upson says that Northampton have lost twenty-two. And not lost 22. What's this? They've lost 22 and not lost 22. They must win on Saturday as if Wigan do. They are down. So mm. that's a very high pressure game for them. Surely they'll be, they'll, you know, then it's a tough game for a minute. Um, yeah. Sandrine, I was saying, what about Kingston away at Sunderland? He, he did have a great game that game, or even, you know, yeah, uh, Jilts away at Newcastle. I mean, you know, the, you know, the game that Kingston, at, Kingston at Stoke as well. Just, uh, just before or just after that Sunderland game, he, he had two great games where we where we nicked to win 
But uh, yeah, but apart from that, yeah, it was, it was shocking. That. It was shocking. It was shocking. We won't talk about Blackburn Rovers away. <laughs> but but uh, having said that, no. you know, I still I still angry about that game because that was a corner to Blackpool. You know, it was. It was it not was. a goal. It was a it corner, was. and they launched a long goal kick and. Yeah. Not get in from that, but it was it was a corner all day long to Blackpool. It was a disgrace, and it was a disallowed goal as well, wasn't it? A Blackburn Rovers. Yeah. I think GPS scored, and he'd run half the half the way around the pitch before they brought it back as well. It was it was unbelievable. Uh, Sean P says that, uh, and Michael Michael Stewart says, uh, Haig says Maxie was brilliant. Sean P says Max Maxwell was immense. That's why Critch made him captain. Yeah. yeah. He just was. He as a captain, he was he was unbelievable. He was unbeatable tonight, wasn't he? I, I bet Sunderland fans can't can't believe what they've seen. Actually, they they were saying your keeper was just yeah. a world class. Um, Alexander Sunter says oxygen is needed. <laughs> yes, it is. It is, it is needed. Um, Tangerine Army says though it is a massive result for confidence going into well going into the last three games. More importantly, yeah. I think I, I think I was talking to you and, and saying that we need we need. A, a game to bring some confidence back into the, to the squad. Are we going to blow it? That's right. Yeah. Surely, 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 this is mm. the game that knocks a bit of confidence back into Blackpool and gives them a bit, bit yeah, of a lead. And, and it's still the same players. So you've got to think, because um, there was talk about people saying, well, let's, you know, let's give up the Sunderland game. We're not going to win there anyway and, and focus on Saturday. Goes to show you've got to take the points where they're available and uh, what a win, what a win. Obviously, we had no um, uh, Dembo in, uh, be, you know, because of, because he couldn't play. Yeah. Um, um, I think it was a good thing. I, I said that before. I think it's a good thing he's left out because I don't think he was playing very well, Elliot Embleton. I don't know what, uh, you know, know, there are rumours that things were said to him. I, I don't know if that's true or not, but uh, he didn't play. And will he get back in? I hope, I hope he doesn't come straight back in, but... Trouble is, Ward's injured, so he might well have to come back in, mightn't he? Um, it all depends, you know. Pe people, well, but Stewart's that. available again now, isn't he? So, oh, yeah, he, Stewart, uh, you know, having played he's class, five minutes he? injury time, who, who is a class holding midfield player? So, player. I'm sure he could drop into that center mid, mid, and we've still got Mitchell available, we've still got hopefully Kai Kai's fit as well, and that was just uh, a bit of a knock. I was a bit but, disappointed. Uh, I was a bit disappointed with Mitchell tonight. Um, he had a, he had a couple of great chances. Yeah. He ran into the box and he just had to put a simple ball and he yeah. just put a ball to just. I mean, it was not. It was neither a cross or a. It no, was just it was a basically flick, a, a, yeah. a flick straight to their defender, which I was. Yeah. I, I was. I was screaming. Jane. Jane was. <sighs> Jane was not having none of it. She thought he'd done well to get into those positions, but I was so, so I, I was really angry with him, and uh, I thought he wasted. Um, uh, Michael Schuhaig says they're a very good sign as long as you keep uh, 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 McGreedy quiet, you're okay. And I suppose we did keep McGee, McGeady, not McCready, but McGeady, he, he they did keep him yeah. quiet tonight, didn't they? Really? That might be why Turton come back in because basically um, he kept him very quiet and but, yeah. and still managed to get forward as well. You know, there wasn't much coming in from that side; it was coming in from the other side. It was. Uh, Niall O'Reilly says the concept of us doing better against better teams rings true tonight. Well, yeah, said that all along, haven't we? We do. But the problem with that <laughs> is, <laughs> is that the next three teams we've got are not good size. Doncaster are way out of form. They've got a COVID problem as well, haven't they? So they're, so they're, they're like a, tonight, though, haven't they? I think they've equalised late on. Yeah, I think they managed to come back, didn't they? Uh, yeah. So it's, yeah it, oh, it's, still, it's still in play, apparently. Still, yeah, because uh, that was quarter to eight kickoff, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, Paul Lupson actually saw Gordon Banks play and he said he was class. He was an amazing yeah. keeper, wasn't it? So sad he had the you know the car accident that, that he did. Yeah. Uh Jay uh, <laughs> Jay Gribben says every time the pool play, I feel physically drained. <laughs> I know exactly where you're coming from. You're not the only one. Yeah. You know, honestly, you you feel drained. Oh my god, I've got I've got like hundreds in the stream watching it, and it's so stressful. You know, because I don't want to I don't want to be crying on screen, even though I think I was almost shedding a tear uh, at one time with happiness when that ball went out for a throw into Blackpool, and just yeah. at the end there, and you and you knew, and then that you know the oh god, it was it was painful. 
He still played yeah. a minute and a half after that. He did, yeah. He did, actually, yeah. Uh, Darren Hoy says, having to have a Tuesday night rum after that. And um, Bree, let's strap him for the ride. Scream if you want to go faster. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. It's been a ride this season, and it's been an incredible season, really. And it, it, it's, it's a shame that there's a lot of like idiots but posting Critch out on the forums. I just I just can't agree with any of it. I think he's done amazingly well in his first season in, in, in this league. He's never experienced anything like that before. You know, he made some changes tonight, which one was the game. Yeah. You know, and, and you'd have probably, you know, if we were talking before Saturday, you would have settled for a win against Shrewsbury and maybe losing it, wouldn't you? You'd have settled, you know, yeah. that, you know, win yeah. on Saturday, lose here. You could have lived with it. Well, it's been the other way around. And, and once again, we've got points that we didn't think we would get. And, and it so. works better for us because we can actually go above Sunderland. Uh, uh, now, uh, in terms of the playoff places, uh, if we can obviously that would give us an advantage uh, if it comes to that. Obviously, yeah. I, I'm not counting my chickens. I keep saying if, 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 but uh, yeah, if we get into a playoff position, let's get as high as we can. Then we've got that advantage in the uh, second leg. Yeah, right, absolutely. Um, Paul looked and says uh, about Kingston, uh, coward Webb's fault, a disgrace of a ref, never can forgive him. I suppose that he was the one that gave the uh, awarded the goal kick at Blackburn. It, it yeah. was just one of many. It was it was one of many points. I can go on and on about the Premier League and and the points that we were robbed of. You know, there's so many. There was Marlon Airwood's goal uh, that they disallowed in injury time against Everton at home, which he, he did nothing wrong. He he, yeah. scored absolutely, he just jumped fair and square for it. Got it turned. It was a wonder goal, and that would have given us two more points. We'd have stayed up just with that. Marlon and Airwood's goal at West Ham where he West was Ham. never up. Gonna, he was never was offside. No. He gave somebody offside on the far side. He was not interfering with play. Miles over, yeah. but Marlon Airwood yeah, was yeah. miles on side. That was a goal at West Ham. We should have stayed up with that. The penalty against United. The you know the three penalty yeah. decisions. I think it was against Stoke, wasn't it? Where where there was it was like three penalties that were all definite penalties. He didn't give any, any of them. You know, yeah. at home when we drew. So there was there, there was loads of, of, of uh, disgraceful decisions against Blackpool. But anyway, that's that's gone, and I'll just yeah. end up wind, I'll end up winding myself up again. Um, yes. Focus on tonight. <laughs> yes. Joe Bottomley says, I, I told you we would win at Sunderland. Well, I wasn't confident, Joe, I must admit. Uh, Rodney Bint is saying, is Jane okay after the game? Uh, yeah, I think she may have gone for a lie down or something. She, she has had a COVID jab today, so I am expecting her to go right. a little bit ill. Um, yeah, Sean P said uh, if Embo could have played Sunderland, know him inside out, so they would have neutralised him. So, yeah, so maybe it was a it was a good one. Tower Power says we've nobody to fear. Well, you know, in, in many ways, the teams that are in the playoffs, yeah. from what we've seen of them when we've played them, they've not been all that good, have they? You know, Charlton, no. were, were, you know, I know they're not in there. Portsmouth were not really very good on the day, were they? Oxford were pretty poor away at Oxford, but I, I, I always worry about Oxford if I'm being honest. Yeah, Lincoln... Yeah. You know, Lincoln, we basically gave him six points, Lincoln, didn't we? In two Absolutely. games. You know, we, we, we owe that we gave, one. Yeah, we gave him two game, two goals at home where we were cruising to it 2 1. We daft, you know, daft ball across the husband miscontrolled and then got him sent off in mm-hmm. a penalty. And then we just, we were just destroyed and we just let that center off, as I say, do about yeah. three keepy ups in, in, in unchallenged. Yeah. We'd never do that now. And uh, of course, the, you know, the game at Lincoln, I, I, I still, I'll say it to this day, we we should have been at least 4-0 up. We could have been 8-0 up at Lincoln City. We were that dominant. Yeah, and yeah. It should have been out of sight. I mean, it just should have been way, way out, out of sight. We absolutely battered him. And just the fact that, you know, Jerry Yates getting in the way of the ball, or, you know, Felly Sims and all that, we should have beaten Lincoln. So I, I don't really fear Lincoln, even though, you know, people say we should have beat us twice, but, they haven't beat as easy, have they, Phil? What do you think on them? I totally agree with you. I think um, if we um, play as we can do, we will beat Lincoln. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we play as we do, it's just injuries with us, isn't it? I can't believe the amount of injuries yeah. that, that we're getting. And, and Sunderland yeah. have, you know, have given Greta a blooming dislocated shoulder and now, you know, and they've injured Kai Kai and it's, it's just so annoying. And actually the first You're half, off, they, were, they, 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 yeah. they weren't too bad, were they? You know, they weren't too bad no. in the first half. I thought they're not quite as bullying tonight, but second half, they, you know, they give it again, didn't they? Um, Allard got elbowed a couple of times. Yates got took out off the ball twice. He uh, did, and referee gave nothing again. Referee gave nothing. It's the yeah. same referee who didn't give anything when Stewart got his ankle stamped on. 
Oh, is the, it? the reason why he's been out all this time? Yeah, ridiculous. Against Fleetwood. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Didn't oh, give anything God. then either. We haven't had many good referees this season. Uh, Brian Thompson <laughs> says, thank, thank you to that lovely couple, Stanley and Alexandra tonight, both battling for the end of the game and the end of the season. Great mentalities. Football in this country is great. Yeah. Well, well, it is, isn't it? And and the table at one stage was looking really, you know, it, it was looking... Mm. It was looking like we're sliding into maybe sliding out of the top six, but we have cemented ourselves back in it again, haven't we? With it, with those teams yeah, faltering, so like, just a yeah. put. really good. Um, well, Stanley will still think they can get in the playoffs yet. I think the four points off. Oh, are they? Yeah. Oh, well, well uh, still... they, they've just gone on a bit of a run, haven't they? So uh, it's I don't not want that, over. I don't want them to get in because they're a no. I don't. No. I, yeah. Exactly. They're a team who seem to be able to uh, to, to have the managers. Yeah. yeah, they manage us, but they can't beat us. Are they? Well, no. they haven't done this season, no. have they? But, um, Jay Gribben says, people seem to forget this is Critch's first time manager, and I think he's doing a, a good job. I mean, he's, he's Jay says it all the time, that he, he's a manager that is always, he, he, he seems to be looking to improve himself and prove himself at this level. He's not a manager that's coming with all these preconceptions and thinking he's, he, you know, he's the best in the business and he, you know, he knows it all. He's coming to learn, yeah. And he, he seems to be developing as a manager. And he, you know, his tactics were, you know, obviously were good tonight. The changes he made have worked out. And I can only see him progressively because he wants to get better. He's going to get better. Does that make yeah, sense? Yeah, you know, he's, yeah, absolutely. He's got a drive, hasn't he? And he wants yeah. to take us with him. Yeah, and he reads the game well. And I always feel that uh, when, when they interview him. I always feel he, he sees it like I see. You know, he doesn't come on 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 the interview and he starts saying things. You think, what game were you at there, Chris? Because I, yeah. you know, that, he, he's seen it exactly as I see it, watching it. You know, f on a TV screen, and he's obviously mm. in the dugouts and sees it from a different level. But he, he does see the game and read it very well. And uh, I, I think it's a work in progress. I think if we get up this season, it's a it's, it's a miracle. Uh, people, you know, have, have said I've read it on the boards that we won't be strong enough if we get up into the championship. But there's no way that we if we get if we do get into the championship that this is going to be the team that we take into the championship. I'm sure they would strengthen yeah, it and it would be a different absolutely. team. So I don't think you can say that Blackpool would struggle because you don't know what players will be coming in the summer if we do get up. And it would be a, a miracle if we got up. To be honest, you know, with the start that we had, which you know was yeah. just unbelievable. Um, just looking at Steve, the Stephen Steve Huntley says because of Owen Oyster in the Premier League didn't want us something in that could be something in that there really could be um, uh, Kieran Bain says was it 2011 that Blackpool were in the Premier League yes it was and it, it, it's not that long ago and yet we we went through hell after that didn't we and the Oysters took all the money so have you got the live table there uh, Phil have you, uh, 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 yeah I uh, I did have. Uh, <laughs> I'll put it back up. Um, okay, you can just run us. Two well. seconds. I've got it as well here, I think. So we'll just go yeah. through that uh, with you. Yeah, I've got it here, right. So Hull City are uh, pr promoted already. So, so they are yeah. up. Um, they have got 86 points and they are up. Uh, Peterborough yeah. uh, at this moment in time drawing 2-2 two, two, two now. They're drawing Lincoln City are third with 75 points and they've played 43 games. So they're Sunderland, eight points behind Peter, aren't they? With um, yeah, Sunderland with potential nine points to get. Yeah, Sunderland are actually two points ahead, but we've got a game in hand on Sunderland. Yeah, well, that's, that's what I was saying about we can we can you know we, we've closed that gap on them, haven't we? We, we have, we so can, we could we can we catch them. go go into fourth, and it's quite it's quite funny really because I did say that when we played Peterborough, all the Sunderland fans were in on my stream, you know, yeah. wishing all the best to to Blackpool and wanting us to win, and I I did yeah. say at the time that you know they don't fear Blackpool, and I said we've got you to play you twice, you don't want us to be on form when we do, and we have yeah. been, and we've, we've knocked them back a bit, haven't we? Uh, Blackpool play 43 and on 71 points, and then Portsmouth are in sixth place on 69. But uh, Oxford are on 68 points, but both Portsmouth and Oxford have played one game more than us. Yeah. So if we win that game in hand on them, we would be five points clear of both of those going to the last two games, wouldn't, wouldn't we? So you We'd know, be six points clear of Oxford if we win on Saturday, uh, and they lose. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we will be six points clear of, of Oxford. So with, with two games to go, mm. so so that's all right. Uh, Charlton are on sixty-seven, so we're now four points clear of them. Milton yeah. Keen Dons have, have come a bit late. Uh, I don't think oh, Grinch and Stanley. Well, they're on sixty-three, yeah. so the most they can get to is sixty-nine. So at the moment, Portsmouth are in in the in the sixth position with sixty-nine, so they're not going to get yeah. in there. Are they? So None like of them. It. None of them. Accrington, uh, Gillingham, uh, Milton Keane Dons. No. So it, it's really still down as far as eighth, but it's looking more and more likely that it's gonna it, it's gonna yeah. be a battle. It's just whether Sunderland fall to pieces, isn't it, and lose the last two uh, with no confidence and actually fall out because the, they've got two games to go, and so they would you know if, if they didn't win, say for instance, they would get seventy three points. Portsmouth yeah. can get to seventy five. Uh, Oxford can get to seventy four. And Charlton, yep. can, with three games to go, can get to 76. So Sunderland have got to get a couple of wins from somewhere or else they might even fall out of the playoffs. Yeah, we're talking yeah, about it's, playing it's them. It's not a done not, deal, is it? No, it's, it's not, not a, a done deal. deal. It's not a done deal at all for them. Um, Paul Rogers is here, Phil, and he says hi to Phil from Block 3. Sunderland home and away, yeah. and then fingers crossed for Lincoln at Wembley with Absolutely. fans in Medea. Uh, Michael that's, Hayes that's, thinks that's block three at Norcross where we used to work in ah. about, uh, early 90s <laughs> <laughs> well there we are it's a long time ago isn't it, it? Is. you used to work it at is. Norcross did you wow yeah ah. many times ago so, so that's probably where you're following Blackpool came came from there was it with work, working at Norcross did you start following no, us then we... no I was following us in the 60s <laughs> I started oh, in, my first game was 1966 how did January. you start how then from, did you start following I was living Blackpool? in Blackpool then I was living oh. in Blackpool yeah. Oh, right. I've, I've been in Leeds about 20 years but right, I, I, was, I was in Blackpool till I was oh. 40 right. so, <laughs> but uh, yeah w- uh, yeah quick history lesson uh, yeah no, born I, in Manchester born right. in Manchester uh, we moved yeah. to Blackpool when I was five to take right. on a guest house like yeah. so many people did yeah um, so went to Claremont went to Blackpool Grammar uh, and sixth form ah uh, and and we'd moved to Polton by then, uh, right? So, and then came over to Leeds, uh, ninety eight, with work. So. Right, you've been there ever since. I been there see. ever since. Yeah. Um, Sean P says, "I love Critch. Think he's an amazing coach. People have to see the bigger picture. What he's trying to achieve, even when we lose the odd game, we are going in the right direction." I, I, I couldn't agree more with you. I, I really like mm. Critch, and I, I find it very sad that there are these idiots on, on the forums that you know are asking for him to you know to go again. And it's just, mm. I know they're so fickle, aren't they? You know, two two games. You've got to you got to have a bigger backbone than that, really, and and see all the things that are, you know are, are being done behind the scenes by the club as well. There's lots of yeah. things you know being done. There's you know the, hopefully progression on the training ground and the you know the east stand and all you know the, and you know mm. uh, an owner with a bit of ambition that wants to put a bit of money in you know what i mean you, you yeah. imagine if he got in the premier league he wouldn't just start paying himself hundred thousand bonus and take it all he'd be it, it, you know he'd be investing back in and doing all the right things that's that's how i see it anyway yeah um just go down to the comments again uh, Mark Porter said uh, he had to go around the, for a walk around the block, leave for some fresh air. <laughs> Absolutely buzzing after that result. I think we all are, Mark. I think every, if you're a Blackpool fan tonight, that was a massive, massive. I mean, I've dreamt, you know, I've dreamt that we'd we'd win this tonight. But in my heart mm. of hearts, I honestly did. I, I was I was basically saying at one time that you know a point will do because it's another point yeah. that they've got to get over us. But three points at Sunderland tonight it was massive. Absolutely, it, you know, it was it was. One of the biggest games Blackpool have had in a long, long time. Would you say? Absolutely. Uh, it's just a pity we weren't there to watch it. But uh, mm. yeah, uh, but unbelievable, great win. And uh, a bit- as you said, they'll take a lot out of that uh, going forward. We're back. We're you know we're back into the groove again. Hopefully, we can just get the get the points we need and uh, go into the playoffs with a bit of momentum. I think there'd uh, have been about I think there'd have been about thirty thousand there tonight, uh, Phil. If you know, yeah. Well, if it had been, you know, fans in them and all, it would. I'd, I'd definitely mm. reckon it'd been a thirty thousand gate. It would have been absolutely awesome. Yeah. Um, Michael Stewart Hayes says one thing for sure is we need to be playing Pompey in the playoffs, not Lincoln. Mm. Uh, Paul Lupton says, "Well, said Lee regarding Critch, 
Uh, Michael Lazenby says he's glad to see that I have calmed down. Five to three points and come on your pool. Right. So we'll go through uh, the players with you. Out of ten, we'll we'll just do our our, our out of tens because I could I could talk all night about that game. There was so many moments really of just brilliant defending again. And you know, Sully Kaikai's yeah. goal was just unbelievable. It, it really was a, a goal worthy of winning the game, wasn't it? And it, I bet Sunderland can't believe how we've just broke away and just scored a goal sort of out of like nothing again, in it, you know. And it's just it's fantastic. And they had loads of corners, didn't they? You know, they had loads and loads yeah. of corners that yeah, we yeah. held, you know. And I, I was, I can't believe Phil that we held so strong against all those corners, and they were good corners coming in from. Yeah, for Sunderland, and yeah, stupid right. bloody Shrewsbury Town get a corner. And <laughs> and we get just, a free header. Yeah. And they're just a free header. They're just our yeah. ultimate bogey side of that team, aren't they? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, just as we're Sunderlands now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We are. Ian McNally says it makes you wonder why we lost the last two games. Honestly, we should tonight be six points higher than we are, really, shouldn't we? You know, of yeah. what we thought we'd be. Uh, we'd, be ra- uh, we'd be far more relaxed, wouldn't we? If we were six points now, if we'd have won just those two games, we'd be on 77 points. That'd be enough. So, so we'd be 77 points and we'd be six points behind Peterborough with a game in hand for automatic. <laughs> If we had just, if yeah. just those ifs, ifs and what's though, yeah, but know, I mean, but really, we should have, we should have yeah. won them though, shouldn't we? You know what I mean? We should be right up there. I mean, we'd definitely be in the playoffs if we'd have just won those two games. Yeah. And I can't believe that we lost. You know, I can't well, believe we lost those two, two games. That's crazy. Anyway, said, fine margins, fine margins. The, the good I, thing both is. Of those. Yeah. The good thing is though we're not still on that run, are we? So you know no, that run true. would have got yeah. that run would have got more and more and more pressure, wouldn't it, going into the playoffs? And when we get into the Absolutely. playoffs, we've got to carry this unbeaten run. It would have been like a like like a noose around your neck, really. When you you know be like yeah. carrying one of those what do they a, call a, it around your neck? Yeah. Yoke. A yoke. A yoke. Yes, a yoke <laughs> around your neck. It really would. Yeah, it would have been a yoke around your neck, and it, it would have been. It, it could have been a problem. Um, Paul Upson says the first game uh, Phil at uh, Bloomfield I saw was Carlisle and Hudderford in '68. Just mm-hmm. need two more wins. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Michael my, Stewart. Yeah, was, uh, yeah, my first game was. Um, my dad was a City fan coming from Manchester. So we went to uh, Bloomfield Road because he played Man City in the Cup in January 66. So that was wow. my first game. Blimey. That's a long time ago. I can't, I can't even believe you yeah. can remember that, that far back. I, I went to Alan Ball. <laughs> I went to, you know, my, my first game was when I was about three. And, and all, yeah. the only thing I can remember is is my dad throwing me up and down in in, in the air yeah. when I scored. That's that's the only thing I can remember. Yeah. I can't remember the game at all. I was I no. was three. You know what I mean? I don't remember it at all. So no. uh, it's unfortunate I don't, I don't ha- ha- have that memory. Um, but I kind of I for us, dad used to. Our mum and dad used to go sometimes, but it was like an annual treat to go and watch a Blackpool game kind of thing. You know, these, yeah. you know, we weren't season ticket holders or anything, but he used to just take, you know, take me down as a little boy, and and then he used to take me in the south paddock, and I used to just go for the sweets really and running up and down <laughs> the steps, you know, like yeah. you do as a little kid. And then I, I wasn't really into it, and and he's, you know, he stopped taking me in, in my teens, and it was only when, really really when I, when I started working, you know, that I started. Yeah. Uh, they bought me a season ticket, I think, for my for, for Christmas, half a season ticket for yeah. for my. I think it was my seventeenth when I was seventeen at Christmas, and I've had a season ticket ever since then. You know, but yeah, yeah. Up until then, I hadn't really got in, into football. Really, I, I wasn't I wasn't really into it. Um, Michael Stuart Haig said, "You were you were like a wild tiger. Lee. Your passion for the club is first class. You deserve a medal." <laughs> <laughs> so if I need a man, I need a heart defibrillator. That's what I need. Uh, Darren Ahoy uh, says uh, Critch has just been seen out out black cat hunting. He has bag six already. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. And, and and Kieran Baines is saying if only we'd have beaten Suffolk twice as well. We just can't yeah. beat them, can we? That damn team in Suffolk. Yeah. Uh, Ian McNally can't even remember yesterday, so there's no chance of him remembering back to 1966. <laughs> right, we're going to go through the we'll go through yeah. the team and put your outs of tens in the in the comments as well. So, well, first of all, I don't know. Should, just, should we leave until last, or should we do it straight away? Because nothing is going to top this, is it really? Chris Maxwell tonight, Phil, out of I've ten. Ne- I've never done this before in these things, but I'm going to give him <laughs> a ten out of ten. 
he was unbelievable. He made a big difference, big, huge difference, uh, and got the three points without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah. I'm going to actually go more than you, uh, Phil. I'm afraid to say, and I have got an old, <laughs> I have got an old style uh, guitar amp, and I'm I, I'm taking it up to eleven. Taking it up to eleven, the old yeah. spinal tap eleven, marvelous. <laughs> so he gets an eleven out of ten. I mean, you cannot fault his performance tonight. It, it was it was unbelievable. The saves he made tonight were. If if anybody's watching this stream and you haven't, just wait till you see the highlights. If they show all the saves that Chris Maxwell made tonight, you will not believe your eyes there was point blank ones there was there was ones where he was going the wrong way and he, he turned in midair to claw one out from god knows where he, he was mm. just he was he was one of those goalkeepers where you know we come across that goalkeeper once in a, yeah. a, a, a million and, and you just you, you come out of the game you think jesus christ how did he pull those yeah. saves off so for me 11 out of, 11 out of 10 for max he, he is he's man of the match he's everything already i don't even need, need to go anymore he, he was just <laughs> superb tonight he was he deserves to get up on that performance alone he he won it for blackpool tonight didn't he do you not think really he he yeah. won it yeah yeah absolutely it, it goes to show that you know for you know goals win games as they always say but uh a performance like that ensured we won because, uh, yeah, that clean sheet was crucial tonight. Yeah, it, it really was. Uh, after that, we got Ollie Turton. Uh, any thoughts on him, Phil? Tonight, I, I thought he had a, I, I thought he had a pretty, pretty decent game. He got himself yeah. into some really good positions up front. I yeah. know. I wish they never said to him actually on that stupid season. Yeah, he hasn't show that he hasn't scored a goal because ever since then he's been trying his best to score a goal, and I, I don't think it's his strong point if i'm being honest no. here he, 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 he's, he's a bit high wide and handsome but he does get himself in position uh, and i thought at times he, he was fantastic tonight he, i thought it was a superb you know i think where, where i said i couldn't give the defense anything above a six uh, i really can't give the defense anything less than an eight really tonight just not no. particularly at the end where they were kicking it anywhere but just for just for battling and you know, scrapping for every bloody, getting the bodies on the line, everything. Yeah. They were superb. So I, I, I'm going to give Ollie an eight. What about you? I, I'd agree with that. And it's that um, he, he nullified the, their main danger man, which is McGeady. Uh, he, he just stopped the uh, the delivery in um, as well as supporting the, supporting the attack as well. So, yeah, uh, I think the reason why they had so many corners and why we were getting nervy was because we were stopping the ball actually going in by blocking it out for a corner. So, yeah. you know, they were doing the job in giving away a corner sometimes, you know, uh, I, I, th I thought he deserved uh, an eight. Yeah. Good. We're, we're agreed on that. So Dan Ballard for you today, Phil. Again, I thought he was magnificent. Uh, White was, did nothing really f until that last 10 minutes uh, when, when they started putting players around him. But up yeah. till then, he'd, he'd cope with him really well, despite getting wax all over the place, you know. And as an yeah. Arsenal centre-half, you know, the, what all teams do is bully Arsenal. Uh, but he wasn't for being bullied. He was he was up there giving it, uh, giving it back, uh, yeah. putting himself on the line. Yeah, uh, I'd, I'd give him another eight. Yeah, me too. And he took that whack to the face as well. He went down. Yeah. He was checking for blood and stuff. He obviously got a, yeah. an elbow. Yeah. Referee didn't give it. What, what, once again, I think, you know, we've played Sunderland a couple of times now and they have been quite physical against us and the referees yeah. have just not not really given given us much, have they? In fact, no. they were getting loads of free kicks. Yeah, the slightest touch from us and they were. it was a free kick, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm also going for, going for an eight with you. Jordan Thornley um, tonight. I thought he had one of his uh, better games because he's usually at some stage he makes an error. But tonight he didn't. He was he was solid for, for 90 minutes. Uh, it might have been him thinking about it who, who, who nearly put it in his own net, but it went wide. So, uh, <laughs> um, but... but uh, I thought he had a, I thought he had a, again a solid game, really solid. solid. It dealt with everything that came in and uh, and and did well. So uh, an another eight for me. Yeah. Um, again, I'm I'm going to give him an eight. He, he didn't do anything wrong, did he? He, he was pretty steady, Eddie, all the all the way through. James Husband. Um, again, 
he, he was just steady. He, he didn't do anything too too flashy for me tonight. I thought he was just steady, and he added that little bit of steel in, in the middle. Uh, and I'm, you know, pro probably again, I'm. I can't give this this defense less than eight because they were just magnificent tonight. They they you know yeah. they, they they really did play well tonight. Where where they played like a bunch of duck eggs on Saturday, and I couldn't give them anything more than a six. You know tonight. Well, you'd eight. called you'd called for that. Um... Yeah, urgency, and the, and they properly showed it tonight, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, and they also said I wanted husband in for that fight, yeah. and uh, yeah, yeah, it, it was great. Tangerine Army saying, "Where's all the Sunderland fans at in the chat? Their Champions League aspirations a few weeks ago. Yeah, they're, they're not here, are they? They've all they've all gone. <laughs> so, so yeah, yeah, they were. And uh, Jane vacancies in the ESL. Jane went up. Uh, she was on Sky uh, Sports on, on on the podcast there, and she was saying at the time it, it was a a couple of games back and you know she came on and said that you know blackpool are dark horses and you know we, we were still looking at automatic at that time and and um you know she said you know can't you know kind of ignore us at your peril kind of thing and and, and when 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 they finished because she had to pre-record it they started laughing <laughs> You know, they started laughing. Yeah. She was really, she, she really was offended by the fact that yeah, they laughed yeah. about it. In the, and it was a Sunderland guy that was in that was, you know, he was laughing in the stream. And, uh, you know, they, they well, do hopefully think we'll have the last laugh. Yeah. yeah ho hopefully so. Would be great. Uh, so she certainly would, would love to go back on that show if we do. Uh, Luke Garbutt tonight. Uh, yeah. Again, he, he played his part in that uh, solid defensive performance. His delivery was a bit better tonight from from the corners. You know, yeah. we didn't we didn't well we we scored as uh, after it was cleared phase. out a second, second phase. phase from one, but um, mm. he wasn't just hitting the first man. We, he was putting it into dangerous areas again, and some of the free kicks were the same. Yeah, you know, we didn't know. always win them, but they were at least in the right place. His delivery was a lot better, wasn't it? Um, yeah, yeah. And, and again, I'm in agree. I'm actually going to give him a seven and a half because I didn't think it was his best game but yeah it, yeah. it was an improvement on the on, on the balls in so i'm gonna yeah. just give him a seven and a half fair enough uh, uh, kenny dougal tonight i i but, thought he was back to being kenny dougal again he's, he, he was his, his distribution was a lot sharper uh he's been giving it away a lot recently after after winning it but uh he, he was finding his men tonight i thought i thought he had a good game and another yeah. eight for me yeah, there's quite a lot of eights and nines coming in. Ballard a nine from Shazza Harvey, mm. eights for Darren R. Eugene McGeever a nine. I'm not quite sure which which players are those are for actually because mm. it, Turton's get, given a seven by Shazza Harvey. So hmm, oh, I, I, thought, I thought he had a pretty decent game. Uh, Maybe it's his shooting that's let him down for that. Yeah, his shooting is his shooting. But it, 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 you know, I keep saying I, I do blame the Blackpool show for that because I don't know why they said that to him. It's. No. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, you know, you, you do everything, you play everywhere, but you just haven't scored a goal. You know, mm. just shut up and don't even... Yeah. He doesn't need to. It's, other people can do that. Uh, Grant Ward tonight, I, I thought he was fantastic tonight, Grant Ward. Yeah. I, I, you know, I, 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 I actually, I think he's worthy of a nine tonight, Grant Ward. Really, I think he's worthy of a nine. I mean, obviously, Maxwell's got 11, so I'm going to give Grant Ward a... <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to give Grant Ward a nine. I was going to do the same on on any other night. He'd have been man of the match, but uh, uh, he 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 played really really well. Um, sometimes he he can he can just drift in and out, but today he was putting his foot in. He was winning the ball. He was intercepting. He was anticipating, and, and uh, a few times I didn't realize he he went down the wing a couple of times and went past them like they weren't there. You know, and then they took him out. Uh, he, he was just. Uh, yeah, he had, he had oh, a great. There was one, game. wasn't there, where they really took him out when he was yeah, yeah. when he was running down. You know, he was, he was running down the wing, wasn't he? He was away, not the ball forward, and the guy just took him clean out, didn't he? It was a terrible. Yeah, yeah. Anywhere yeah. else, you know, if it had been in the middle of the park, it could have been a red card actually. But but he but but he got yeah. a yellow, and, uh, and he really did just clatter him out, didn't he? But but we also clattered one of theirs out, didn't we? He was also yeah, not a long ball. But yeah, yeah. Tackle, so but both yeah. players Enjoyed took that. took one. For, <laughs> All players took one for the team, didn't they? Uh, Darren Hoy gives uh, Ward a 9.5. Uh, Shazza Harvey's giving uh, Hubby a 7. And uh, Eugene McGeever is giving Ward a 9.6. 
Uh, Jake Ford is here. Uh, oh, thank you very much, Jay. He, he says, I'm glad you won against the Mackhams from a Newcastle fan. How are we all? We're all feeling great. Jake, thanks for popping in. Don't forget to give give a little sub to the channel for us beating the Mackhams for you. We deserve one. And make sure you tell all your Newcastle fans as well to, to, just to sub to my channel tonight because I'm, I'm, I'm sure they're cheering in Newcastle. All the Newcastle fans will be very happy tonight as, as Sunderland seem to be imploding, don't they, at the end of the season. So. Yeah. And they're not doing a Sunderland until I die this season either. So th this game won't be on it. I would have liked to have seen the reactions, yeah. you know, you know, in the show, but they're not doing one this year, are they? So, uh, you know, they're giving it a rest. Uh, right. So Ethan Robson tonight for you, Phil. I thought first half he struggled to get into the game. Um, um, it just wasn't happening for him. Second half, he, he got more into it as we as a team got uh, proper control of that game. Uh, so for his second half performance, I, I'll go a seven. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't think he was. He had a and he had a few little chances, didn't he, to put nice yeah. balls across. He yeah. just he, he just flubbed his lines every time. But but mm. you know, but he's only got a game, has he? Let's be honest. No, uh, to and, be and fair, he might, yeah, <laughs> he got ninety-seven minutes in when I think they would have subbed him if both Ward and Kai Kai hadn't gone off because he was yeah. he he was looking proper tired by the end, not having play, had any football at all really for three months. Yeah, he's been given sixes through. Darren always gave him a six. Eugene McGee a six. Shazza Harvey gave uh, Garbert a seven. Uh, Shazza Harvey only gives Dougal a seven tonight. So, hmm. So not not too happy with him, but but yeah, you know you've got to give Ethan Robson you know a bit of leeway. He's not really ever yeah yeah absolutely he hasn't played a game all season, has he? So you know to come in and be part of one of the you know if you look if you look at it, it's one of our best performances of the season for on, on yeah. many levels of how they went there and got this three points today. And I think I think every Blackpool fan watching that should be very proud, uh, you know, of, of what we've watched, even if we don't make it. Just to see that from our team is, is wonderful. Just to see them battling like that and all together like that just makes me really proud. You know, it, it that's why I don't want to go any lower with the scores because it's a team performance as well as individuals. Yeah, you know, they're individuals. It, it, as a, uh, within the team structure so they're doing a job for the manager so yep. it might not be the natural position but the, but they're doing it because they've been asked to yep so ethan if you're watching this we love you yeah and, and we, we're very we proud of you, you coming in yeah. and doing a great job when you've you've only had about five minutes match time all season hasn't he he's he's, he's, he's normally getting the teas and the coffees in for critch or something i think against the team who let him go of course so he probably yeah. had to prove yeah, he probably did. Yeah, Sully Kai Kai tonight. I, I thought until he went off the pitch, I thought he was one of the best players on the pitch tonight. Yeah. I thought I thought it was the Sully that we, you know, we like. He, he's dangerous. Yeah. He's you know, whenever he gets the ball, he's exciting. And his goal, I've got to see it again. I, I'd love to see it in real time because he hit it like I mean, it was an absolute rocket. And, and like you said, it did actually lift the net up at the back. Didn't it? you know the net yeah. came off the ground? He hit it that hard. Yeah, exactly. So it, it was a rocket. Keeper had no chance with that one, did he? It was, no. he, he didn't never even Absolutely. see it. Absolutely. Keeper waved at it because that's all he could do on that as it went past. Gave it his best regards. Yeah. So I, I, I'm going to give Sully Kai Kai a nine point five because he didn't play full ninety minutes. I was going to give him a nine. Uh, tell you what he did do tonight as well he actually put his foot in and won a few tackles which is a get a part of his game you don't normally see uh but he he was he was good on on and off the ball tonight yeah darren hoyes give him an 8.5 but eugene mcgeever gives him a 10 uh sean p thinks the team performance is a nine out of ten they all gave a hundred percent it's a team game well I, I i i agree with you sean it's it's probably you know the best comment so far really that to, it is a team performance and it, it really was and it, it's actually been two games against sunderland where we have you know battled heroically haven't we they've put us through heart attacks with you know not holding on yeah. to the ball but, but but the battling you can't fault him can you for for, for everything they did tonight in the game at Bloomfield Road, I thought they maybe deserved a point because they put us under an awful lot of pressure. Tonight, I thought we were the better team and, and fully deserved to win. You know, they had the first yeah. 10 minutes and the last 10 minutes. They did. Yeah, they but apart from that, between. 
Blackpool yeah. lost the game. They they just couldn't cope with with, with our formation coming. Uh, that was yeah. maybe a masterstroke by Critch, where they weren't expecting us to come with five at the back, were they? We haven't played that no. all season. So any sort of videos they've been watching of Blackpool, uh, how to you know yeah. how to beat Blackpool, which all, all might have just chuck it all out the window because we come with five across the back, and you just wouldn't have thought Blackpool would have done that, would you? You know, before the no. game. So maybe yeah. it was a. A masterstroke uh, from Critch. Um, finally, Jerry Yates. And I don't think it was Jerry Yates' best game tonight, if I'm being honest. I thought, but but I thought he was, you know, he was marked out the game on. He had two or three round him at every point. Yeah. He, you know, he, he still is a little bit dangerous. He, he tried to do that thing where he tried to run in between two players in the box yeah. and lost it. That would have been amazing. Uh, but I can only give Jerry Yates a, a, an eight. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to give him any less than eight because I'm, I, I oh, agree. Yeah. It was a, it was a team game, and they were all superb tonight. Yeah, uh, yeah, he gets an eight for his work rate. Plus, he was always dangerous, wasn't it? It meant that yeah. they couldn't bung They're everybody right. up front because yeah. he, they always had to leave a, a couple back because he was always likely to to break on them. Uh, he had that one shot just wide of the post where uh, in the second oh, half, yeah, screamer thought, just wide. Uh, first half, he turned and, and blasted it and caught it really well. And he went straight to the keeper, you know, yard either side. He scores. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It was uh, honestly, it was a, it was, it was a great shot, and you know, he made it all himself in between those two players as well. It was, it, yeah. it, it was, it was brilliant. And, and like I say, if Ethan Robson, I'd have just squared the ball to him. He'd have scored. Yeah. You know, absolutely. there's no way he wants to score. So it's just a shame. Uh, <laughs> uh, Darren always giving Jerry a six. Blimey, Darren, how can how can you give anybody a six on tonight's performance? Tonight, yeah. I think that's harsh. But he is giving a uh, Critch a twelve. That's, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that balances <laughs> it out a bit, doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> Mas masterful, master tactician, Critch. Well, I think that's it, uh, Phil. Uh, yeah. Have you got anything else you want to say about about tonight? Is, is there any any other thing that I've missed? Maybe I don't so think so. Much. Yes, I, I, that that's going to be playing through my head all night now. That game, though, and and your reactions as well. So uh, <laughs> fair play to you. Great effort. <laughs> How is bloody screaming? Out, screaming out to hold onto the ball. I, I just can't believe we can't hold the ball, and we just keep. I know you know. James saying, "Yeah, but they're getting it. You know, they're clearing it out of danger, but they were just clearing it straight yeah. back to the halfway line. It was just coming straight back at us. It was, yeah. you know, the minute they cleared it, they were back on it again coming. And sometimes you've just got to try and get hold of the ball and just." Play take a bit out, of pressure yeah. off you can't just keep hoofing it and hoofing it and hoofing it because you know they're just gonna you know they're all in our half everybody was in our half and it's just getting picked mm. up in inside our half and uh there was one actually where we did clear it very long and we knocked it right down into the corner which was you know yeah. quite quite good but oh for gary medin uh, brian tom brian thompson is giving me a 10.5 for tonight <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> and uh darren hoy is giving me a 19 out of 10 <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> we do appreciate uh, it it's been enough. absolutely fabulous a big thank you to phil and his headset is is wonderful tonight so it's been absolutely fantastic sean peace has another great stream thank you enjoyed that you're absolutely welcome and let's hope we can let's hope this keeps going i, I really want to get in the playoffs i just i, I just really yeah. do I, you know this we've done so well to get ourselves in you know, with quite a long way to go and we've come from nowhere and we've gone on incredible one it, it, even though like jane was saying it it's been an incredible run, but it has been a bit of heart attacks at times. It's not been the greatest incredible run, but it, within within that run, we've actually had some fabulous games, haven't we? And we have played really well. And we know that when Blackpool really play well, we are a great team. Uh, Sean P gives me a 20 now, so okay. It's going up and up. Thank you very much. Uh, you just hope it goes on and, and Blackpool can continue with this form and, and just yeah. go into the playoffs in form without this big... Um, you know, we'll yoke around our neck uh, of this unbeaten run. We haven't got that anymore, so we can go yeah. on. And uh, uh, yeah, it's exciting times, uh, Phil. And it's been a great, it, it, in many ways, it, it's been an unusual season. You know, we've all had to sit at home and watch it on iFollow. And it's the first time in my life I've been like an armchair supporter, if that makes sense. It's not something I've I've ever done watching football on TV all the time. You know what I mean? I have watched it on, yeah. you know, the odd match on TV, but most of the time I, I, I'm at a match. So it's been a, a different experience. Um, but it's just been wonderful with all, you know, with all the guys that come on here, you know, and I say it every time without you guys coming in the stream, there's no show. And, you know, for Phil not coming on at the end here and helping us out, we haven't got a review show. And, you know, I have said 
there's two more spaces for for reviewers here if you want to come on it's you know we, i'd like four of us on so if there's anybody out there that you know would, would like to come on and review and you know come on just get in touch with me tweet me on twitter or message me on facebook or whatever you know if if, if, if you fancy even post in the comments below and just say you know i'm interested and yeah. um you know we'll uh, try you out and uh We'll have four on because it'd be it'd be even better with four on. I don't want any more than four on because it gets too crowded on the on the screen and you don't really get anywhere and everybody's talking over each other. But definitely uh, two more uh, would be fine. Anyway, we're, we're going to get off, Phil. Thank you very much yep. for your time. And uh, we'll take the dog for a walk and cool off. <laughs> yeah, I need to go for a walk again, but I have calmed down a little bit. But my blood pressure at one time was, yeah. oh boy. In fact, I think Jane was going to punch me at one time because she was getting so angry with me <laughs> screaming at the TV. Thanks, Phil. On yep. to the next one. Really uh, that. We'll see yep. you. you. You'll probably be back here for Saturday, won't you? Uh, I would think so. Back in. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, yep. so great. Two, two more people if we can get them. But uh, see you on Saturday, Phil, and see you guys on Saturday as well. And uh, up the pool. <laughs>